<clears throat> the goal today is main story time. Yeah, I was doing some of my dailies while I was um, uh, preparing for the stream. I ate some food. I was doing my dailies, reading some manga. Just got my coffee. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> so, exciting stuff. We have... Oh, shit. The tail didn't work. Let me fix that. There it is. Yada! Okay, so main story. Return to the express and hear about the news from Himiko. Let's do that. Awesome! Awesome! Alright, what do we have? Himiko chan! Kitty, you're finally here! We've been waiting for so long. It's only been five minutes. Since everyone's here, let's get down to business. The Astral Express has received an invitation to the planet of festivities. Hang on, why am I getting a sense of deja vu? Um, are we all still in the dream? Please don't, we don't need to go through that again. Don't worry, the Express received a normal invitation this time. It's from Pinakoni's paper fold university. Hmm. The university plans to hold an academic conference on the topic of trailblazing in the moment of soul. The Astral Express has been invited as a guest to the conference. That's quite a dress it is. An academic conference? You mean we'll have to sit in an auditorium and spend several system hours talking about a few hundred slides worth of scholarly discourse? Don't worry, you can leave such boring events to grown-ups. I will attend the conference with Weld, as for the three of you. If you are interested, you can enter the university as guest students. Guest students, well, it happens to be the start of the academic term, and Paperfall University is preparing for its dream night anniversary. These annual festivities serve as both a welcoming gift for new students and a chance to celebrate for those already enrolled. Why don't you youngsters join new students? We could explore the campus, experience student life. Do, do we have to study? That's great! A young girl full of energy living her best life on campus. That experience is practically made for me. I hear that Paperfall University is well known throughout the universe as a top art school. I would love to check it out. Uh, help! I don't want to go to school! <laughs> don't worry, great students don't get a lot of homework. Besides, all the professors and students are busy preparing for the festivities. Just treat it as a party. Campus life without homework or examinations? That's not like paradise! Looks like everyone's gone wait. Let's go ahead with the plan then. I will submit the admission documents to Paperfold University. We'll leave once everyone is ready. Let's, have, let's all have some fun. Yes, sir! Yes, ma'am! Yes, everybody! Talk to the crew! Talk to the crew! Talk to the crew! Talk to the crew! Campus. The workshop brings back a lot of memories. Now that you mention it, I recall that you had a teaching stint back home and delightful stories that comes to mind. Not too many to count, but then again, and these admission documents will take us a while to complete. I'll see if I can dig up any stories for you. Oh, yet. Boring hang. As the top university in Pinakoni, the strict examination and expensive tuition have deterred many potential candidates. The people who are admitted to the school are either well known wealthy merchants or exceptionally talented geniuses. Because of this, I hear the culture on campus has a truly Pinakonian flavor. How intriguing. Electives, extracurricular activities, campus parties, I want to try them all! Uh, it might not be as fun as you're imagining. Oh, is someone having a case of nerves? We're just going to school. How bad can it be, oh god? She doesn't know. Never mind, let's just relax and enjoy ourselves on campus. I'll be in your care now, Kitty. Oh, you will? Let's go to your room then. Seating time! Oh, pom pom. Why are you such? Kitty! What's wrong? Oh, is he, is he shedding his fur again? Oh, he can't move? How about I carry you on my back? Oh, it's not necessary. Blah, 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 blah. You stretch up both hands to pull pom-pom, it sometimes reminds you of the action of pulling a cart. <laughs> okay. With your help, pom-pom can finally move their legs. Hell yeah! We did a... We did a good thing. Kitty! Feeling better? 
Who would have thought that the legs can go lamb when sleeping? Your sleeping posture is too weird. No wonder your legs were numb. What could I do? I was stuck out after cleaning up the coach. Mama drifted off without me realizing it. Thanks, Kitty. Please promise me not to tell anyone about this. Oh, flip out. Please bear that in mind. Oh, okay. All right. Sitting here, it's time. A comfy couch that makes you drowsy as soon as you lie down on it. Let's just hope this trip doesn't send you into another strange dream. Ready to go. On your way to Pinaconi, you unsurprisingly dozed off. Banana, 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 banana. What is this rockers? Na na na. Dum bim dum dum. That was literally the. It was the school sound. Dum 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 dum. Doom, 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 doom. The shirt sound lingered by your ears, but your drowsiness overcame the noise, and your eyelids remained unmoved. We've arrived, Kitty! Why do you always fall asleep when we're warping? I couldn't even, wa even wake you up. Oh, so that workers was you? What do you mean, ruckus? I was really gentle when trying to wake you up. Alright, let's go check in. Himeko and Mr. Yang still have to participate in social networking. Being an adult sure is hard. Girl, you don't even know. Hey, Ali. Welcome to the reverie, distinguished shareholders. Oh, I almost forgot that for Pinakoni shareholders. Upon hearing the news that you were returning to Pinakoni, the hotel prepared six platinum guest rooms for your stay. They are ready for you anytime. Mommy! Yo! Hi! How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? A paint beta tester? What is that? That's so cool! I'm so jelly! But how are you doing? Willkommen! I feel like it's been forever. Mummy Cupcake VA? Did you always have the VA in your name? I don't remember. I'm okay. That's lovely to hear. I'm glad. Yeah, I did. I, I'm just... I'm forgetful. It is... It is uh, what it is. It is what it is. Anywho, watching you from my hospital bed. Oh shit. I hope everything's okay and good news is coming or I've been done or something good. I hope something good. Look here. Six. Hi. That's right. Besides the three of you, Miss Himiko and Mr. Young, Pom Pom, I already checked in three days ago. Pom pom. Pom. What are you talking about? You had your bottom surgery. Oh shit! Congratulations. I see. We thank the family for the gracious hospitality. Please help us with the check-in. Of course, your dreamscape passes have been activated. I hope that you have another enjoyable stay in Pinakani. We didn't have an enjoyable stay last time, though. Well, shit's gotta happen now. I'm so happy. I bet. Apologies for interrupting you earlier. Then Hank, do you know something that we don't? Why did the front desk mention that Pom Pom is staying at the hotel too? If my guess is correct, it's probably Butchil checking in under Pom Pom's name. You mean Mr. Holy Fork and Arani? Yes, when we worked together in Pinakoni the last time, he used Pom Pom's identity then too. He's the only one I can think of who would do that. Butchil? What is he doing here? I don't know. Galaxy Rangers always work alone, but I don't think Boothill will do anything that is detrimental to the Express. Since Pom Pom checked in three days ago, we can probably find him in the dream. We'll ask him more about it then. Let's get going then! Purple Fall University is located in the Moment of Soul. The hotel has set the entrance to the dream near the school, so let's meet at the gates. I'm staying in the same room as the last time I was here. Time to enter the dream. It's dreamity time! You know what? I'm gonna teleport there because I'm lazy. Lazy, lazy kitty. Meow, 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 meow. I'm a lazy cat. I'm a lazy cat. If you think romance is the end, go on. 
just find a name Find an old truth box mm. Find a truth box full of old 45 I want to remember how it goes If you think the moment is dead and gone Just find a truth box full of old 45 Put a nickel on it, all comes back to you Something like that Thank you for the pat pat, nothing wrong with being lazy most of the time Anyway, truth Hurry up, I hear the, the major shareholders have already arrived at the lobby. Don't alarm them. I know, but the fellow was running in this direction. How did he disappear so quickly? Shh, someone else is here. Who are you? I'm one of the nameless on the Astro Express. The what express now? Don't try to sell me anything. My miserable pay can't afford to buy an express of any sorts. I don't care who you are. The Bloodhound family is investigating a case here. Please make way. Hey, Steffi, what's up? What's sick? Gray hair? Yellow eyes? Ribbons to serve no purpose on her clothes? I think she's a major shareholder you were talking about. How dare you diss my ribbons? What? When does ribbons serve purpose? What? For the love, couldn't you have said that earlier? Ahem. I, I beg your pardon, esteemed guest. I was a bit brusque earlier. The bloodhound are just carrying out a routine inspection. All guest rooms and facilities are in good order. So please be at ease and enjoy your stay. <laughs> but the suspect. Suspect? You su 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 sustainable. <laughs> yeah, sustainable. We know frequent inspections may not seem sustainable to some, but these procedures ensure a safe and secure environment for guests. <laughs> uh, the bloodhounds are more than happy to do so. We'll take a leave for now. Uh, please have a good rest. Ribbons that serve no purpose? To be fair, some ribbons do serve purpose, I guess. They can be used to tie your hair. Like, look at my clothes. I do have a ribbon. But it does serve a purpose of sort, right? It kind of ties in my top so it doesn't fall. Uh, please stay safe and be careful in the dream. Alright, that's enough. Come on, let's go. I'm confused. Maybe I should look around before I enter the dream. The treasure appears to be different from the ones you previously encountered. Faced with your passion, it is unwilling to open up its heart, but choosing to fetter itself further. Roll decks once. You try using your dexterity to pry it open, but this isn't a simulated universe. There are no dice. You also don't have any lockpicking tools available, nor are your hands reliably nimble. The roll ends in critical failure. Uh, the return of the emotion, emotional stories, emotional stories. Wait, what video is that? Thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna drink some coffee, which is not the best way to hydrate. Oh, that's uh, brown dust too. Powers, thank you for the video. Watch closely. You scrutinize the chest in front of you, but don't notice any encrypted interfaces, hidden text, or item submission slots. It looks like a, it definitely can't be opened. What violence? You yell out something about trailblazing justice and court, channeling all your strength into your arms. Attempt to make it open a crevice representing hope and fortune for you. It is useless. Its lid does not move an inch. Meh, this liquid so will hydrate you. Yeah, I bet. Might as well drink some gasoline. Like it was designed to never be opened. This reminds you of those unopenable doors along Pinacone streets. Yeah, me open. <gasps> oh! Bye-bye! 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 You have this strange monkey doll in the room. Judging from the materials, you can see the doll's craftsmanship is exquisite. Its visual design begs to differ. This sly look and eyes brimming with wit. Do people really like characters like this? Punch it. You admit to a swift punch at the monkey's face. It's a texture enveloping your fist. The monkey's visage accepts your anger. You definitely hate cotton. You retract your iron fist imbued with the trailblaze power, but its expression remains unchanged. You have struck it with violence, but it responds with a smile. You win this time, banana monkey. Anything else in here? There are several bizarre monkey drawn on the film reel's cover of the table. The title reads Remastered Top 10 Slumber Nana Monkey Classic Shoots Shots. It even has a limited edition serial number label on it uh, in embossed gold lettering. This appears to be a present prepared for you by the reverie. A most considerate gesture. 
It would have been even more thoughtful if there were a projector in the room. There's nothing here to play the reel. Well. Anything else I could investigate? Are there more items? I mean, this one is still shining. A uh, projector can play such reels have long been phased out in the universe, but you often see these reels appearing on the market selling for a pretty penny. They mostly end up as collectibles, showcasing their master's cabinet to demonstrate the owner's artistic taste. Is there anything else? I mean, there should be. Come on. The TV, maybe? No. Selena, how are you doing today? Welcome. Oh. You have never found words to be so foreign as they are now. Even the synesthesia beacon can't help you translate this gibberish. If it weren't the work of the Riddlers, one would wonder whether the writer was irredeemably mentally disturbed. I can't open, op open the box. Something just doesn't feel right. Yeah, a chest doesn't open? What is this? Not my gacha game. I can't keep March 7th in that hang waiting. Never mind, I'll have to sleep for now. Sleepy tea, 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 tea. Let's go! Real gets line hydrates a lot if you're a card. True! Have to borrow your bed? Are we gonna sleep together? Literally sleeping together. Hello, have fun with the story. Will do. Dot dot dot. Focus on the breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine an island. An island, 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 island. <laughs> This is what plays in my head every time I have ADHD and I can't understand what people are telling me. They're like, yeah, what do you think, Kitty? I'm just like... Sorry, what? I was thinking of bananas. I mean, monk. I mean, uh, I was spacing out. What's up? <laughs> Classic. Just thinking banana in the head. True. Did I just see something strange? You think? Imagine having ADHD, it couldn't be me. Is this paper for university? It doesn't look much like a school, but it does look somewhat familiar. The crazy thing is that I have secondary ADHD, which means I wasn't born with it. I made the effort to get it. So, you know, that's that's a real achievement. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't have ADHD? Well, I guess I'm going to do something to get it. Womp womp. Yeah, so, uh, good shit. Sink in the head. Is this paper for you? Hey, T. Hey, Alex, what's up? Also, what's that? Oh, God, I hate it. It's got the itty bitty buddy, and I hate it. Is that a cigar? I don't know what he's holding. Why a monkey? It's a long story. Is this really... There are monkeys in Pinacone, question mark. The monkey in front of you keeps making bad gibberish sound, reminding you of the film you just watched. Or what an entertaining one it was. Do you remember how the theme song goes? Yep, that's the tune. Let's sing together and open the door to a new world. Who are you? Me? I'm the very the weary soul on your arduous journey. The longing for a moment of rest. Do you have a banana on Twitch? Do actually no, do I have banana on Twitch? I don't think I do. No, I don't think I do, I'm sorry. I'm not singing. You're resolute limbless. Of course you would refuse such an invitation, but when you open your mouth, what comes out is... Look! Your banana gibberish has attracted more durable monkeys!
What a wonderful yet harmonious atmosphere. No matter what, you should join in. Embrace the pleasant banana gibberish and the scent of bananas from the little monkeys. Um, I think this one is better. By the great land above. A most terrifying close call that was, but fear not. The darkest hours of the night may be upon us, but his majesty skyscraper shall now welcome the start of an epic hunt. Damn. It rhymed! And there we go. <laughs> what kind of devious trap is this? Not only are they fiddling about, but they are also concealed weapons flying about. Hey, Balu, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, your rapping is great. Rapping? <laughs> That's not it. What I'm reciting is the mantra of a ninja. Uh, the one on the left is so cute. Be gone, Finlings. I shall give you a taste of my dazzling ninjutsu. You got yourself done with a sword? Hell yeah! That's impossible. How can it be? What did they say? I... I am unable to communicate with these Finlings. Bruh. That's my... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like... All right. Don't let this weirdo interrupt your happy moments. Listen to little monkeys. I'm still joyfully inviting you. She looks like she's the niece of Frank from Shadow Hearts. What is that? Uh, have fun. Thank you for the lurk. Oh my god, it's so scary. Here it is again, that strange feeling. Be on your guard! This is also part of the Finling sorcery. Hang in there. I'll get you out of this right away. Dazzling palm, righteous chop! Bam! How shocking! The ninja strikes your forehead with such force. Its powerful impact reverberates through your body, striking your very soul. In an instant, all your five senses are severed. And the sound of monkey ceases. That almost shot my cellar on. <laughs> my humble apologies. Dazzling palm was designed to deliver a powerful impact to the soul. I've endeavored to control my strength. But some pain is inevitable if I am to ensure you regain consciousness. Hi, Kate! The monkeys in front of you have a fierce look on their faces. As if saying, What the heck is. What the heck is going on? No, what the heck is going on? This one has like a teacher stick. I think this one is that a cigar? I don't even know, but this one has a banana. This one has lipstick, because it's a girl, get it? Hmm. Showing a true colors now that your evil schemes have been exposed. They're calling for the fellow ape feelings. Please take over behind me. Well, do the even come through? It's a short time! How is everybody doing today? Do let me know, I'm curious. Because you care about your humor. Ah, Super Kiku! Super Kaibei no Raida! Super, Super Ultra Kiku! Super Ultra We got them. We got him, chat. It's a monkey businessman with a biz with a monkey business plan. Dang monkey is always up to mischief. Yeah, some could say they're really up to some monkey business. <gasps> got him! I don't know why she's chilling. Hell yeah, same. 
still waiting for the people to arrive, I assume. Improve my time in shadow durations, of course you are. You killed that many! Brap! Get wrecked! You killed that many! They've scampered off in different directions. Those finlings are up to no good. We'd better get moving. Who is that you are you? I never leave a question unanswered. I am a ninja, aka Rapa. I stayed in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions. Be decisive, lest we be overwhelmed by the consequences. There's still feelings roaming nearby. Let us be on our way. Let's be banana friends! Singing monkeys and singing ninja? Am I dreaming? You are indeed. You can return to a safe location after touching this object. Pine canny. Truly is filled with boundless mysteries. Since fate saw fit to bring us together, may I know your name before we part ways? Ninja Kitty? <laughs> Ninja Kitty? I mean, go on. No, I'm just kidding. A strong name! Well made! Baseball Bat Ninja! Well made indeed, Dazzling Ninja! Forgive me for speaking out of turn, Baseball Bat Ninja. But for your safety, you and your companions should leave this land of dreams as soon as possible. The appearance of these Finlings are a sign of impending disaster. It is proof that the Ninja Heroes Academy has their eyes set on the land. The emotionless, soulless, and merciful, merciless, or evil ninja Osaru. Who? It is time for me to depart. Please do take care. Goodbye. Lightning fast before you finish speaking, the night the ninja has already leaped into the dream bubble and vanished without a trace. It all happened so quickly that the average person's eyes can't keep up. This does look like the way out. Let's go. And the dream bubble. Bubbly time. You gather your courage and climb over the railing, entering the monkey-shaped dream bubble. <laughs> Previously on Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions. A long, long time ago, in a world far away, there was a city that flourished under the rule of a ninja hero for many generations. It was known as the Ninja Capital. Under the protection of the ninja hero, the people of the city thrived. They lived and worked in peace and happiness could be felt even the sewers of the ninja capital until an evildoer known as Evil Ninja Osaru murdered the ninja hero and it claimed to the city. The happiness of days past disappeared in an instant. The 56th year of ninja era, the ninja capital. Oh, child new to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Henceforth, you shall be the successor to my dazzling ninjutsu. Look at that moon. Looking good. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow, a sinful land of suffering, hatred and sorrow, bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja Usaru, agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Finlings indulgent in evil gone wild, enraged the heart of all, man, woman, and child, and I keep rhyming. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero, and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital, and bring, back, bring peace back to its people. An astounding recitation of the ninja mantra, Master Kucha. I swear, I will train hard until I become the dazzling ninja. An admirable resolution. To contend with the evil ninja, you will also need a new name. A name befitting a ninja. What should I be called? I don't know, my disciple. Your name will carry your ideals, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. What the frick? What a baffling dream! I should not be at Paperfold University, right? 
Kitty, we're over here. I want you to enroll in this school. Woo. The 400 bananas. That's a lot. <gasps> Treasure chest. That kid is not even skipping properly. What a nerd! It could be an adult. We don't know. It's a fucking baby. Kitty, you're late. Uh, did you run off to Aiden Park with someone to clown about again? Uh, better, better, better. I met a ninja. You tell everyone about the strange dream you just had. Monkeys and a ninja. That doesn't sound like something that happened in Pinakuni. Sounds more like a dream bubble. Look, the ninja, the ninja plushies, the monkey plushies. Ah, uh, those monkeys for you were talking about. Is that them? <gasps> That's them. I knew you had to be talking about Slumbernada Monkey. Slumbernada Monkey. Allow me to introduce you to the most popular little guy in Pebble Four University. It's more beloved than Clocky. Oh, thank God. TikTok, TikTok! Slumbernada Monkey likes goofing off and loves eating bananas. He lives in carefree life in the moment of Slumbernana. It is, is it also a cartoon character created by the watchmaker? No, 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 no. It only appeared recently. It's, um... What's it called again? A me... A me... A, a meme? A me me meme? A me meme? A me meme? Why is it written the me meme? No one knows where it came from. It just blew up overnight. Fans made a bananese that only fellow fans would understand. And even created sticker packs and fan works. Oh god, what is this? Fucking Reddit? That's the most popular ones in the Slum Banana song. Nana. You're really up to date, huh? <laughs> of course, I'm a college student who keeps up with the times. How do you know so much? From the campus group chats, of course. I've done the group before school even started, so I'd get to know more people. That's just common sense. You'll have a hard time making friends at school if you stay out of touch. Here, I'll add you two to the group. Alright, let's see the shit. Just brought in two fresh bananas. Hey, welcome. The treasure nano. Say cheese. <laughs> Chaletka. Peeling Richie. Nana Bloom Chan. Hardworking edition. Hello. <laughs> Hey, welcome! Banana! 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 Um... Hi? <laughs> uh, I'll just say hi normally. Nice to meet you all! Oh god, that's cringe. I'm Kitty, a visiting student from the Astral Express. I'm single and a huge fan of Ethereum Wars. I... I can't tell you the total values of my personal set, but I hope we all get along. What do you mean I'm single? What do you mean I'm single? What do you mean I'm single? Man, Firefly is about to bust this place up. Firefly is about to kick my shit. She'd be like, did you just say you're single to a person you just met? What, what is that about? I thought we were ready to go public. I haven't changed my relationship to... In the committed one on Facebook. How could you? I'm sorry, the metaverse. God, it's quite a serious banana. Nice to meet ya. Yeah, nice to meet ya. Don't be subtitled like a non ripe banana peel. Oh, that's a girl. I think. Like a non ripe banana peel. Listen up a bit. Yada! Loosening up. It's almost time. Let's proceed to admissions. <laughs> Come on, let's go. A spectacular campus life awaits us. So where are my ribbons that supposedly serve no purpose? Oh, I guess it's supposed to be those here. Why is the family running a school in the dream anyway? Do people really come to the planet of festivity just to study? But before the university was established into the pioneering era, it was initially a training ground for dream weavers and was founded by Glow, head of the Nightingale family. Later on, the Aries and Alpha Alpha families also got involved in university operations, and the education landscape expanded into the three academies we have today. Dreamweaver, Charmony, and Fortune. From there, Paperfold University became known as the top art school in the cosmos. Oh. 
Okay. Wow, is this really a school? It looks grander than theme park. Before university's motto is color your dreams, free your ideals. What we see before us reaffirm those words. We still have some time before the anniversary celebration's opening ceremony. Let's take a look around. Hey, Jesse! How is it going? Pretty well, thank you. What about you? Treasure chest. Another one. <laughs> the cars really came across two inscriptions. Really For some reason, a flash of light greatly appears in your mind. There's pursuit ahead, so jumping is very useful. A pity you can't do that. Fair enough. Let me grab that. Mm -da -da. I'll pay for university with one on one instruction from my famed teachers. Become a dream weaver, won't just be a dream. Tweet. Ah, I still don't be self shouting for so long. Tweet. The students are here, don't like to study. Is that the school tuition allowed? Uh, will I get arrested for that tweet? Not too sure. I have to ask Professor Al tweet. Da -da 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 -da. Just overslept? Oh no. Oh no. That's terrible. Hi! There's a puzzle here. Uh, I, I don't want to clown with that. Uh, let's move on. How's things in Star World? Pretty good. I'm chilling. I'm just uh, I'm starting the new story that came out. I, I haven't done it yet, so it's it's time. The Assistada 416. Hello, new students. How are you? What is that? Um, it sure looks unique. Did I scare you? Sorry, I'm Assista Nana 416 from the welcoming committee. Assista Nana? Like a teacher's assistant? It's Balinese. Students are in love with Slumber Nana Monkey right now. So faculty did a homework and changed up our image, Bana. What a faculty in Paper University from the Sweet Dream Troops. Most of the teachers are attending the academic conference during the school anniversary. That's why the Dean asked the Sweet Dream Troop to be substitute teacher as Bana. Don't you worry, the Bana advisor come loaded with the memories of the senior professors. Oh, bad academic standards remain top-notch. There's no need to worry about studies right now, though. Please enjoy the Dreamlight anniversary first. Bana! Uh, I'm sure I will. I wasn't planning on to study anyway. That's a bold declaration. That's alright. Paper for University is a school of freedom. Spend your youth however you'd like. Okay. Good talk. Hmm. Fuck you, spinning balloon. Nobody likes you. There we go. <gasps> but wait, there's more! Hmm, damn right. Alright, let's see. Banana. Banana. Oh, some banana monkey is so cute! Oh, I use some banana monkey's ripe banana too. You could say I'm more of a fresh banana than a ripe banana. Is it a plush next to you? I bought this from the creature's market, it doesn't look realistic. The booth owner said this design is especially popular and really hard to get. So cute! I want one! I'll go take a look when I get a chance. Oh, I can actually... So this one is using a pen. I need to see one of the, 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 the business monkeys. Alright, let me pick this up. Da -da -da. So relaxing. I don't have the time. Uh, I don't have to do anything for the music. Tweet. Then you're just pretending to DJ. It's not like I'm lip syncing. Don't worry. Tweet. Tour is over. Time to go home. Tweet. All right. Fair enough. Stop spinning. I need to get this one. Don't hit me, Tweet! Sitting in a hot air balloon, I find the air above so great, Tweet. Bathing under the spotlight, I will shine brightly like the big birds, Tweet. Sadly, you burst my balloon, Tweet. 
Um, sorry. Never mind. <sighs> I'll just find a new one. Alright, let's go talk with the infirm your schoolmates. Hiya! And you are... You guys were easy to spot. You, the pink pretty girl with the camera. You say cheese, aren't you? Yes, that's me. I mean, I could be pink pretty girl. Are you hitting on my march? You got a problem with that? Hi there, I'm Trish Nana from the campus group chat. You can call me Montana. More like Montana, am I right? Nice to meet you. My name is Dan Hang. I'm Baseball Bat Ninja. When did you start going by that name? Oh gosh, I recognize you. You're the season's festive superstar. You're famous. I never thought I got the chance to... I'd go to the same school with someone famous. I bet you'll be assigned to the Charmony Academy. Assigned? What is this? Like... Is this gonna be Harry Potter? Like, you put a hat on and they're like, Okay, you go to the Charmony one. Or, or you go to the Fortune one. We we'll first do the tuning test. And then at the entrance ceremony, the family's members will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate academy. It's kind of the same. There's just a, a judge. I'm jumping out! Bye! <laughs> Calm down, it's not a real exam. Um, the family assigns every student their major. Don't sound very harmonious to me. Don't worry, if a student disagrees with the result, they can apply for a transfer to another academy. It's just that most people don't. The pressure is high even in the dream, not to mention competition has grown fierce ever since Pinakoni relaxed their entrance review after the, pla the place went public. Most of us are just grateful the family is willing to guide us. That's reality for you, huh? Anyway, let's change the subject. Are you going to attend the Dean's speech? My friends and I are going to check out the creator's market, so I won't be joining you. They're not taking attendance anyway. See you later, Bana! I think Bana is probably funnier in Japanese. Because... Um, in Japanese, you can... To say goodbye or like see you later, you can say Jana. So like, Jana! So if you, Jana becoming Bana is very close. So it's like, Bana! It's, you know what I mean. Anyway, shut up. The teachers and students sure, sh here sure are unique. I have social anxiety. No one's going to buy that. You're never afraid of anything. How dare you. Look at the time. The anniversary celebration opening ceremony should be starting soon. Let's go see the Dean. Alright. Dean time. Ding, 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 ding. Look, the Dean is going on stage. What? No way. The Dean is... Hello, student! Or should I say, Bonanjour? <sighs> What's going on? Is this a gag? Banana? The Dean is a monkey? That is a mascot head, right? Look, it's Slumber Nana Monkey! I'm Professor Primon. You may also call me by my more fashionable moniker, Prof Nana. <laughs> ah, did I surprise you? Don't worry, students. I've not gone mad. The reason I'm appearing before you like this is to show a new student the ethos of Paperfold University. Yeah, this is very serious, Nana chat. Stop, being, stop, stop making jokes. Color your dream, free your ideals. A lovely aspiration, but I hear the words ring hollow nowadays. The pressure of school work has kept all of you from looking up at the beautiful starry sky of the dreamscape. My schedule for the semester is packed. All I do is eat, study, and sleep. It's so hard to prepare for my thesis defense. I'm stuck on my thesis. My dear student, this is not the way. This is not how youngsters in the land of the dream should behave. So today, I bring you good news. After some discussion, the teaching research team has come to a unanimous decision to cancel all courses and exams for this semester. Everyone who attends the school anniversary will earn their credits. Oh, okay. Seriously? Noni? 
ain't no way. Eh. Yes, do not doubt your ears, young ones. Freedom. That is what paper for university yearns to teach you. Alright. Leave your worries over school and life behind. Express yourself. Spread the love of your favorite things, such as Lumber Nana Monkey, to every corner of the campus. Welcome to the Dreamlight Anniversary. Color your dream. Free your ideals. Yeah, bed's Nana. Oh, wait, I didn't go to university. Color your dreams. Free your ideals. Wow, the hype on campus is real. The psych paper for university is more open-minded than the rumor says. It really suits Pinakuni. The tuning test is up next. Let's go. The waiting area is in the open classroom. I hope I make it to Gryffindor. That's not true. Um, I don't remember which class I'm supposed to be in. I think I'm... I think, like, I did one of the tests, and I think I'm the yellow one. Hufflepuff? Pufflepuff? Something, something. Yeah. I honestly, I kind of wanted to be, um, Ravenclaw. But it didn't really fit me, I think. It's kind of funny because I feel like uh, the yellow one, Hufflepuff, whatever it's fucking called, dude, I don't remember. I feel that like when like when you're a kid and you read Harry Potter, it's like nobody wants to be that class, you know? <laughs> I feel like nobody wanted it. But like over time, as like you grew Hufflepuff, yeah, as you grew older, I feel like people are like, you know what, Hufflepuff is actually pretty based. But I, I think it's because, like, when you're a kid, like, the other pigs sound so much cooler, you know? Like, it's like, oh, well, you know, if you're a boy or righteous or, like, if like if you're courageous or righteous or, like, you, you want to do what's right, it's like Gryffindor. If you're super smart, then it's going to be, you know, if you're smart and a, a thinker and, like, you like to prepare everything in advance and make plans. Um, or you're a bit sneaky, you know, it's going to be, like, Slytherin. And then, I don't remember what the motors are for the other one, to be honest. Ravenclaw? I think Ravenclaw is something like willpower or whatnot. Uh, and then Hufflepuff is like... Oh, Hufflepuff is like... It was always like the, the, the lame one. It was like, oh... It's like the shy kids are there. <laughs> it's like if... I think Hufflepuff in general is like... If you're like... Um, if you're like... Uh, Emotional intelligence, you're like compassionate, uh, you just want to help people be happy and you want to, you know, um, enjoy your artistic side and whatnot, you know? And, I, I, and, and it's just like, as a kid, you don't. Yeah, pff, I, nobody cares about that, I wanna be cool! As an adult, you like, be cool, bro, that's cringe. I just wanna be. Oh, I wanna be my friends and be nice to them. <laughs> I don't know. I know that as a kid, I would have, like, Hufflepuff would have been my last pick. Actually, I don't know. I really didn't like Gryffindor. I think it would have been something like Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Slytherin Gryffindor, and then Hufflepuff, probably. But now, I don't know. Maybe something like Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Or like Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and then Gryffindor. Because I wouldn't say I'm courageous. Fuck that shit. I'm a little pussy. I don't care. You fell asleep as a kid? Yep. There it is. According to your student number, this is your assigned seat. Please wait here for the teacher to arrive. Let's do that. He's the teacher. Oh, he has a nice Japanese voice. Are you ready? 
And see, this is what I keep saying. He's like, Hajimemashite. Welcome, everyone. Please turn off your recording device. <laughs> Are you ready, everyone? But like in the ja in the English trailer, is like the, his voice is so different in Japanese and English. It's crazy. Le let me remind you. I was saying how I didn't like his voice in the HSR trailer. Um, where is it? I'm just gonna click on Honkai Star Rail. It was this one, I think. Yeah. Actors, take your positions. Three, two, one. Action! It's like... I don't know, I feel like you probably want to try to get a voice. I mean, I understand, right? It's probably not the voice actor's fault. At the end of the day, you get directed, right? And the voice, I mean, it's a type of voice. It can kind of make sense when it comes to like teaching and like it's the high arts, right? It kind of feels like, oh, that's the, the nerd in, in art class, right? It's like, in Japanese, like, hello, cast members, I am your director for this exam. But in Japanese, uh, in English, it's like, mm, all right, all actors, be ready. <laughs> it's like, dude, why? Actors. Take your positions. Actors, take your position. I was like, I don't like his voice. Two, one, action! Here is quite dead. It's encapsulation. It can never break free of its encapsulation. Finally, all preparations leading up to the climax are in place. Let us welcome. The beatific final act! You know what? No, I don't know, because like... Here... Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free of its encapsulation. Is that his voice? Maybe the other voice is a different one. Fine. Or maybe he has two personality? He has the deep voice one, and then he has the finally banana time. It's like <laughs> maybe it's like finally the cast is set. Be ready for the play to begin. I'm, I'm, I'm bananaing. Hmm. Ha! I love bananas. Like Morbius, he's just morbing. He's bananing. It's like, like this, I don't know what's going on with this. I just uh, because the thing is like literally here. Actors, take your positions. Like this is literally what he said here. Well, it's not here because it was a cinematic. <laughs> That has to be the same character, unless they're trying to, to mess with us, because that's crazy. Hello, cast members. I am your director for this exam. You may call me Mr. Rekka. It's a name that I commonly use in the end credits. Yeah, I don't know, man. Thank you for the bread, though. How well can you make the voice? The sensible artist's voice? Mmm. Mr. Rekka, please, man your verbiage. You're not on set. This is a classroom. No good. Cast member of the family. Do remember that everywhere I stand is a set. Oh my gosh, it's him! It's Mr. Rekka in the flesh and it's cool! Mr. Rekka, I'm your biggest fan! Cut. Cast members. Please remember your lines. I'm currently playing the role of a guest lecturer, and you are my student. Please, stay in character. Amateurs. This guy looks familiar. Uh, I think I saw a picture of him in the blue hour. He's a really famous director, I think. Mr. Rekka, 
is known for works such as Soul Shattered Dark Star, A Fading Nebula, and The Famous Knights of Miniature. Huh? I thought you only watched documentaries. His works are based on real life events. They are worth referencing. Is that a bit kind of cool? Uh, I don't know if I like the colors. I'm not a big fan of beige. And so I feel like the beige and the brown, I that's not for me. But I, I like the design with like all the, 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 uh, what's it called again? The reels, right? And the back, there was like this belt that looked like a, uh, a filming band, right? That's fucking cool. Well, a filming reel, actually. Let me see what the script for this scene says. The examiner presides over the exam. As the family tunes the student to discover the talents within their soul's melody. Hmm. You see this book? Tear it apart and throw it away in the garbage can. <laughs> Classic pompous teacher. Boring. I'm changing the direction of this scene. Cast member of the family. That's a wrap for you. You're fired. What? But tuning is the most important segment of the tuning test. Oh. Nani? Miss Sadina, in your 13 years and 4 months of teaching, you've committed 7 counts of academic fraud. It seems your laziness has turned your artistic integrity into a pile of decaying film. Yeah, yeah, probably Xena. I can understand, right? But, like, while the stereotype is different, I have a preference for one of them in terms of voice type, okay? I'm not gonna cream my panties when someone goes like, Actors! Take your position! I'm like, bruh. But when someone says, <laughs> I, wherever I am, it is the play. I'm just like, oh, okay. Can, can the play be in my bed, please, with you, sir? <laughs> I'm down to clown. That's a film I'm ready to make. Academic fraud? What are you talking about? This scene will determine the students' very futures. Yet your academy would have me produce such slop. Uh, okay, you don't have to call out my YouTube channel, what the fuck? What the f- what? Ah, rude! It's no wonder the Irish family hasn't produced a good film in centuries. Enough! You only hear as an examiner because of the acting dean. You can't dictate, dictate what we do. According to academy regulations. According to academy regulations. Think carefully now. What do the academy regulations say exactly? Oh, that guy is sus as freak. The academy regulations very clearly say that the examiner's word is law in the examination room, so... Wait, but you're the examiner. What's going on here? So maybe he does have a split personality. Maybe he does. Because he is, seems very weird. So maybe he has that crazy high-pitched voice with the other. I guess we'll find out. Good. You finally connected the dots. On my set, the director's word is law. Uh, which makes me think, Mr. Rekha... Reka, Reka. Camera. Mr. Reka. Primitive. Prima. Primates. I don't find a connection between him and Dr. Primitive. So. Huh? Or? Nani? Members of the cast. I've reached a consensus with the producers. This exam shall now be an audition. Are you ready? Are you ready? I will surely find the perfect role for you. You have a nice face, but your talents suck. Poor actress. <laughs> Mr. Rekka is so amazing. He convinced the family so easily. The family member's reaction was strange. It's as if she suddenly changed her mind. Could Mr. Rekka be using clockwork? It looks similar, but it can't be right. It can't be, comma, right? I need to learn how to read the script. 
the casting couch for you. Exactly. Nice. Hey, student with the gray hair, it's your turn. Go to the performing arts classroom. It's now your turn. Hurry and go. If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went. All right, well. It's finally your turn. Hurry and go. I'm going. I'm going. Hello, Mr. Rekka. What's the best role for me? Do you reckon? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Indubitably. Oh, whoops. My bad. You know what? Um. Oh, but I can't use her in this team. But I love Mercy 7. You know what? We'll, no, we'll stay with this team. That's fine. That way I can be with my girlfriend, Firefly. Hell yeah. But with this, we have the... Look at that. We, we have the... Oh, shit. With this, we have the... Um, the immersion. Did you know I can see her panties? Nice. <laughs> I didn't expect we could see them so clearly, to be honest. My bad. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but you can actually really see them easily. God damn. Okay, well, moving on. Hi! Hajimani, Hajimani! Gambate! I thought they would do the invisible treatment like in Genshin, but no. What's going on? Speak. Uh, I'm gonna yank you out. Come, come, come. Think about it. I'll follow me and yank me out the same thing. Think about it. Whoop. Yes. Think about it again carefully. Yes. Speech requires logical consistency and precise words. This is something I learned in debate class. Tweet. I'll go back and have a think. That's all. Note, note. Da -da -da. Can I from some penny shots? Are you? I don't know. I feel like my panty shots are not that cute. Unfortunately, in real life, panty shots are, are not the same as in anime. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah so kitty. Yours. Welcome to the audition. I'm definitely not evil with my smile and my half closed eyes and red pupils. Don't worry about it. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. I will be watching you every move on camera. I know you're Pinakoni's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one, action. Hmm, this doesn't look right. Cut. Cut! Assistant Director, change the scene, please. Okay. okay, that will do. That's just, they just zoomed. Let me see here. Perfect! You're born to be a performer! How do you know? Knowing how to read people is a base skill for a director. The way a performer speaks and behaves reflects their personality. For example, you expressed curiosity just now, which is a driving force for learning. Now for the first question, please, introduce yourself. That's not the question. I'm a galactic baseballer, aka Baseball Bat Ninja. Uh, I'm one of the nameless on the Astral Express. Mm -hmm. That is indeed an important aspect of your identity. A very honest answer. Okay. okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? My bitches? <laughs> My harem? Uh, I can take it. I I'm thick skinned. Very good! Super Staying calm and sanguine is essential when you're on stage. It is a talent most performers yearn for. Now, for the third question, I'll let her do the others. Oh shit, hi. This is my assistant director, a reliable partner with skill at cinematography, script supervising, editing and more. Has a better eye than me when it comes to casting performers. A very perceptive question. 
Kitty, how do you respond? She's very cute. Oh, you were tactful in the face of something, someone making things difficult for you. However, the assistant director doesn't like to be praised for her appearance. Fine. I pretend I didn't say anything. She's very happy with your praise. Now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board the station of Eridisha, where you then boarded a train or trailblaze. In your journey, you witnessed the wheel of preservation, the termination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony and order. That's a bit much, how do you know? You ran across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme or perhaps a dream that belongs solely to you? How do you know so much? It's only natural for a director to familiarize himself with the performer's resume before an audition. A theme or perhaps a dream that belongs solely to you. No, I haven't found it. I see. That's alright. An open theme can encourage creativity. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were calm and composed, like a reliable cinematographer. Combined with experience in assisting the architects, the best academy for you is the Dreamweaver Academy. What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? I'm satisfied, I'll take it. Very good! I'm grateful you're willing to listen to your director's suggestions. It's truly an honor. The audition is over. You're now a student of Dreamweaver Academy. Here is your student card. Hi, Pinakani People Fall University College Student ID card. Name Kitty, Dreamweaver Academy. XYZ215080. 8042. A temporary visiting student, Astro Express. Validity, okay. Address C042 Shade Boulevard, Moment of Soul, issued by Academic Fair Group of Pepperfold University, the family branch, Pinacony, Pinacony, Green for your deals. Okay, good shit. Kitty, can you feel it? The drama concealed within this campus is stirring. Indeed! I can already feel the lines I'll be saying in my next movie. Kimochi! Kimochi! This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Huh, right, how do you know what that means? How do you know those lines? Sus? <laughs> leading character, drama. This Mr. Rekha says some strange things. Let's talk to the frog. Sus? Mm hmm. Katie, can you feel it? Oh, that's the same as before. Moving on. Dan Hang and March also finished the exam after some time has passed. Tell Mr. Rekka said I'm better suited for Dreamweaver Academy instead of Charmony Academy. Is Dream for Dreamweaver Academy not good enough? What's wrong with that? I really thought I had the acting shops. Now I have to go for poor concrete in Dream's Edge. It's not fair. Did you accept the assignment? Of course I did. She goes, of course I did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. It made me really curious. Fair enough. It's no skin off my back anyway, so I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy did you get? Dreamweaver. Wow, then we will be schoolmates! Let's help each other out. I'll be going to Charmony Academy. Oh my, I didn't know you had dreams of stardom, Dan Hang. It's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He also gets lecturer at Germany Academy. It didn't feel right to refuse. All right, all right. You want over the big bar, big bad director with his superstar aura. You don't have to show off. Anyway, we're finally done with the admission process. Let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creatures market that Montana mentioned? Indubitably. Mara? 
By the way, Mr. Rick asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? True, how? He also, asked, he also asked about the Chandra Alliance. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. Uh, maybe. But why did, you sh did she have to mention that I broke the synthesizer? I want to make sure that I see all the dialogue before I move. Because sometimes when you move, uh, it starts another dialogue and it cuts what you were listening to. Oh, this one is shiny. The oboe in flute silicon duet can be heard behind his door. You move just lifted like a bird taking the sky. Pretty nice. Let me see my... Uh... Oh, I'm capped out in terms of energy. I need to use a little bit of that though. Uh... Frick, frick. We need to use some of that energy. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me go do that real quick before... Because I'm losing... I'm losing precious stamina, shit! Alright, let's go here. Nope. 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 There we go. Alright, let me just do this. I'll spend 60 stamina here quite the day. Then we'll go back to the main story. I just don't want to get overcapped. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody now say hey, yo. Hey, yo. ブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパラブラパ
Did you? I don't really chat. So, how much were these desserts? N no, we are hosting a dreamscape at this year challenge. Students can choose from the ingredient provided by the dessert club and sign their own banana pie. Banana pie? Because of Slum Banana Monkey's popularity, all kinds of banana dishes have become popular. Please give it a try. In that case, Kitty, can do the design while Dan Hang makes the dessert. What about you? I'll be the taste tester, of course. You got this. The first thing you must choose for your dessert is the banana. There are three types. The sour jade green banana from the Von Wack Rainforest. The intense blood storing banana commonly used as seasoning. I think it's in golden slum banana that was once popular across the universe but now only exists in sweet dreams. Oh, it's gotta be the golden slum banana. Yo, Spectre Wolf! How are you doing? Hi, it's been forever. Hikari! Thank you so much for the raid. How was Genshin Impact? How did you like it? Did you have a good time? I hope you did. Welcome. Hikaredo Slashy Poo! Hey, Tomer. Hey, LA. Hey, I. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, hey, hi. Hey, hey, hey. Gab, gab, gab. Chat, chat, chat. How you guys doing? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the for the SO as well. That Chill and End storyline got me super engaged. I actually didn't do the, sto the Chill and End story yet. I'm going to do it next time. Uh, I'll stream it probably. The problem is that I procked it by mistake, so I did the first dialogue, but I need to do the rest on stream. This banana looks familiar. Next, we'll add some emotion to give the dessert its unique texture. This is also a feature unique to Dreamscape cooking. So right now, I'm doing uh, the new, uh, the latest HSR ch story chapter. You missed on the free Primo gems. I mean, you get them if you play it. Or is the is the thing already gone? No, I'm pretty sure it's until like you get sixty extra. Oh, the event is over. That's fine. Who cares? It's sixty. <laughs> Whatever. I was too busy with other games. It is what it is. Um. All right. What do we want to add? Um. I kind of want to add tranquility. Mm, though happiness is pretty nice. Is that tranquility? Finally, for the flavor, we have pinnacle in sweet dream icing as Dana's specialty cinnamon and the hotel specialty chili sauce. Cinnamon. Where's the chili sauce? Because people from university soon come from many different planets. One of the members said they dip everything in chili back at home. Um, as Dana cinnamon, definitely. You missed your fish one. Naruto. The banana pie is complete. I'll start baking. Boop. After a brief bake, your banana pie is ready. I think I've like um, I've so many pools ready. I have like a hundred pools. I'm just saving. I'm probably gonna skip Chaska to be honest. Um, so yeah, like Chaska is fine, but like I don't know. I think she's like a an animal sub DPS. Um, uh, but I think she she works best in like uh rainbow teams, and. Like, I don't know. I, I, I kind of like her, but I'm not sure her playstyle is going to be... I'm not very excited by the prospect of her gameplay, essentially. But I like her design. Um, but that means I got, like, a patch and a half to save. And I already have, like, a hundred pool. So, you know, I kind of want to grab Mavuika as well as... I don't know about Sitlali, because I think there's a chance... We haven't had, like, a permanent banner character at all. In um, in, in Fontaine, so I think we might be getting some permanent characters, um, and I feel like Sitlali might be a permanent character. So I'll wait. I'm definitely getting my Vuika, and for Sitlali, I'll decide later. That's pretty much it. Uh, after that, I mean, like if. I don't really care about Capitano, at the moment at least, so I don't know if he's going to be playable or not. But if there's another Fatry Harbinger that's playable and it's not Capitano, I'll probably pull for them. But for now, like in the story, there's really no one else but Capitano, so I doubt it's going to be someone else. If someone's playable, so we'll see. Mm, anyway, it's good time for the taste test. You're saving for Mavuika hard? Yeah. Wow, 
Ah, this flavor. I've never tasted a banana this good. Ah, this dessert is so tasty. I can feel my whole body relaxing. There's also a unique spicy taste. It's like a warm current spraying through my mouth. Awesome. Looks like March 7th feels very strongly about your cooking. It feels good when you create something that touches another person's heart. Whether it's desserts or weaving dreams. You're a senior in Dream River Academy? I'll be going there too. I'll be sure to ask you if I have questions. Questions? I'm not that good. You should ask them in Dream Weaving class. She's touching her finger because she's so shy. Woo. Huh? N nothing. Feel free to visit the other booths. I hope you have a good time. Arigatou gozaimasu. Oh, look. It's Slum Banana Monkey. Let me do this. TikTok. 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 I was just too lazy to speak. Fair. Yo, that's a fucking mood. Whenever I'm lazy or I don't know what to say, I just meow. They're like, so... What you want to talk about? I'm like... There's indeed a fault in my inner world, and I can feel that clearly. It has left a scar in my mind, a mark constantly reminding me to consider the problem that makes us question the meaning of our existence. Oh god. Is the guest really willing to fix us? And you, my guest, you now stand before me, about to entangle this knot for me. Tell me you will personally fix me, or will I be repairing myself? Enter the home escape. Yep. Let's go. Let's go, baby! Oh god. I'm tired of this puzzle, I'm not gonna lie. Da da da. Another one. Brum, brum, brum. Finally! Goddamn! Good stuff! TikTok! The fault has been fixed! My inner demon has been completely vanquished! A nod of approval for the ticker! Guest! Now that I think of it, I just need someone to give an answer! No matter the perspective, I can use it to ascertain my own path! See you again, guest! I'm going to go live it up at the party! Look for us again when you rendezvous with my two friends! TikTok, TikTok! Is that a Mikey voice? Hell yeah. That's my clocky voice. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Toys and Models Club. Oh, it's you guys. I'm peeling Richie from the group chat. You can call me Richie. You know us. Of course, you're the festive superstar, the nameless and Pinacolonist shareholders. Donor who made Fortune Academy's intelligence network. The paper full forums were filled with all the latest scoops before you even walked through the school gates. Ah, uh, someone with your eminent status must have a keen eye for consumer products. Let me introduce you to the Toys and Models Club's bestseller, the Slumbernada Monkey Figurine. Behold the intelligence in its eyes, its soft, lustrous fur, and its lifelike appearance. It's just like having a real Slumbernada Monkey. The toy talks. This is a dreamscape. A regular toy won't draw the eyes of the consumer. So Fortune Banana Advisor allowed me to add a little memoria to it. Look, isn't it as realistic as our memories on me? Well, I should let you know. There is only one left in stock, so act now and don't miss out. Only 8,800 Alpha Alpha credits. It's duty free and that's a 6 months warranty. Who's to support payment with credits? 
No sale. This is a top selling product, buddy. If you snooze, you lose. I'm okay to lose. I'll pay you, give me one. Wonderful. Thank you for your purchase. Now I can have forward living expenses this month. Oh god. Hurry and give us the monkey already. And the demand is too high right now. The toys you see here are all pre-order samples. It's just some time before the products officially ship. Why didn't you say so earlier? It's customary for new products to be available for pre-orders only. My apologies. Don't worry, once a product leaves the warehouse, I'll contact you. No, I'll personally deliver it to you. Forget it, let's visit the other booth. Yeah, the guy's lame, he sucks dick. We still got the pre-order though. <gasps> Don't hit me! Not not. Your meticulous self probably noticed the balloon you hit didn't pop, tweet. It's because I use a miracle is time stopping technique. Zawadido! <laughs> Next is time to witness a real miracle. I'll let time flow again. Three, two, one. Not not. <gasps> oh my god, he's so powerful. Hi, excuse me, can you move out of the way? You skank. Wait, don't go there. The disciplinary committee is searching for a student who broke school rules. Huh? Where's your school uniform? You're getting a demerit. What? Where is this fucking Spike's family? I'm new, give me a uniform. School uniforms aren't free. Go buy one for the faculty office. Wait, prisoners. I've read about them on the paperful forums. They're the Pinnacle shareholders who have come to visit. What? Pinnacle shareholders? Smirks. We're trying to keep it on the down low. My friends, I was just going in here earlier. <laughs> Please, your story can go wherever you like. If the booths up ahead aren't enough, why don't you come visit my dorm or my home? You guys weird. This one's that you changed faster than the people you use clockwork on. What's going on with the student who broke school rules? There's someone acting suspiciously and leaving graffiti on campus. They dress oddly, wearing a glowing scarf and speaking nonsense. My favorite shouldn't be you, shouldn't you be, shouldn't you be, shouldn't be you, shouldn't be, be, blah, blah. Eighth grade syndrome girl. A family description. Um, is that the person up ahead? A scarf is on fire, to be fair. Academic vulgarity? Boop! It's her! Found you! You're not getting away this time. Ninja initiate Gyaku. It seems our time for rest is coming to an end. You're right, dazzling ninja. They're the words of this land. No, they're the evil spirits drawn to our sins. Lamentable. My ninja speed isn't fast enough to outrun cause and effect. The ninja's blade cannon must sever the chain of cause and effect. Your determination is admirable, ninja initiate Gyaku. You have already stepped into the ninja hero domain. Do you hear that? Evil spirit, be reduced to ashes before ninjutsu. Huh? Are we going to fight? What are you waiting for, warriors? Fight us! Unbelievable. You from the performing art club? The woman next to you is in big trouble. Don't become an accomplice. So this is the booth for the performing arts club. Oh, come on, just play along. The camera was rolling. Yeah, lame Huh, huh. Student prison council. More like student lame Huh. Oh, this is committee. Well, same shit. So, is she a member of your club? No, I think she came from outside the campus, but look how in character she is. She's perfect. I mean, true. Hmm. What's going on with the top here? Is that is that Booba being freed? Shouldn't that arouse you suspicious? Now it just arouses me. My meeting with Ninja Initiate Gigaku was purely happenstance, but I did not come here alone. These nameless ninjas are also my companions. That's me! Uh, do you know her? Um, I suppose. So she's a friend of the shareholders. That explains her behavior. That's why she's so fucking weird. Hey, what do you mean by that? Since you're a visitor, I'll let you off this once. Don't break school rules again. <laughs> the tyrannical office official retreat in the face of such extraordinary fighters. Victory for the ninjas. You, put on your school uniform, it's a demerit. Huh? Right. The individual who claims to be ninja initiate Gigaku has been detained by the head of the disciplinary committee. Baseball bat ninja, it is good to see you again. 
This must be a fated reunion. It is a pleasure to meet the both of you as well. Nameless Ninja, I am Rappa, aka the Dazzling Ninja. Nameless Ninjas? Are you talking about the Nameless? We have names, you know. I'm March 7th and he's Dan Heng. What strong names! Greetings, Ninja Rudy and Ninja Hiryu. What does that mean? Alright, it's time to Google and translate. Rudy. I don't know what it means. What about Hiryu? I don't know. Google Translate failed me. My name is Dan Hank. Understood! Ninja Hiryu Aoi Dan Hank. Um, she's taking this really seriously. Is this what people call Chunibyo? She knows! That's what I've been saying! She knows! That's what I've been trying to say, but I couldn't find the word. Chunibyo! She's a Chunibyo! A Chuni! Chuni! I gotta remember. Chuni! It's like when you give a chu as in the keys to your Nissan. Chuni! It's easy. Just think of Siskon and you got Chuni. Chuni! Kiss my brother. Chuni! Got it. Chuni be you. Maybe she's a Riddler. Ah, uh, Well, well, well. Fudge me. A Galaxy Ranger, eh? Strange things happen across the cosmos. Maybe an interesting planet does exist. Is she the ninja you saw in your dream? Umu. She says Umu! She says Umu! Yo, I love girls that say Umu. The last girl that we saw that said Umu was Hulken Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg. And she was Pog. But now I'm just like, I should pull for her. And now, now I'm just like, I'm thinking I should pull for her. But I'm supposed to say for Fugue. A combo for Rappa! I'm supposed to save a Fugue! But Rappa is so cool! Rappa is so cool! But I need to save a Fugue! And I can't get them both! Ah, life is unfair! Indeed, baseball bat ninja and I are comrades who will risk life and limb for one another. We will besiege in the Finling Fantasia and survive together. It's not nice you eavesdrop on conversations. A ninja super earring can capture even the death of a proton. You spoke loudly before me. I wasn't eavesdropping. You claim to be your companion, so it's only reasonable to ask that you state your identity and purpose. Of course! Mm. Umu, this is exactly what I'm here. Why I'm here, but before that... There is still injustice to be upheld. I must prioritize assisting that cause. Stupid in council! This is discrimination! Oh, she's wearing her thing! It's not a bloom channel along! She was also in the group chat. You still here? Thank goodness. Ninja initiate Gigaku. What ails you? Stop calling me by the name of my character. Use my stage name, not a blue chan. That's cute. Then a bloom? Referring to the flowers that bloom on banana trees. They're really pretty. You know, I just realized how high caliber our new students are this year. Please. You absolutely must take part in the Performing Arts Club Paperfall University's Superstar Project Photography Challenge. That's a mouthful. That's a really long name! Me and March 7th are so in sync! We're in sync, we're in love, we are made for each other. Also, I was screaming, so I scared my Lily. I'm gonna go and pat her so she feels better. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just pet the cat, and now she's happy and just purring. Oh, she's coming toward me! Oh, she's so cute. When I go pet her, she's like, I'm coming, mama. I'm coming. This challenge requires you to take on the role of celebrity models. You choose a photographer who will take a photo that meets your requirements. We'll then print into a photo book and send it to you. Thank you for the pat-pat. 
That sounds great. Let's take some photos together. If it's a trial prepared by Ninja Inishi Gilku, I see no reason to refuse. Great! Now choose a photographer among yourselves. This challenge will put the photographer's skills to the test more than the models. Photographer on March 7th, you're up. What? Uh, can't you do it, Kitty, please? I really want my own photo shoots. I'm begging you. Then you're in charge of photography. Good luck. As for a prop, let's use this Slumber Nana monkey toy. Alright, make sure you get all the models and Slumber Nana monkey in the shot. Alright. Come on, let's do it. Ba -ba -ra -ba -ra -ba -ba. I, I guess that's what I was supposed to do. I didn't realize I was supposed to time it perfectly. Whoa, perfect! I'm good. I'm going to display these photos at the booth. Baseball bat ninja, your photo ninja is exquisite. I envy how photogenic you all are. I want to be one of the stars featuring this court stand audition too. Forget it. Let's not talk about such depressing topics in the middle of festivities. Here's a photo book. Have fun. Thank you for the bad pads, I hope you're doing good. And a hydrate. No one will bother us anymore. Tell me. Oh, you've been following us all this time. Very astute. It appears you have ninja super hearing too. However, following you was mere coincidence. My purpose for coming here is to set up dazzling ninja seals across the campus in order to dispel the evil ninja's matrix. I wonder who her actress is. HSR Rapa VA Japanese. Han Megumi. Megumi? Cute. Man, yesterday I watched so... I, well, I didn't watch. I read. I, I read so much uh, Megumi in Dujinshi. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, I just felt like reading Megumi in Dujinshi. And uh, yeah, now you know. You're welcome. She's the voice of Gone Freaks from Hunter x Hunter? That's crazy. I, I did not expect that. She's also the voice of Kada in Oshinoko. King uh, King Protea in Fate Grand Order. Ram Lethal Valentine in Guild Gear. And Tama in One Piece. Yo, she's sick, dude. Love her. Love her. She has done so many voices. Holy crap. Very, very famous uh, voice actress, huh? Incredible! Yeah, it's huge. She's done a lot of male voices, surprisingly. That's cool as freak. Alright, good stuff. Seals, on the graffiti... Oh, the graffiti student from the disciplinary committee was talking about. Cause and effect is a wondrous thing. It allowed me to reunite with you, the nameless ninjas. Ninja Hiryu may not recognize me, but you must remember my colleague, a ninja hero clad in silver armor. He has a bold, easy confidence, is proficient in the use of bullet ninjutsu, and frequently spouts sweets and melodious words. Silver Gun Shura! I think I know who that is. Is it Boot Hill? Um. <clears throat> um, precisely. Does that mean you're also a Galaxy Ranger? Of course, I didn't want to cause a misunderstanding, so I emphasized the title Ninja Hero. They both mean the same thing? So we now know who checked into the hotel, but why are the Galaxy Rangers revisiting the dreamscape? Ninja Hiryu, you and your companions are all elite ninjas who follow the teaching of Trailblaze. You should know in the cosmic ninja realm, there are many extraordinary individuals like me, but also evil ninjas. So long as the evil ninja still lives, danger that requires the presence of ninja heroes will never cease. The reason I visit Pine Canyon is to hunt down one such scoundrel. He wrecks havoc across the universe with his findlings in tow. He's the enemy of the ninja capital and my arc enemy, evil ninja Osaru. Do you know what she's talking about? 
A historical account of the ninja realm logged into the ninja scrolls. Of course. Ah, uh, forget I asked. <laughs> to be fair, that hang has a personality that just want, makes me want to fuck with him. Not in a sexual way, I just want to troll him all the time. He's so funny. He's so serious, he deserves to be trolled with. Or trolled at. I don't know, whichever you want to use. This is troubling. If she really is a ranger, we have to take her story seriously. Perhaps something has happened in Pinakoni. Pinakoni! Uh, should we contact the family? Bring happy birthday! The situation isn't clear. We shouldn't act rashly. After all, we're currently here as guest students. It would help if we could get in touch with Boot Hill. I wonder where he is. Up your butt. <laughs> <gasps> Boto Hilo! Mega Zoe! Sure enough, when I came to, my mind was whispering. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. That's when it hit me. I've got a mind that's still alive. But if you ask me, my motherfudging brain ain't the bust of me. Or how did I end up here? Huh? Are you in Pinakoni now? Found a note at the front desk. Huh? I ran to someone calling herself a Galaxy Ranger, so I want to check her identity with you. Dag Navit! Finally got a single bag. This place told dump. You guys met Rapa already. Failed to send. Forking hell. Pardon me for asking, but this is your seventh drink and you've only had a sip from each. There's something the matter with them. Oh, it ain't like that. This little sweet drink takes pretty good. Ordering a bunch is just a habit of mine. No need to worry, lady. You'll know soon enough. I'm hanging out to take care of some business. Keep this safe for me. I get I'm supposed to be helping Rapper, but I don't see anything strange going on here. Oh, hell yeah. Botohilo! Looking good, baby. I ask you one last time, do you have any taste at all? This place is usually sitting in here empty, but if we put a slumber nana statue here in Bilo Plaza, it will instantly become a landmark of Dreamflux Reef. I'll be able to get ahead of the family again. It doesn't matter what you say, you can't just take your claim on this place. No one's going to accept that. Then who should we listen to? Micah hasn't said anything, there's no reason to delay. I'm going to put this here today, or... Huh? Who are you? Come off it, partner. I ain't even said anything yet. I don't care what beef you got. Just make way, will ya? Like, no, I don't want to let you pass. So what? You hired this guy to be your thug? No, I don't know this man either. But Saga, no, our position isn't going to change. Then I'm done playing nice. Uh oh. Forking hell. You're hard of hearing something. Do I have to let my gun do the token? Sheesh! He has no time for this shit. Nani? A pistol? Alright then, hope you're ready to get shot. There is no need for that, sir. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. Please put your gun away. I'm afraid that's too much excitement for those of us who already died once. Who are you now? What kind of show is running here? Ah, uh, forget it. The world's complicated enough as it is, but my bullets will make things real simple. Oh. Okay! Act first, think later. You bet your forking bananas I'm teaching all of you a lesson today. Huh? Wait a sec. The fudge was that? Bet your bananas. When the bananas did I start saying fudging bananas? I'm going bananas here. Bananas? Son of a banana. What the banana fudging Sunday? 
Mika, I thought you don't get involved in these matters. I'm just putting up a decoration everyone likes. I'm not hurting anyone. First, I find it hard to believe that everyone likes those monkeys. Second, I just happened to be passing by. I saw a friend came to say hello. Friend? That's right. Though, truth be told, I don't remember your name anymore. I've met too many people the over, la uh, the over, over the last few years. That's a typo. I still remember those eyes. This is great. Everyone can make their own dreams here. That's what you said when you first arrived. Your eyes gleam with spirits. Don't forget the aspirations you once had. Damn! Yeah, tell him! <laughs> Do you have to say these things out in the open? You need to fix your bad habit of lecturing people. Well, maybe you need to fix your habit of being a dick so people don't have to lecture you. You're absolutely fucking good. I mean, yes, sir. There's a reason why things become popular. You'll understand someday. But fine, I'm back up for today. I'll be back. Let's go. Okay, bye. Have a great time. Hold on. Banana of a Sunday. Ah, forget it. I guess I could refer to say less. Indeed. Hey, where are you going? Let them be. They release their harbor new will toward you. Hmm. And they suddenly don't have the courage to do anything. Anyway, right, Mr. Ranger. Ah, finally, someone sensible. Have a chat with that Micah dude. Resort for monkeys. Great movie, by the way. I know what you want to ask. The Galaxy Ranger's gunshot ring loud and clear. And Dreamfall's grief isn't so isolated that we don't hear what's going on outside our walls. I good to know I didn't waste my shot. I gotta say, I've seen it all now. The atmosphere here is real strange. I mean, statues of monkeys? It's just a fight among youngsters, if you ask me. It's even stranger than the Galaxy Ranger in the Dreamfall's grief. Aren't you here chasing evil or settling your grudge? You don't gotta beat around the bush. Go tell but just looking at me. Banana Sunday. Everything's bananas. I came here to help someone now I'm the biggest focus around here. Son of a banana. Tell what's going on with that monkey. It wasn't that long ago, but they arrived just as suddenly as you did. Huh? Did that mean something? Who's they? They call themselves as Stananas. They look like the Sweden group troops, except much stranger. They came here to advertise something called the Slumber Nana Monkey. Maybe it's the appearance of the cultural significance. It's like every other thing that was once trendy. I don't have an opinion on Slumber Nana Monkey. The young people love it. The real problem is the level of fanaticism it creates. You saw the group from before. The group obsessed with the monkey and formed their own society. I think it's called the Slumber Nana Association. They run publicity campaigns all across Dreamfolk Reef under its banana. It's banana. Under its banner, and they're not very friendly. Ah, oh, the self proclaimed banana maniac just now, and no one's tried to stop them. Fats come and go. It's not all that unusual, even in Dreamflux Reef. I didn't see a reason to interfere, besides. For a very long time, this was the only place in Pinacony that had some freedom. Something just shouldn't be changed. Fine by me. If you won't deal with it, somebody else will. The Slum Banana Associations, huh? Appreciate the tip, partner. One moment, Mr. Ranger. You haven't answered my question from earlier. Which was? Are you here chasing evil or settling your grudge? Now, do I look like some kind of madman to you? The answer is both. Any more than that is none of your business. Okay. Fair enough. You still worry about something? Tell you what, buddy. Go to Jesse's shop next door, it's a for seven drinks, sell all that, and consider my behavior here bought and paid for. Seven drinks? It may not be much, but it's still malt juice. I'll never break a promise to those who treat me. You can bet on that. The first time I met someone like that, I let myself get shot rather than betray them. Okay. Maybe one day we'll get his uh, full backstory. Let's go! Pew! Let's go! What the heck is going on? You're not making things easier here. You say you're a slum banana monkey fan, but you can't even answer any of my questions. Wait, 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 it just slipped my mind for a moment. I think I got it. Number 20 is... is... May all see the world for what it is, an arc waxing into perfection. 
But don't say about it. You'd best go home for now. The events we're holding over the next few days aren't like any other. Jumping on the bandwagon isn't going to nab you an entrance ticket. Ah, oh, poor girl. She's gonna be straight. Alright, let's go talk to him. Whoops, that's a misclick. Hold it right here. Um, are you here for the Slum Banana Association event, sir? Get your membership card with you. I'll need your member ID. What a banana sun are you talking about? Ugh, another bandwagoner. Exit yeah, over there, sir. We don't welcome anyone but, tr but true fans of Slum Banana Monkeys here. Listen, buddy, don't make me repeat myself. I love me some bananas. You don't want to make things more complicated than they need to be. Put the gun down, sir! We can talk this out without going bananas! I gather you're keen on checking out the events. Well, that's fine and all. Ah, uh, now we're talking, baby. Now we are talking. But I can't just let you in. If you're really interested, why not start off by learning more about Slim Banana Monkey? The girl from just now could give a passphrase just to get through his door. No, there wasn't a passphrase, but an entry test to become a member of the society. We're hosting an incredibly important event inside, after all. Everybody wants to be part of it. Sounds impressive. Sign me up, partner. It's a lot harder than it sounds. You won't be able to pass the test unless you're an expert of Slumber Nana Monkey. I might as well give it a shot. Gotta be easy in breaking my, uh, my way in. Fine, the Slumber Nana Association is always happy to make more friends. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, which of these questions would you like to start with? The Slumber Nana Association's membership hierarchy? Banana on a Sunday. What kind of questions are these? Looks like a completely eclipse of Slumber Nana. These are pretty much no brainers, you know. Sorry, but I can't let you in for now. Partner, you're in luck. It is where my own business. I've been making my way through by other means. But since I'm just lending a hand, I can't go raising too much ruckus. Okay. Kunkaiwa. Okay, we'll do things your way. Oh, hire can a few questions be anyway. Do I have to go around to learn about the fucking lore? I guess so. Robin! Miss Robin, am I singing it right? Mm -hmm. You're doing wonderfully. That reminds me, shall I give you a checkup? You learn fast, but this is an event singing technique after all. You won't do if you don't take good care of your throat. Rise up into my world. Is something the matter, Miss Robin? You're dead. Nothing wrong. I was just worrying too much. Everything is looking good. Hey, Mercade, how you doing? I can't believe I just ran into a superstar in a place like this, too. It's okay. This big brother here is a good man. Why don't you go and have fun somewhere else for now? Kitty Chow? Kitty Chow. Chow in Japanese means, chine, means meow. I think Chow means cat, right? Uh, I don't know what Yun means, though, in uh, as an honorific. Enlighten me, please, mister. Big brother? Maybe I should have just kept it at mister. Would that have been better? In any case, Mr. Boothill, it seems you put your travel on hold after that incident, too. Are you enjoying your time with Benagony? Enjoying, huh? I'm like going bananas. Bananas! I just can't catch a break. Mr. Boothill, you... Huh. Hang on. Sorry. Please keep still for a moment. What in the forking hell are you doing? Huh? Fork! Fudge! Fudge! Holy short balls! I'm back to normal! I'll, I, I, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Normal is a big word for you, okay? Give me a look.
Alright. Sorry I'm being, uh... Is that the, the censorship version? I don't know what the non-censored version looked like, so I, I can't really say anything about that. <sighs> yeah. Alright. I knew it. There's a nice one, Mr. Butchell, too. Too. Sounds like you've encountered this before. A wedding tarnation is going on with all this banana business. I wish I could tell you, but I still haven't figured out what it is. I've been visiting this place a lot lately to teach your children how to sing. Giving up one's sweet dreams takes resolve, so it's my wish that music can bring them some solace. But as time passed, I started to notice something increasingly off about the Dreamflux Reef. Ah, oh, Slum Banana Monkey! As I expected, it's come to your attention too. This memorial nearby has been mutating ever since Sumble and Anna Monkey gained popularity. I wish everyone uh, luck next patch. What for? Gotta be pulling for characters? Even though the noise doesn't cause any tangible impact, it leaves me feeling awfully drained every time I use the power of harmony for tuning. I can't explain it. Other than that, it also paid a visit to the Slum Banana Association. Uh, swing back that place too, to let you join up? They didn't, unfortunately. Anyone who wishes to become part of the Slumber Dana Association must undergo onerous and trans procedures before they can become one of them. Besides, even if I did succeed in infiltrating them, I would stand out too much. It makes more sense for me to focus on studying the noise instead. So you didn't pass the test either, huh? But don't change the fact that you still gotta get in one way or another. You got any bright ideas? I can offer a few ideas on places you can make inquiries at, but why the sudden... But why the sudden? Is something going on in Pinakoni? Long story, I'll fill you in once I have more concrete details. But first, I have to pass the interest test by hook or by crook. Making inquiries, you say? Not a bad idea. And heck, why couldn't I be a fan of Slum Banana Monkey? Tough guy exploring the South Side or thing these days. If all else fails, I've got an easy solution to fall back on. I can just borrow a membership card from those little fudge heads scrapping the turf earlier. Easy peasy. Um, okay. Let's go. Uh, Slum Banana Monkey fan creation, Dreams of Monkeys and Banana. This fan work violated the guideline by Slum Banana Monkey fan creation due to its exceedingly unsettling nature. Sorry for the violation, this piece wasn't meant for publication, but I really love it, so I decided to share it here. Please don't redistribute this work without permission. You may have come across similar urban legends elsewhere, dream of the evil ape, scary monkey show, or something like that. In those tales, the protagonists often find themselves aboard a public transport vehicle is a dream where an oddly shaped monkey begins a self immersed countdown, then brutally murders the passengers seated in front of the protagonists in all sorts of terrifying ways, row by row. The sheer horror of its, of its means to kill surpasses all possible human imagination regarding the torture, instilling a profound sense of horror that jolts the dream dreamers awake. However, they inevitably find themselves returning once again to that unsettling nightmare, with the menacing monkeys drawing ever closer each time. Eventually, the protagonist becomes so terrified of sleep that the story reaches an abrupt conclusion. A friend of mine at Slumber and Nana Association experienced a similar dream, but the monkeys in her nightmare were much gentler. The cheerfully distributed fruits to the passengers, their expression bright and inviting, However, with each iteration of the dream, the number of fruits would increase. Take the apples, for example. That's to say, there is one apple per person in the first dream, then three apples per person in another, and so it goes. We can easily picture the outcome, right? As more and more fruits piled up, someone would inevitably be unable to eat them all. However, the monkeys showed no concern, smiling as they insisted to each passenger, be sure to finish them or something terrible will happen. But how could anyone possibly finish such an ever-increasing number of fruits? In the end, my friend saw the consequences faced by a fellow traveler who failed to eat the fruits. You must think about I'm about to recount gory details in a gruesome manner, but what happened was even eerier and more horrific. They're just using every method they can to force their victim to eat all the fruits, adding all up in the end. The number reach up into the terrible thousands. Ultimately, no one can really say if it was the people that ate the fruits or the fruit that ate the people. It has been three months since I last saw thy friend. Oh shit. That's weird. 
To be honest, I'm absolutely clear when it comes to the songwriting. The song was taken from somewhere else. But the first time I heard it, I knew immediately that it was the perfect song for telling a slumber nana monkey story. So I wrote new lyrics for it. This is the slumber nana traveler. I hope you find it appe appealing. I want it far. I want it wide with slumber nana monkey. Its voice so clear, its voice so bright, tell me to remember. When you're tired, take a rest, take a break, is for the best. Life grows beautiful for those who will forfeit it all. They're even singing about it now. So what's your expert opinion on this? I love it. A song finds meaning in the existence only when it can be sung by anyone and everyone. No matter how hard or tough an ordeal is, it can never take song away from the people. The last part was scary. Alright, let's see here. Monkey! Welcome, Ilashai Masse! A slumber that a monkey toy for you, mister. I mean, myself, don't worry, I'm not taking any money for it. Do I look like someone would place a monkey beside my pillow? Well, you never know. You look really cute after all. I. you. what? Wait a minute, am I dreaming? Uh, are you Miss Robin? Hello. Man, he was getting hit on. If only Robin wasn't here, you could have had a, a shot at her. <laughs> Get it? A shot? Oh my, I was just listening to your newest album. What brings you to Dreamflux Reef? I've been frequenting this place lately, actually. We just hadn't crossed paths until now. Don't worry, you'll be seeing me around these parts for a while more. After all, the Slum Banana Association's entrance test doesn't seem that easy. The Slum Banana Association? Are you planning becoming a member? I must be dreaming two of my favorite things together. I must be the luckiest fan alive. If it's you, Miss Robin, then of course we must make an exception and let you in. You don't have to give me special treatment. I'm just a normal person like every other slumber than a monkey fan out there. But you know what they say. Good things come in pairs. There's no harm in making a concession sometime. Here, bring this with you the next time you head over. They'll know what to do once they see it. And don't worry, you're still playing by the book. So just to keep them from making things difficult for you. Okay. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff. Let's go. It's time to tackle that fudging exam. It is. Do you do you need something else? Uh, who do I look like? Uh, who do I look like for to? Who do I look for? Sorry, to take the entrance test. I remember you. Let's meet. Cramming isn't going to help you, know. Don't worry, I'm a monkey expert now. About as much as I'm a master marksman. Ask away. If you say so. You're taking the Slumber Nana Association with likely. You ask me, but here goes. What cheers make up the Slumber Nana Association membership hierarchy? Human, Denisovans, apes. Which of the following is most likely to be a famous quote by Slumber Nana Monkey? Life grows beautiful for those who forfeit it all. That's what we saw. Bingo! On to the last question now. Although the Slumber Nana Associations have banned any derivative work inspired by Slumber Nana, what kind of deriv deriv derivative work should we refrain from creating? Creepy or scary stuff? Exactly! That's the most despicable form of slander. Congratulations, you've passed! That was impressive, this way, sir. Let's go, partner, attempt to see what these troublemakers are capable of. I'm afraid it won't be wise for us to continue our investigation together, Mr. Boothill. What do you mean? If you're hoping to keep a low profile, my presence will only be a burden, Mr. Boothill. Moreover, if you intend to employ certain means of doing things, it will be for the better if I'm not around. As expected, of one as a seat of power in the family, a lot sharper than you let on. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. It will be prudent for one of us to stay on the outside. Strange, they're linked, but this place, I don't detect any noise here. The answer is simple, the gun may fire, but it's bullies that doesn't that does kill him. So, Mr. Bolt Hill, I'm familiar with the Galaxy Ranger and the exploits, as well as with the entities they pursue. For you to stop here, something must be happening in Dreamflux Reef. Hey, don't be a stranger. You can just call me partner, yeah? Nani? Monkeys, monkeys, and more monkeys. The old model fudging monkeys. Evil Ninja Ozaru, the dog and model fudger. It's way too familiar himself for comfort. Think better not turn out the way rapid fear the wood. Getcha, I'll leave things out here to you then. Oh, and thanks for all the help so far. You're too kind, I should be thanking you instead. You have my gratitude for offering your assistance with Boothill. 
You live up to the name of a Galaxy Ranger indeed. Yeah, the same matter. Let me just say some. So let me just make some things clear. I don't give rats behind about people doing good or evil. Whatever is about to unfold is the little club full of shirt for brains. It's not different from the usual stuff I do elsewhere. Things ain't pretty. Sorry. Things ain't gonna be pretty. But just will be served. And that's all I care about. I see. Then wish you all the best. As for me, I'll try to trace the noise to its source. We'll see each other again later, Mr. Boothill. Finished downloading. Lovely. How how did you enjoy it? Did you end up buying it or are you still the no, I guess you finished the demo. You gotta let me know how you think about what you think about it. I'm gonna be um I think I'll try it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing a short stream and in the afternoon, so maybe I'll do like uh, 2 p.m. to like 6 p.m. Like maybe a four-hour stream. I'll try it out. You did buy it, so there wouldn't be anything to download. Yep. Fudge me, there ain't nothing strange about this place at all. The ash falls are good. Now it's quick. The Aiden betted the wicked. Well, bottom a banana, call me a biscuit. We can't have the member initiation right so soon. Bring it on, baby. One is just more than enough for this game of infiltration. Brownless 2 is tomorrow too. Yeah, but it might the the update might go live uh, after I'll be available. Because I think the update might be at like 9 p.m. Because that's usually well, no, I don't know when it's gonna reset. It depends on when the update is. Uh, tomorrow evening I won't be available. Wait a banana, is that me? If the, if the update is like tonight, then maybe I'll play it. If it's not tonight, I'll play it later. He's getting banana attacked. Oh, wait! Are the consequences of keeping one class that serious? What's March doing here? Previously on Cosmic Ninja Inscriptions. Hell yeah. To defeat evil ninja Osaru, the girl has become the successor of the Dazzling Ninjutsu. Adopting the code name of Rappa, she began training under Master Kucha. To help Rappa master the secret of the ninja arts, Master Kucha subjected her to harsh trials. And Rappa, in her quest to liberate the ninja capital from darkness, determinedly endured every test. Master Kucha is aware that Rappa is maturing to a true ninja, and her destined mission will soon unfold. The 61st year of ninja era dazzling dojo the ninja capital. Okay. Ninja initiate Rappa. Yes, Master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered the hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon to defeat the evil ninja and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within these pages lie the secret of Dazzling Ninjutsu, which shall cast a brilliance that makes Finling fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Painted throughout the ninja capital, banish the shadow with ink and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So the decision is yours to make. A while ago. Kitty, kitty! Stay awake, don't fall asleep. We still can't reach Boot Hill. Do you think we can trust Rappa? This might be sound rude, but the only proof of her being a ranger is her peculiar behavior. But the concerns are valid. I also find the sudden obsession with monkeys to be rather unusual. Come to think of it, ever since we arrived here, the pens of that little monkey has been making me feel a little unsettled. Uh, and they didn't dress up as a monkey. Those assistants as well, they didn't dress up as a monkey, don't forget about my dreams. Let's go and take a look at the classes, shall we? Huh? I thought all classes were cancelled. A dream weaving class will start soon at Dreamweaver Academy. It's more part of the anniversary celebration than it is a regular class. 
Slumber Nana Monkey's rise in popularity seems quite unnatural. Is someone stirring things up behind the scenes so we need to pay close attention to the action of the teaching staff? Sure, we have to attend classes sooner or later anyway. Do we move classes at the stage plaza? Let's go take a look. Let's go indeed. What's happening here, by the way? Good. New. Rob is here too, but they're just thinking along the same lines as us. Indeed. You're mistaken, utterly mistaken. Some banana monkey is by no means an ordinary cartoon character. This guy looks so familiar. Dreams are the canvas of one's subconscious. We didn't need even a banana can carry intricate emotions, not to mention the slum banana monkey adored by countless ripe bananas. Yobe is Bobat Ninja, Ninja Ruri, Ninja Hiryu. The Death Ninja greets uh, each ninja present. This action seems superfluous, but it is a courtesy that cannot be ignored by a ninja. You don't need to individually greet everyone, so are you also here for the class, Miss Rapa? Suddenly, great ninja think alike. This class dojo seems shady. It harbors Finlings, exercise caution, fellow ninja warrior. So now that we've got everyone, alright, let's dive right into your ben Ban academics. The dream-weaving banana advisor sways a head. The class bell rings. Today's session is about decorating the campus to your liking. Here, grab one of these. The banana advisor hands out a can of spray paint to the students, but you can feel the weight of the candle. You can't, as if it were empty. The material that formed the dreamscape are completely different from those in reality. And the same theories apply to dream weaving. What you're holding is mimetic dyes, which is made from memorandia. Hmm. It's easy to decorate the wall. The thing will be everyone's favorite monkey, some banana monkey. So this class is about painting. No, no, no. Dream weaving is completely different from painting. Let me show you, Bana. The dream weaver banana advisor raised the spray can and colorfully inked the droplet splashes around. What's the other thing? The gliding seems to come to life, flowing, surging, and blending on the wall, creating ever changing shapes. How did you paint that so quickly? It's like magic. Calm your mind. Visualize what you want to create. Tell your emotion to resonate with the materials, and there you have it. Your imagination will come to life in a dream. That's dream weaving. That's dream weaving, Bana. I see, Bana. March. Don't start saying Bana. Huh? Bana Bana, don't worry. Maybe that can affect the weaver's emotion. It seems this place has helped you understand Bana gibberish better. Great. Hmm, okay. That's it for demonstration. We would who would like to give it a try? What's happening? My mouse was in another pallet. This class definitely seems fishy. I'll go and investigate. But you'd draw too much attention if you started speaking bananas too, Dan Hang. How about Kitty and I go instead? We're not usually that serious, so even if we mess up, it won't stand out too much. Alright, I'm gonna make myself some tea. I'm feeling a bit cold. I don't know why. So I'll do that, and I'll be right back, chat.
I'm back. I went to get tea and I ate a snack too, so, you know, I'm a happy cat now. Ah, uh, how are you guys doing? Now, don't put milk in my tea, that's disgusting. Welcome back, thank you. How about Kitty and I go instead? We're not usually that serious, not so even if we mess up, it won't sound too much. Um, alright, let's go. Great, let's head out. Hey, Clara's lost shoes. But advisor, we would love to try. Me too. Excellent, you can call you can all go up here. Those who excel might even earn some course credit banana. Alright, let's see. This prison wall is about to change, taking on your colors. Just think about it makes your tiny hands clutching the dream pain tremble with excitement. This will be a masterpiece that transformed Paperfold University. To ensure you have no regrets about your youth, you must carefully plan the context of this painting. From color scheme to composition, from the big picture to the smallest details, from concept to design, it deserves not just a system hour, not just a day, but an entire year of meticulous refinement. Make your mark on the history of dream art. Hurry, don't dawdle, the class will be over banner. Unfortunately, the clueless monkey interrupted your daydream, but he did remind you of one thing. Time is always mm, the most precious resource in creation. You close your eyes and begin meditating as instructed by Banana Advisor. First, calm your mind. Exactly. Think about a thing that brings you peace. Not the train. Yeah. Visualize a starlit sky. You remember the vast universe you saw from the train, with countless stars dotting the dark vacuum? Yet your painting will be even more enchanting and vibrant than the starry sky. Visualize what you want to create. The banana advisor demands a slumber nana monkey, but do you really have to follow you to the letter? For some reason, your voice of doubt is drowned out by the bad gibberish of the little monkey. It seems to be the wheel of the painting itself. The sound of the monkey keeps echoing in your ears, and images of the little monkey begin to appear in your mind. There's no choice now. It seems your painting will have to be of the monkey. No, don't give in! This is the mysterious trash can you once helped! It's Shatana! She has been subdu she has subdued the little monkey. Knocked down the Sea Outlander. You are a clan savior and the king hunter who took away the trash. How could you give in now? Banyanya! Shut it, monkey from another land. You can't just break our destiny chain so easily. A destiny chain, sorry. The power of the cannon the monkey battles and merges within you, ultimately channeling to the paint on your fingertips. The scent of bananas and garbage intertwine in your nostrils, while two distinct images emerge in your mind. Lastly, channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. Everything is ready. Show your talent and unleash yourself on the canvas of the wall. Hmm. This one is nice. It has the bat. When you come to your senses, the painting in your mind is already on the wall. What a masterpiece, isn't it? Hurry and show it to Ben and Advisor. Banner? Completed already? Well, it's just in time. Let's assess your work. What's going on here? Only trash cans! Where's the monkey? Zero points for me! Your persistence has come at a heavy price. The ban advisor's scolding and the mocking laughter of your peers echo in your ears. You were just drawing what you wanted. Did you really do something wrong? Outlander, I'm grateful for the artwork. True dignity lies in staying faithful to what you believe is right. True. See? You did nothing wrong. Hell yeah. Let's move to the next student. What in bananas is this? My son's graffiti wall is as clean as a whistle, but in front of it, a cute six-faced ice appears. Uh, let me explain. Ninja six-faced ice. Such formidable ice mastery. Ninja really truly proves a might. Well, this dream even method feels just like condensing six-faced ice. I can barely tell them apart. It's impressive, but not. Moving such a large object in such a short time is comparable to the work of a pro dream weaver. Wow, Mr. Rekko is telling the truth. I ad actually am a genius. But I'm giving it a big fat zero. Why? I gave you a theme. That slumbering and a monkey. Not this giant useless block of ice. Even pro dream weaver monkeys are expected to follow what is requested of them. What even? The prof Nana was just encouraging freedom in the classroom. And you're not even making the slightest effort in your class. You're allowed to disturb my class. And I get to flunk you for that. That's freedom for you. You pay a price for trying to be creative. Now get back to your seat, butter humph. Huh, how unreasonable. Moving on to the last student. Hmm? Where's your design? Slum banana monkey, slum banana monkey. Alright, that's enough. Mumbling won't weave you any dreams. You're better off snacking on bananas with that useless trap of yours. Zero point for turning in nothing. Wait, I just need some more time. 
Even if I did give you all the time in the cosmos, you won't have anything. No point you're no passionate about slumber than a monkey. Ah, you're at the bottom of the class, aren't you? No, not exactly. I was also the second to last couple of time. The second to last. I'm really sick and tired of seeing students like you. A monkey with no time for climbing will never reach the bananas. Why volunteer only to embarrass yourself? It's better to face reality and give up on this path sooner rather than later. Badat. Thank you for the pat pat, Kate. D that is over the line. You can't possibly understand the affection in my words. Both you and the other girls have some talent, unlike her. She has no talents whatsoever to speak of. Pursuing something she can never reach is straying farther from happiness. That's why it's only right to give up but now. Have you concluded your articulation, sir? If so, please cast your attention this way. Well, who are you? When did you get here? Wait! What is the... What in the bad is this? I present to you the Dazzling Seal. I'm eagerly inspecting your appraisal of its behead finling. Peel that thought out of your head. Is that permanent ink? This magnificence is conceived by none other than the Patissier Ninja Initiate. At the precise instant you turn around, a look of downing Yuruka graced the visage. Inspiration surged through her, and this came to fruition in just 0.1 microseconds. Imperceptible even with the ninja's hypersight. What better nonsense is that? I know it was you. Cook salmon can't swim, just as ninjas never deceive. All ninja initiate Petitier needed was a little nudge. I willingly became her paintbrush to aid her in completing her training. Is that fair to say, ninja initiate Petitier? Huh? Um... As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscription, Python slither without feet as mental rays glide without wings. If your decision is firm, don't hesitate to war with conviction. Whatever it takes, I really need to earn my credits. That's cheating, Bana! Nah, -uh. big head feeling, a decatur impart knowledge, cultivate skills and clarify doubts. But they must never deny any ninja initiate of the way of the ninja. Yeah, you were being way too mean to her, and my six face eyes is pretty good too. God, you really annoyed me, unruly monkey. You barge in here, disrupting my class, and now you're even corrupting my students with ruinous ideas. Get out, or my iron fist will show you some bad enlightenment. The same goes for you, no good monkey insiders. What's it got to do with us? Um, what a hypocritical teacher. Alas, the pretense of your tyranny has shattered. With that, a magnificent hunt shall be set in motion. Oh, get him! Give it to them, assistant Anas. Show those unruly students what it means to be disciplined. Bada! Man, the more I play this story, the more I actually want to pull for Rapa. I didn't expect her to be a uh, a true Nibiru. I That's crazy because my my mem, uh, memo technique from earlier is actually working. I wasn't sure for a second there, like what the word was. I was like Shubi Niyu, but in my head I was like, oh, it's a kiss, kiss your brother word, and I was like, oh, it's Chi, it's true Nissan. True Nibiru, it's working! <laughs> it's working! The Syscon Nemo technique works! It's insane! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> True Nibiru, there it is! <laughs> oh my god, thanks for the bad bat. You're not supposed to use violence in the classroom! It's bad enlightenment! And violence is one way to enforce that. Alright. Well, don't mind if I answer back. I'm gonna light your face, bitch. Bye. I'm thinking of pulling for her, but I'm gonna be... I'm sure. I'm... We can try. And if I lose the 50-50, that's fine. And if I win, then I get a new character. Class dismissed? Yeah, I bet you, bitch. Oh, should I? I don't know, she's cool though, she's cool. 
Now that you are vanquished at our feet, allow me to recite to you the ninja mantra. Doesn't matter what the rule says, if you bring the violence, that the violence is coming back your way. All right, girl, you've already crushed him. The university failed to take this button advisor in hand. Please accept my apology for the distress they brought upon you. Are you perhaps the governor of Paperfall Town? Governor? You humor me. I'm merely an educator. Here on our campus, our students are the true masters. I came over after hearing of a request in the dreamweaving class, so it seems like it was this sweet dreams troop who went out of control. My apologies once again. Pardon me, but I don't think I've seen you around here before. You're not a student of Paperfall University, are you? I'm only asking because we know of Stowaway is recently stuck into Pinakoni. I witnessed the count for her. The bloodhound describes someone with pink hair, red attire, and a blazing scarf. Have you seen too much that description? No need to beat around the bush, sir. Of course, what I'm trying to say is... If the Stowaway is indeed plotting something nefarious, it wouldn't make sense for them to attend class at the Paperfall University. So I'm certain you're just an inquisitive student. Well, up to you. I can't say anything when I wear every new AL banner. Unfortunately, I don't have the disposable fund to wear every single character that comes my way. <laughs> as much as I would love to, unfortunately, I don't think I can or should. Sadly, 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 sadly. Wait, what? Every banana seedling has the potential to bear fruit. That's why everyone deserves bad alignment. Paperfall University advocates freedom in education, so feel free to sit in our classes and be sure to apply yourself. Join me in a round of applause for a new student. Wow, did you just challenge a bad advisor? That's so cool! I always find him annoying. Why do you call yourself a ninja? Are they really a ninja on your planet? Papa, thank you for standing up for me earlier. Could you show me how you did that graffiti? I mean, your ninja move. That's ninja suit I learned by myself. It's hard to teach it to others. But I say with certainty that you will discover your own way of the ninja someday. That's cute. <laughs> yes, destiny is no different than a banana peel. Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free from its encapsulation. <gasps> Not encapsulation! Looks like things blew up real quick. Everyone's flocked here to see what's going on. Indeed. Alright, let's go. Please, please tell me why I'm still duking it out with the teacher. Hey, isn't that Montana? Oh, say cheese, and then hang in Superstar too. We meet again. I came here with the name on the fly, so let's forget about it. Just call me March. Gotcha, you can drop Montana too. I'm now known as uh, Denisovan426. Denisovan? That's right, I've only got into the Slum Banana Association, the Goat Club at Paperfold University. That's my name in the club. Um, What's with Denisovan? Hey, Evo, what's up? I don't know, but it was decided by the club. Maybe members in this tier are more capable. The Slum Banana Association was founded by fans of Slum Banana Monkey. A fan base stretches by far beyond the campus and includes ripe bananas from all over Pinacone. We create fan arts and merch based on Slum Banana, host Slum Banana cons, and hold a few other half campus events from time to time. Itching to join us? I can refer you. Wow, it sounds like a lot of fun. Can you get all of us in? Count on me. It's just that the club has a rigorous screening procedure and we only take in a few members each time. If I refer Mark Jane, then the two of you. I'll pass. Add as always next time. Okie dokie, this coveted spot will go to March then. Oh, it's an off-campus event happening later today at a supposedly mysterious occasion. I can't wait. Why do you call me Kitty Marge? Good job playing along back there, guys. Things are getting weirder, huh? This monkey event has a fan club now. But since we have a way to get into the club, I'll go see what they're up to. Hmm... Will you be alright on your own? Yeah, it's less suspicious than all three of us joining the club together. Let's split off for now. This way you two can also keep an eye on what's going on in the campus. 
You said I'm Marge? Okay. Please be careful. Ah, I will. Don't worry about me. You too, kitty. Catch you guys later. I hope she'll be okay. But if Nana was clearly steering the conversation, he was away earlier. Let's go find Rapa and hear what she thinks. Bono. What was that? Stump Banana Monkey. I see a tag on it. Peeling Richie, Fortune Academy. This is how you ordered. It looks rather unique. They shipped it out already. Bana Bana. It's broken. You really have to feel this quality, but the Stump Banana Monkey is startled and slowly bolts away. It ran off. What now? Chase after it. Alright, so let's go get the toy back then. Yeah, get him! Get a fucker! Kill him! Does this toy have a life of his own? I'm in front of you, I'm in front of you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? Isn't this the way to the Fortune Academy? Chad? Rapa, when did she get ahead of us? Give her a break, miss! I'll be this for the middle of the time, but evil, not the way sell any gorge row. Nay, ninja initiate merchant. The other initiates are verified that these feelings puppets are from your shop. Confess at once. Are you under the spell of evil ninja Osaru? The song in the back of that sounds like uh, Oko noko 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 kun shan shan. Da, 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 anyway, um, it's all a misunderstanding. Hey, it's you. Please help me talk some sense into her. I'm just a well-behaved student working to pay my tuition fees, not whatever initiate she thinks I am. Never mind that. The monkey you sold just keeps running off on its own. Are you sure it's just a toy? Feeling puppets in with life, the epitome of ninja automation. The rich folks are just being invisible. If it were really some high-end stuff, would they be selling it at such a low price? Please, take pity on this poor student, have a heart. As if squeezing in sales between classes isn't enough. I was at the wing in three days. Just so I can get this batch of toys ready. Richie Banna. How could you speak so rudely to your customers? F Fortune Banna Advisor? The customer is always right. They'll not teach you that. Greetings, dear student. This finling assumes the form of an insect-like pest. Clearly a lonely finling. Beetle monkey, monkey pest, truthing, truthing monkey. What did you say? Bana, repeat that if you dare. Bana advisor, the customer is always right. Ahem, pardon me, my dear students. You may have some misunderstanding about Fortune Academy's new product. These monkey toys are made this lively so that they bring more emotional values to our customers. Mm -hmm. People for university might seem to be an enjoyable place, but beneath the peel, masons are in fact bogged down by loneliness. You know, struggling to embrace the vibrant energy here in the moment of soul, but also realizing that they are unable to leave, as the Pinaconians do. But Slumber Nana Monkey is the perfect companion. It won't compete her for grades, won't compare itself to you, won't use your things without asking. You can trust it completely, without worrying about it sharing your secret with others. Consider it your bestest pal Nana. Uh, is campus social life really that messed up? But uh, gosh, look at the time! I have to get ready for my dreamscape marketing class. Excuse me, students, I'll take all other questions after class. I should get back to my class too, but do me a favor, buddies. Let's come look for me if you need anything. Let's not involve an advisor again. Alright. I don't see anything more. Let's just follow him and see what we can learn. Bana bana bana. Bana 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 bana. Oh. This atmosphere, is this really a marketing class? Behold, the sensational B wave that's been raking in all the money these days. Eat bananas, nap the day away, worry no more, be happy every day. Let's take some time to think about this slogan. What is it about Slumber Nana Monkey that allowed it to spark a banana frenzy in Pinacone? How about that grey haired student? Wait, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, never mind. You can answer the question then. Um, because of its viral catchphrase, banana, banana. 
Not quite. While banana gibberish and bananese help propagate the banana craze, the key lies in how slump banana monkey addresses the pain point of Pinaconian consumers. Both rich and poor alike come to Pinacon in the hope of leading a more fulfilling life. Unfortunately, a couple of days in the dreamscape is all it takes for them to realize that it is nothing more than the fantasy. Dream chasers soon give in to exhaustion and tourists eventually go weary from the endless festivities. Those famed tycoons and festive superstars that, that we pursue lead life we can never hope to experience. So dramatic, eventful, and out of this world. But Slum Banana Monkey epitomizes a wholly different lifestyle. Sleeping and snacking on bananas without a care in the world. This is what pure happiness should be. I have just the thing to help all of you understand this better. Fortune Academy students get a bonus discount when purchasing this special model of the Slum Banana Monkey toy. But advisor, I sold everything from the last batch. That's fantastic news! We underestimated some banana monkey's popularity. Come with me, Richie. I'll get you more stock. So the Fortune Academy is supposed to promote these toys, but why did they rope students to their plan? Bana bana bana. It's a shame we don't understand this bana gibberish. I have an idea, Kitty. Can you use clockwork on it? Uh, let me try. I'm counting on you, bana. Nani? He's, uh, he's feeling the hypnosis. The dispirited little monkey shows a sad expression, which seems unusual because the monkeys you have seen are always happy. Here comes the clockwork! work! Tick tock, tick tock! It's coming now. At the smell of clockwork, the little monkey comes down. The moment you shut his aisle, you seem to resonate with his calmness. You saw the conveyor belt's boxes, the hesitant crowd in shadowy streets, and TVs. Before he could process his emotion, the little monkey resolutely dashed off into the distance. It's working, seems to be leading us somewhere. Let's catch up. Why does it feel like I've been on a wild monkey chase all day? <laughs> get it? Chasing wild monkeys. Yeah, you get it. Uh, let me fix this puzzle real quick. Hypothetically, just hypothetically, if you were playing a game straight up to this, a puzzle game designed using parallax illusions, what level of difficulty do you think would bring you the most enjoyment? Is that difference in reward? Nope, enjoyment is the key. You can choose difficulties. Oh, you say it was hypothetical. Forget it. Yes, you can choose the difficulty level. Just say whatever you want. Show me a real puzzle. TikTok, yes, that's right. So it shall be. I will fulfill your request, guest. I will do my best. The difficulty you asked for has been configured. Go forth. Don't forget, if you're dissatisfied, you can just talk to me before completing it. I will be here waiting. I thought the ammo escape, okay. So it actually works, you can actually change the difficulty. Tick tock! Glocky is in action! Ba 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 There we go. Boop, boop. Uh, okay. Autumn Shrimp, what's up? Alright. 
That's so a weekend with TikTok. Outstanding, you have exceeded my limits and you should be proud. In truth, no matter what you choose, as long as it gives you enjoyment, that is the best outcome. This is also a shared. TikTok, I have said too much. I intend to go wander around in the party. When both my friends are here, come to a dance floor and loop for us. Alright. Cuckoo! Alright, let's follow the monkey again. It's Ninja Initiate Merchant and Finling Pest. Um, Fortune Banana Advisor, are we supposed to pick up more stock? I don't see anything here. Jeez, remember Banana Advisor said he'd get a new batch ready. It's like we can't rely on him. Banat. By the way, Banana Advisor, do those people willingly become monkeys? Why, well, of course, Richie. Can't you see how happy it is being a monkey? I guess not. I take it you haven't been paying attention in class, huh? Or did those guests didn't plant unrealistic ideas in your head? Do you have the slightest idea about the background of those nameless? You're just a poor student from a faraway fringe planet, one that relies on the IPC for aid. Do you really think you can compare yourself to them? I know I could measure up to those big wigs, but there are things I hope to achieve too. I get it, you're aiming to make a lot of money. After all, the sky high tuition fee at Paper Fold University can really take a toll on the average middle class family. Oh, I heard your father came to Pinakone too. He's been working day and night ever since taking a new job at Dunn Factory, huh? Ah, Bana, how touching. How did you know that? Bana Bana, he swung by a few days ago to check on how you're doing. I took the time to chat with him, looking how old he is. My heart really went out to him, throwing in most of his life savings only to slog his gut out in a foreign land. I could sense his exhaustion and distress. So I instilled in him the tenets of our bad academics, convincing him that becoming a slum banana monkey is the right thing to do. Oh, that's right, he's in the batch of toys that you just delivered. Quite a ton of vent, huh? What? How could you? Bana. Could be? The father of Ninja Initiate Merchant. Merchant Chief? Why? Because your dad was simply too tired. I asked if he ever had regrets and he said no. When I stripped away the banana peel facade, what I found was the expulsion warning letter you had hidden. Of course, Bana. Why didn't you realize that sooner? You're a hopeless student. Rather than squandering our educational resources on you, why don't you become one of Fortune Academy's products? At least scrape some words out of yourself, Bana Hyuk Hyuk. I assure your father that you'll get to be happy like him. It's time for you to rest, Richie. Why did it come to this? What is it for me keeping up the struggle if you've already given up, Dad? Tosan. Dad, there's nothing else keeping me going. They are turning people into monkeys. Something's happened to Richie. We have to stop him. Feeling pest. What tricks did you pull on Ninja Initiate Merchant? Gah, how did that ninja get in here? Get your hands off of me now. Yeah, true. I have no hands to begin with, Bana! Hold your banana, student. Allow me to explain myself. I was only trying to help relieve those pitiful kids of their suffering, letting them enjoy the rest of their happy lives from a different perspective, and maybe make some extra cash while I'm at it. But this isn't anything new in Pinakuni. You may have your esteemed background and a never-ending supply of credits, but that's not the case for my students. But it was offer a better alternative, on uh, one that both parts and son willingly took up. Seems like a fair and banner worthy deal, wouldn't you say so? As stated in the Cosmic Ninja's inscription, sizzling yakitori knows not refreshing ice, as chill sashimi knows not blazing fire. If Ninja Initiate Merchants has indeed chosen the way of the fiend, it is not my place to intervene. Banner, jeez, I didn't count on you being this reasonable. What did they gain? Monkey are too chaotic? Well, they're selling them as toys and people are loving the freak out of it. Like, everybody's been buying the merch, so I mean, they're making money at the very least. Also, they're probably followers of Dr. Primitive, which they believe that um, the truth of the universe is in its base state, and the base state of humanity is to be a monkey. So that being a monkey is actually good, like a primate. Your words alone will not suffice, Ninja Initiate Merchant. Is this truly your intentions? Bana? He does not seem capable of a response. Merchant Chief, is this a willing decision of yours? Bana? This is for Finling. You spoke with a forked tongue. They can't prove a word of your claims. Have you gone bananas? Monkeys can't speak the human language. In that case, your calling is to render those in misery blind and deaf. Utterly absurd. The past to hell is paid with heavenly treasures. Dev devils trying to fool you. Better get your head together. The hunters hide greed with a welcoming smile. Don't be beguiled, it could be your last mile. Since chores shall not fall upon the ensnared ninja initiate, but traps orchestrated ought to be punished. I beckon the ninja hunt upon you. Say your final words, finling pest. The banana was that? Assistina beat her to a poop. The banana was that? 
I'm gonna bang and fuck you up. Let's go. Are you shit? Ba -ba. They're gonzo. You saw these associates and ninjas into feelings, dreadfully horrid. Looks like it completely malfunctioned. Something's awry. I believe I should have held back in the ninja battle just now. Perhaps someone is controlling these feelings behind the scenes. Um, I didn't hold back. No matter, the Finling deserves its rightful punishment. I'm very initiate merchant, though. Banya? Seeing an additional monkey on the ground, you realize that Richie has already transformed into a slum banana monkey during the fierce battle. Banya? The two little monkeys gather together, making affectionate banana gibberish. You can't bring yourself to interrupt this heartwarming reunion between father and son. Ninja initiate merchants succumb to the sorcery. He's expected to be out of action for a while. Miss Rappa, can we talk about why the rangers came to Pinakani now? Did you pick up on something, Ninja Hiryu? Even though I had doubts before, it was only when I saw that this, this that I felt sure of it. The sworn enemy of the Galaxy Rangers, the horrific scientist who transformed humans into monkey, the evil ninja Osaru you spoke of, is Dr. Primitive, isn't it? There it is. Astute, evil ninja Osaru. It's definitely evil ninja Osaru. Is Dr. Primitive safe with bananas? Member 64 of the Genius Society, Dr. Primitive. No one knows his real name, but his atrocities are infamous throughout the cosmos. The most horrifying one of all is that is to be his atavistic experiment. The dozens of worlds caught up in the in, caught up in this experiment were mostly home to prosperous interstellar civilizations. But every single one of these planets were reduced to a regressed form of intelligence by the time he was done with them. Intelligence deteriorated into mere machines. That scars regressed into birds, and even the most ubiquitous human civilization were subjected to the same fate. Millions of apes and monkeys now wander amidst the ruins that they once called home. If Dr. Primitive is indeed behind this, we must alert the Astral Express and the family at once. We won't be able to averse this crisis on our own. Facing such an immoral emanator of erudition, even the slightest negligence could bring unimaginable consequences. Oh, interesting. So Dr. Primitive is confirmed to be an emanator of erudition. I need to... yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Your analysis is accurate, however, in my humble opinion, now may not be the best time to call the Harmony Shogunate for aid. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when the net is cast for a catch, ready yourself to land a fish or forgot your net, or forgo your net. With evil ninja Osaru lurking in the shadows in a location under compromise, I suggest laying low to avoid alerting the monkeys. Rest assured, I've delegated Silver Gun Shura to investigate the Forbidden Ground. Being the chivalrous and exceptional ninja hero he is, I have faced Silver Gun Shura will accomplish the assigned mission. At this juncture, our priority is to rescue the ninja initiates of Piperful Town, where ninja heroes will be, will be if we left those defenseless initiates to the monkeys. If not rescued us before us, how can we hope to save the world? Indeed. We must not leave the student to fend for themselves. There you are! I finally found you, my beloved talents! It's Ninja Gamma! Ah, I see the actress creative with her words. Mr. Rekka, do you need our help with something? Yes, Charmony Academy is filming a promotional video for their anniversary. But the banana advisor hasn't found anyone that makes the cut. That's why I'm here, to recruit students with greater acting potential. Do you think he's a uh, Dr. Primitive? I wonder if it's a Dr. Jekyll situation. Jekyll and Hyde. Like, he has a personality that is just a, a very famous, like, director. But the other personality is actually Dr. Primitive. Or, if he's just evil. Who knows? 
So I'm here to pursue them with great acting potential. Like you, a big shot with a brilliant past, and you, a superstar that everyone will have their eyes on. And this actress with personality. Please join us in the performance. Considering how charming but an advisor is greater of the slumber than a monkey, I believe only young and talented people such as yourselves will be the ones to catch her designing eye. I see. Thank you for thinking so highly of us, Mr. Rekka. We'll make sure to drop by. I mean, it's not an actor, it's a director, right? That's the way. We'll be at the photography studio. See you later. Chamonix by Vazir must be in league with the mastermind behind this. I can't help but feel like there's more than meets the eye with Mr. Rekka. Mm -hmm. I can cover you, Ninja Hiryu. He's a punctilious ninja indeed. Let's do this one real quick. You're not broken? How about I do some divination on you? You don't have to look for work where there's none. I'm just bored. Alright, come. Welcome to Comscape. Did you get your one wrong? Did I? I've always called my divination room by his name. Ah, oh, you didn't still think I was a ticker, did you? Once more, welcome to the Comscape. And to the Comscape. Let's go. That's it? How about it? Where is the divination experience? According to your choice, I can read your future fortune. Anyways, let's see. This omen means working hard is important, but if your nerves are tense, I'll bet take a break. This is a common sense. Who really dares take a break? I hope this helps, guest. That's it for your divination result. If you're not happy with your fortune, would you like another chance? Sure. I guess we'll do all of them. This omen means wonderful wishes will be realized as long as you work hard to a degree that you can accept, along with a little opportunity. Doesn't sound too bad, it's fine as long as you realize it. As for your divination result, alright, let's try another one. What about the... Um, I really want to do the one at the top here, I don't know why, it just bothers me. There we go. Let's see. This omen means all things will be smooth sailing. Everything will go smoothly. Congrats. It's an excellent result. Yes, smile. That's a good definition result. Uh, let's see the last one. See, this omen means suitable for creative thinking and rumination. Well, it doesn't result. I soon got this result previously and then knocked out this graduation design within days. I wonder if this will help you, guest. As if for the divination result. I'm done. Sure, as long as you're happy. Also, during the divination, the replacement student sent a message saying that he fell into the fountain. This guest sounds pretty safe, so I won't be waiting for him. Thank you for spending time with me. I will head to the dance floor and look for my two friends. When everyone's gathered, don't forget to hang out with us. I think that's everyone, actually, so I should probably go, but I'm lazy. I want to keep doing the story. I'll go later. It's gonna be somewhere around here. Dance floor. Alright, let's see here. Oh! Puppets are the best mode of transportation. Tweet. What do you mean? After the lights go out, my puppets will bring me on a tour around the school. But since you discovered them, the puppet can't move anymore. I hate you. Now I have to go find another mount. Damn. My bad. Bada bada. Fell, fell, fell. You didn't capture Slumber Nana Monkey's five parts laziness, three part cuteness, and two parts playfulness at all. But I'm really doing the best I can, Chamonix Banana Advisor. It's so hard to play a monkey. 
an utter disappointment to the monkeys. Maybe we should change the cast. Acting skills alone won't cut it. They need to endure Slum Banana with every fiber of their being, Banana. Charmony Banana Advisor. I have a few candidates here. Perhaps they will be to your liking. They're so talkative in a bad way. Yeah, true. Is he talking about us? Oh, they seem to have potential, Banana Banana. I hope you don't leave me disappointed. Um, uh, is this evil feeling a dragon or a monkey? Monkey, no. I mean, I'm Charmony Banana Advisor. How wonderful it is to have been scouted by Mr. Rekka. Her face in the professional director's judgment. Have you script ready, actors? Show the banana advisor what you're capable of. Have you heard of it? Alright. Uh, why is everything everything monkey gibberish? Why slumber mana monkeys are star? What else were you expecting? Meows and woofs? Alright. Let's assign the actress to the rules then. The leading rule of Brave Monkey shall be. Mr. Rekka, I won't try this role again. But not. Your earlier performance was disappointing enough. It's fine. Let's give this poor active actor one more shot. But Monkey is known for its can do attitude too. Next up is Wise Monkey who guides Brave Monkey. Your disposition makes you perfect for his role, that hang. As you wish. And finally, we have the villain, the devil of stress. I'm going to you'll nail it, Superstar Kitty. Why do I look like a devil? The role of a conflicted villain requires sublime acting. And improvised line further demand of Robbie's foundation in the art. You're the only one who can take on this most challenging role. Not so fast, but what role do I play? Oh, it seems like all the roles have been assigned. But yes, we'll need someone to narrate. Rap a narrator, that is your role. A lofty ninja hero relegated to the likes of a narrator. So be it. We'll begin once everyone's ready. The assistant director's camera is ready to roll. Alright. Let's go. Fledgling actress, are you banner ready? Ever ready. Get on stage, Mr. Rekka can get the camera rolling, Banner. Actors, take your position. Three, two, one. Action! James is glowing, gold halls flowing, a legendary feast about to get going. Stop, what bad nonsense are you reciting? This is a ninja mantra. Embellishing words with ninja enchantment is bound to make the play a hundred times more vivid. I knew this season wasn't reliable. Forget it, focus on Slumber Banana Monkey only. Nothing else matters. I like her rap! Then I'll continue from the heart of man, monster rise, banquet turned to scorch earth, laughs at the cries, a passing hero lends a hand. <laughs> no surprise. And up next, I have to come up with something obnoxiously conceited. Speak the ninja mantra with a wild twist. Names, devil of stress, straight out of hell, student better quit playing ring the alarm bell. One word for me, the whole zone's in despair, leaving scars so deep, a lifetime to repair. Um, such a tyrannical rendition of the mantra of the ninja. Baseball bat ninja. Fail! This isn't a rap class! We're not rapping, we're just reciting the mantra. Banana banana! Fail! Brave Monkey is the savior for university. He would never utter such dainty banana gibberish. Sorry, banana. Let me try that again. Banana banana banana. Banana! Banana banana! Suffering and pain, the fruits of blind hate. A hero draws the sword ready for the fight to break. You're messing it up again, Brave Monkey hasn't gained the power to defeat the evil of the devil of stress at this point. How can you possibly have so much grit? I'm sorry, Bana. I'll try again. Bana. Bana. It's my turn now. I should say something demeaning to Brave Monkey. Speak the ninja mantra with an offensive twist. Yes. Yo, yo, a monkey trying to mimic heroes ain't that a joke. The fuzzy face of yours make me want to choke. Get back to yourself. Munch on the snack. You want to challenge me? You ain't even on track. Come on. A brilliantly ruthless foundation of the ninja mantra. Baseball bat ninja. Fail, how can you launch into a personal attack on the monkeys? Monkey fan will go into a riot. Bana, bana. The hero is down and now, defeat hanging in the air. In walks the master with wisdom to share. But bana, 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 bana. You, your lines are fine. Go on, next line. <laughs> Only Dan Hang is good. 
Thanks for quenching our warmth. A wrath, Dan Hang. Then was like, bana, bada 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 bana, bana. It was like, perfect. The master's wisdom resonated to his core. The hero's blade sharper than ever before. Yesterday, loser, in back in the fight, fight or flight, it will do a thing twice. It's my turn again. This time I'll say something you don't, brave monkey. Yo, yo, you great sports and not, but you're less of that. Better learn how to flow, get lost in the flood. With me, speeding power, a zeal in time yours. Gonna have to concede a crown, a cruel home on all fours. That's hard. That's hard to pronounce. Rabba could be in the Yakuza series 100%. Stellarly brutal. You've attained the skills of a semi emanator when it comes to reciting the ninja mantra. <laughs> Rabba is such a dork. I love her. <laughs> She's so stupid. Fail! We're in acting class! Stop applying whatever you learned in music! Bana? Bana? Ugh! Fail, fail, fail! Stop feeling, Mr. Rekka! No, no, cut out for the portraying of beloved monkey's Bana! Wait, please, just give me one more! Second chance don't come around that often, girl! Please, I'm begging you! Being in one of Mr. Rekka's films is my dream! Don't say that! If you. If you want my opinion, there's nothing on me, sweet ninja initiate Gigaru acting. In fact, you're being overly critical of her. You think? Are you the band advisor who grades her work or the director who assigns her roles? It's up to me to assess my students' worth in this class. Let's stop filming, Mr. Rekka. We need to swap at the actors. Stop. No, not yet. The show is still not over. Bana, bana, bana? Bana, bana? Not this again. It feels like I'm in a dream. Kissy, are you right? B bana? 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 Looks like the Bana Academic is taking effect! Congratulations, student! Thanks to Slum Banana Monkey, you'll soon be qualified actors! Just as I thought, this is yet another snare laid down by the evil ninja. Why are you still lucid? Truly an incorrigible student. Nay, Dinosaur Finling, your feeble sorcery stand no chance against my dazzling ninjutsu. Watch me snap everyone back to their senses. Hey, yeah! Dazzling palm! Righteous! Chop! A rumble of thunder. The overpowering ninja force surging to your forehead once more, snapping you out of your days. Should you by the recent sound of impact if a ninja on stage receive assistance? Even the passing slumber named Monkey got a chop on the head. Two chops in one day, true. What happened? Ah, as stated in the Cosmic Ninja Two inscriptions, the stone heart of a ninja is immune to pressure, immune to lies, come wind, rain, or shine. Never forget what you truly are, Ninja Initiate Gaku. Are we on to another film now? Is this going to be about ninjas? No, we've come to the climax of the film. Just a small swap among the rules. Charmony Banana Advisor, you're up for the villain this time. What are you even- I said to stop filming! Stop filming, will you? Kurt, when you're on my set, I am the director. Come on out, dear actress. Let's salvage this lousy film with an electrifying, electrifying fighting scene. Great ninja mind, think alike. I agree. Yeah, I'm no longer the villain! But uh, if your unruly student isn't insist on disrupting my class, you're in for some corrective but natural. Like, I can never see the word corrective or correction and not be disgusted. But the nichments, teach them a lesson, assess Tinanats. Assess Tinanas? From this very moment, back down, retreat. The hero says never, the way of the ninja burning their heart forever. Da 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 From this very moment, back down, retreat. Yeah, it's hard to... The English language sounds so much different than the Japanese one, so you can't actually, like... Azurulain! You're goddamn right, Mr. Phone. With fiending blood, to s with fiending blood the sword of justice will be stained, as the school casts off every shackle, every chain. Do I really have to fight too? Damn right. We want the NPC to be part of the fight. Alright, here I'm gonna start with the ulti. Yatta! Alright, let's target this guy. The Rima coming through! 
Wicked tones, wicked lies, all of them destroy. Say goodbye to evil plot, strategy, and ploys. The life of the party, savior of the school. Let's hear from the hero, here to keep it cool. I'm losing my mind with all those. Ninja initiate Gekaku, deliver your final line. Bana, scratch that evil thing. Your vile words cannot bring Ninja initiate Gekaku down. It's a victory for us, ninjas. Hooray! Yatta! Tell him. This one is operating as well. It's as if some unseen puppet here cut his strings. Indeed. Um, no pity to blame on me this time. True. Ninja game. Ninja Gamma, can you kindly enlighten us on the proceeding thus far? So, your actors have caught on. Let me reveal the next act in the plot then. We'll be exploring the misdeeds going down at Paperfold University. All right now, dear actors, ever heard of a mimetic virus? Is that what Slumber Nana Monkey is? You're right. Mimetic corruption comes about from the dissemination of data. It alters particles of information picked up by the cognitive module, skewing the sensory perception of certain objects in those that have been corrupted, much like special effects in a film. Words, songs, videos. These are all mediums of transmission. The humans naturally have a curiosity for the unknown, and mimetic viruses take advantage of this. Mimetic corruption is known to influence one's thought even in the real world, and in the dreamscape they catalyze nightmares that corrupt humans into monkeys. Hence the evil ninja instructs the evil feelings to spread through media, masking it as an attempt to implant the seed of dark sorcery in the hearts of the ninja initiates. Misappropriating the role of actual educator gave them the perfect chance to mangle the mind of innocent ninja initiates, only to hasten the growth of those finished seed they sowed. And so all ninja initiates of Paperfall Town was to come to finishness, becoming puppet of the evil ninja. What a dispiteous, degenerate, and desolate ploy. Uh, what are you talking about? I just lying in the script. Yeah. This actress line may be somewhat cryptic, but yes, the general plot direction is on point. Damn, alright, doing good. But Ninja Gamma, why are you bogged down by inactions when you've long realized the truth behind their pretext? Now, just a director that stumbled upon a sinister plan. A reckless move on my part can bring dire consequences. It's up to very important stars like you to defeat the hell kite of a villain. This banner advisor were appointed by the acting dean, Prof Nana. I believe I don't have to make this, is this any more explicit. Go to the dean's office to find the answers you seek. Oh, and keep me updated on how the plot unfolds. What about my part? Do I still have any scenes coming up? You're keen about appearing in my films, aren't you? Come over here and choose a script. C can I really? Thank you so much! A castle showdown looms ahead of us, fellow ninjas. We ought to make haste with ninja speed. Gotta go fast! I'm still worried. Maybe he's a nice guy, but like... I don't know. I, I feel like the... The prof Nana is being uh, manipulated. Maybe may, maybe I'm just expe expecting the plot twist for no reason. Oh, actual Professor Hao, let's go as freak. Oh god, what's happening here? What a surprise, my dear students. No appointment of a polite knock on the door, but I welcome you, Banandeles. Oh, look at that, we have a chest here and another bird there. Since the shady evasions, I urge you to come clean now, you evil ninja Osiris Finley chief, aren't you? 
Excuse me, dear student, could you help me translate that? The true story is that a mimetic virus has broken loose in Paperfold University. It's going around infecting the students' minds as we speak. Slum banana monkey is that virus, Prof. Dana, and its transmission was orchestrated by none other than your banana advisors. I thought the class would list a little longer than this. The confession came sooner than we expected. So, is this one of Dr. Primitive's schemes? A scheme? But not. You're thinking too highly of this place. But Nakuni is nothing but a cesspool of riches. It will never be worthy of the great doctor's sublime experiments in humans. Here is just me, a second class research ape working in Pinakuni on my graduation thesis, an atavistic experiment centered around mimetic entities. My research is going along smoothly. People here adore Slum Banana Monkey, especially students from the youth demographic group. Soon they'll create a new synesthesia dreamscape, the moment of Slum Banana, and foster its growth, expansion, and evolution. The endless atrocity of those are unleashed into the world just to build an evil realm where a hundred malevolent spirits prowl at night. Prowl. Girl, I cannot begin to fathom your cryptic speech. It doesn't sound like you're speaking ill of me, or are you? Never mind. Ordinary folks will never understand the great cause of our atavistic experiments. How about a pop quiz before I clarify your doubts? Who knows how bananas will produce? Through Mokuton Banana Jutsu? That is funny. A terrible ninja too. <laughs> Rapa is like, so true. So true and so nefarious. To maintain the taste, the majority of commercial bananas are produced through a sexual reproduction. Lacking seeds and pollen, they are grown from the same rhizome. That's correct. Five number errors ago, the intelligence skill cultivated a banana species that human deemed perfect, the golden slum banana. The golden slum banana swiftly dominated the fruit market. Nutritious, sweet, its peel gives off a mesmerizing golden sheen. It transformed every interstellar banana plantation into a spectacle akin to the golden hour at night. But eventually became extinct, didn't it? Exactly. Because it was cultivated by humans, the slum banana lacked room for evolution. Having the same set of genes also meant sharing the same vulnerability. And when a fatal cosmic fungus wormed its way into the production line, the same banana species that reigned over all the others of its kind was scrubbed clean from the entire cosmos in just mere months. Damn, that was fast. Are you saying that human will suffer the same fate? Of course. The golden slum banana predecessor was a highly reproductive jade green banana. If not for human intervention, it would have blossomed much more vibrantly over the years, much like Pinakoni as we know it. It's a pity those on Pinakoni just had a second rate copycats. But with constructing skyscrapers, building cities, printing currencies, and even making the decision to become like the other cogs in the cosmic marketplace. Following the exact path of the Golden Slum Banana, stubbornly holding on to the status quo, creating fatal vulnerabilities for themselves, and ultimately becoming useless. Having undergone a flawed alignment, the Doctor seeks to return this misguided world to their embryonic potential, giving them a fresh chance to develop. This is the atavistic experiment. However, I visited those planets. As I traveled from one planet to the other, a prevalent but unpalatable observation struck me. Not a single ninja could speak. They had all become finlings. But I know for a fact that they were not born this way. The monkey that scurried past you was once a sailor. He knew how to ferment his own wine and would do so regularly. The one in the distance, fighting with other monkeys over a piece of fruit, used to be the smartest person on this planet. Even having the knowledge to send people soaring into the sky. But from now on, they're monkeys. Just monkeys. Am I imagining things, or did you learn how to speak like a normal person? Or could it be that this familiar scene reminds you of your past? Given the doctor's brilliant mind, his ambitions are lofty and are sure to be realized. But the commoners, hmm. All they do is lose themselves in unrealistic fantasies, becoming an impediment to a civilization evolutionary progress. Whether imbued with life or not, everything ought to be used to its full potential. Ah, uh, how long has it been now? I'm surprised the lesson hasn't stuck. Doctor's failed creation. Your scheme is here. Yeah, damn right. How dare you talk like sh like sh How dare you talk shit to my girl? How did dare? Talk shit to my girl. Hmm. Is that so? Ever consider why I allow you to do as you please on campus? Ever go as far as to get you to me? 
Paper fold university is nothing more than an incubator. No weight loss if discarded, but if I can eradicate the pests in the lab, it'd be used to its full potential. Rapa got history with Dr. Primitive? Oh yeah, obviously. I don't know if you saw, but uh, like one of her trailers, she's literally fighting the monkeys. There's like a, a mega monkey thing, and there was like some story about her play at some point, I think. It wasn't like super deep, but we knew about the connection. Especially, I think like, often time for trailers and stuff, they actually drop like um, lore information in the in the video description. Banana, banana. that's all I have for you. Class dismissed. Omeo Warida. Oh, she's not happy. Them. Oh my god! It was multiple monkeys in a trench coat. Oh boy. Okay, I like him. <laughs> See, even here, he kept his normal voice. He kept his normal. He didn't went like. Ouch! <gasps> ah, wonderful! No, it, it was still fucking crazy. But with his normal voice. Subarashi. <gasps> he's a memo keeper. Okay. I mean, it makes perfect sense that he's a memo keeper. But I didn't. I don't know why. I just it didn't hit my brain that he would be. A memo keeper, uh, so he's basically just like a... Um, he's a... Uh, he's the same kind of entity... Well, he's the same kind of person as... Um, Black Swan. They're from the, 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 the Garden of... Uh, well, it's not clear, but they're the people behind the Path of Remembrance, right? So the filming and memories, all that is super important for them, essentially. They tend to preserve. Some of them want to destroy instead, deciding like what memory should be kept or not. But yeah, it, it does make a big amount of sense. Just what do you think you're doing, Memo Keeper? Ever the metal you demand, dearest, produ dearest producer. Please hold up your end of the deal as we've agreed. Leave this abominable curse that stifles my artistic expression. The mythic virus. It's kind of incredible because that means that like he had the ability to kind of stop time. He completely blocked the others and allowed the monkey to escape. Demands, I'm afraid not, Mr. Rekka. I tell your hands over those uncourageable and willful monkeys. You have not met all of my demands. But that's not our deal. I went to great length to help you infiltrate the school. Disrupted the family's surveillance and even dealt with the ranger who was causing you the most trouble. And now you want me to give up ownership of the actors. Datoyunoni! We're talking exceptional talents that are incredibly rare to come by. They have so many more stories waiting to be unearthed. I can't allow the journey to end here. Mr. Rekka, there is no room for negotiations here. I have no need to negotiate with a captive. If you don't acquiesce, then in less than three system hours, you'll turn into a slum banana monkey like those students. End them over now if your directing career even means anything to you. No, I refuse. Prof Nana, have you ever wondered why I ended up under your control? Tracking down the doctor's whereabouts shows you have some skills. However, believing you could follow us and notice was quite presumptuous, wasn't it? Even if we were to need animals for experiments, you're nowhere near qualified, great director. What a pity. I put my life on the line just so I could make this wonderful film a reality. Memory, yep. I decided a long time ago that I'd do anything for art. So your threats mean nothing to me. Every film crew knows full well the risks they run the moment filming begins. And in turn, a dedicated director would never stop rolling the cameras. Even if it meant having the insert nobles next to a crew or cast member's name in the credits. In the end, you two are just a pitchable monkey. 
struggling for Whistler's dreams. Be prepared to sacrifice yourself then. He's... If Red Guy is ever playable, he's definitely gonna be a 4 star. I don't see him being a 5 star character. His design is not, like, detailed enough. Back to boot heel? Oh my god. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. Fudging banana the line again. And that is everything the slumber banana monkey taught me. Think about this, everyone. The emotion we experience, be it joy, sadness, or epiphany, every one of them is produced from a subtle shift in chemical composition within the vessel of ours. With some manipulation, we should be able to easily create an array of emotions. That means triggering a sudden change in your own temperament isn't out of the question. So here's my conclusion. Even if a behavior generated after thorough deliberation, it is no more sophisticated than the simple act of jumping. Well, load of horrors manure. I'm checking somewhere else. Mm -hmm. huh, wait! How did March end up here? Where are you going? I, it wasn't easy to get in, so don't do anything that will draw unnecessary tensions. At least stop pointing your gun at people. Appreciate me, nameless gal. Yeah, quite the authority around here, eh? As the Astral Express began to take on monkeys. I wasn't expecting that either, but the assistant and I insist on a great talent. They even gave me a membership card with a high level of clearance. So, does that mean that she's the close one to be a monkey? Wait! Talented for a club that advocates the abandonment of all thoughts? There we go. And wrong am I, you were so darn mesmerized with the speech back there. Well, I was just listening to what they had to say. It's not like they managed to convince me anyway. Plus, if they don't talk in rhyme, it's probably just nonsense. Oh, classic. If, it's if it rhymes, it's true. If it doesn't rhyme, it's false. Guaranteed. True! True, March! True! She knows it! So, what brought you here? You don't look like you're a fan of these monkeys. Why not? Galaxy Rangers are forking monkey fans. We go bananas at the mere sight of them. So, he's on the hunt for some kind of fugitive. I explain why he's dressed like a sheriff. No, no, I guess you could say he is a fugitive. What? Yeah, yeah, tell him a life story then. I'm gonna go check the place out. Not a single thing around here makes sense. This is downright bananas. Chill with March, bet. Hey, nameless gal, can we have a leave to talk over yonder? Just me. Why can't we just talk here? Uh, it's okay. You guys go ahead. I'll wait for you over there, March. Although Tony is normal, there was still a hint of nervousness in Mondas' expression as she hurriedly ran off. What are you up to? Only just convince her everything's fine now. Uh, for charming with someone you just made, ain't ya, friendo? Alright, great nameless one, drop the act already. Where's the deal on your side? When did you guys start laying eyes on Dr. Primitive? Huh? Who? Dr. Primitive? The means people finally came and left, so now I can do whatever. Hell yeah! How goes the star well? Pretty well. It's been a good time. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let's swap intel then. You first. Alright. I see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Exactly as we suspected. I had no idea. She's, she's, she's such a goofball, dude. She's a little bit of a goofball, indeed. They can give me a different time for when they might come. Uh, fair enough, yeah. You did mention that earlier. So, did you find anything at Dreamflux Reef? Not all. Yeah. -uh. There's a thing here, but who cares? It's in plenty of time, and there's only one solution. We've all read this. We all we've all read this rodeo. I reckon I don't need to spell it out. No spell it out, did he? No spell it the thing, did he? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I totally agree. She has no idea what she's talking about. Sweet. All right then. Sweet home Alabama. Boop, 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 boop. All right then. What? Prepare to tear this place apart. Help me becoming a high-ranking member. Damn. Close enough. 
I was just trying to make a joke, but you look it even, you took it even further. You were fleeing with bananas now. It wasn't a joke. If it were the IPC lackeys, I'd have them lined up right this instant for one way ticket to the other side. The other side. All right, good shit. But they only play to keys in this place. I can't be using my ways on them. It's not the first time Dr. Primitive's used other scapegoat. I ain't gonna step on the same rig twice. Them. But aren't you doing that right now? Falling for the trap? Uh, ever seen a clip load? From time right, it's more effective than unloading a full clip. I got no clue what kind of monkey business club's up to, but I know from the static nose at Junflux Reef that they're sure as heck interested in Pinagni. They'll definitely step in, in. Step in if we raise the roof over this place. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, 100%, 100%. Unless you got a better idea you can think of, then let's do it my way, star member. Oh, okay. I do have an idea here, sort of. Just hold your horses. Let's go back and meet Montana first. Remember, be nice. Impossible. March pull the names. Yeah, true. An overlord appreciator. Based. Why did it run off? Oh, I wanted to play with it too. March, you're finally back. Yeah, let's do this again, the right way. This is Boot Hill. You guys started off on the wrong foot. He's actually a real nice person. Don't worry about me. I thought about it earlier. Pinaka sees a ton of visitors and, transi and transiting travelers. It's only normal to meet people of all sorts of background here. Yeah, I was... I was wanted on a few occasions too. Maybe a dozen times. Never mind, that's not important now. Let's talk about the Slum Banana Association. There's an important seminar scheduled for today, right? Are we in time for that? March, you remember wrong again. This is far greater than a seminar. I guess you can call it a theopa theophany. In just a bit, we'll get to see the actual slum banana monkey in the flesh. Holy bananas. They're ripoffs of the things. <laughs> That's not it. Slum banana monkey went viral overnight, but people have different opinions on how the fad began. No matter what people choose to believe, there has to be a slum banana monkey that started it all. And we're about to see it. The original slum banana monkey in all its unfiltered glory, free from all sorts of stereotypes. I'm not quite following, but it sounds impressive, I guess. We have a few other students from campus who attended a few theophanies before. What did they say about it? Nothing, really, but they had this look. Mm, like they'd been to the world's end. Every single one of them looked like they were in a state of absolute bliss. I want to feel like that, too. Mm -hmm. Well, ain't that something? I reckon I gotta see it myself. Still got a bit to wait, eh? Indeed. Hey, hold up. Where are you heading off to again? To that bird, to the bird. Heading to that bird. Track down cutie Fuji pies who have met the slump banana monkey. Hell yeah. Hey there, pal. Banana. 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 Oh god, they're transforming. It's hard to describe what exactly set him apart in the crowd. He looked over and the clarity in his eyes was astonishing. It seems this person isn't planning to respond. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, well. It is what it is. What about this one? Hey, you can see, you can see me, right? Banana. 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 In response to this unprovoked offense, she revealed a smile and then fell silent. Damn. Well, that's what we happen. See what the fudge the theophany is all about. Let's go see it. Ba, ba, ba. What else is now? Watching TV has got to be this complicated. Oh, you're back. This is the theophany that Montana told us about. The only way to see Slumber Nana Monkey is apparently touching through forming some kind of connection with the assistant Nana. Mm -hmm. Thank you for waiting. Oh, another member hoping to see Slumber Nana Monkey. No, not her. Just me. <sighs> Trying to worm your way in again, huh? But you won't be able to establish a connection if you know nothing about Slumber Nana Monkey. You look unfamiliar. But you don't seem like a regular member either. 
That's right, I've been told I'm quite talented. Huh? What talents do you have? Uh, rude? I'm Denis Sovan 244 March 7th. Oh, it's you. Yes, I've heard about you. You have the potential to truly reach a source. Please come over to me. So? Not so fast. What are you up to this time? The Demon of S2 plays the bait. The other get ready to fight. Keep watch outside. Hmm. Hey, wait! Hmm. Hey, hello! That, that was fast? Really now? So he's actually talented? The sound fades away. Unfortunately, the sensory isolation happened too quickly. He didn't have time to hear the girl's question and reconsider his adventure. The answer is simple, miss. This gentleman here. He wants to visit the past more than anyone else in the room. What's well, a big fudging idea here? Is this all there is? Hmm. We meet again, sir. Okay. I've seen random saloons fancier than this place. You call this a sea of fanny. Crafting an attractive but deceptive vision is a crude method, entirely opposite to the values that the Sumlana monkey aims to share with people. Many other members before you have come here seeking something, but this tends to be the usual truth, happiness, peace, and the like. Unfortunately, there are no answers here, only one question. Will this make you worse off? What is this fudging nonsense? Have patience. I will explain everything in detail. For example, if I ask you to give up malt juice, what would you be what would be your first thought? You want to get a drink before that, won't you? That should be the exact thought in your head right now. No, don't pull the nonsense on me. A classic will be always be a classic. Now hold on there, partner. Sometimes you gotta try something new. Introspection is key, no matter the hour. You see, this is the thought that comes to your mind when you were given that question. Sadly, it appears that whichever option you choose, there will be some lingering regrets. With that, let's go on to imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. Another case of both the two streams of thought vanishes instantly, leaving no trace behind. If the dependence on the drink was never there to begin with, this problem would naturally not exist, and the resulting thought would also disappear. Here's a question. Will this make you worse off? <laughs> Only bananas was gotten into me, he's right. I don't have the urge to drink at all. Messing around my head like that, the one synesthesia bacon's all screwed up. Nah, this best thing can't do it alone. So who's the scoundrel behind all this? Moving on, let's turn attention toward issues that are a little more complicated. Say you hatred for the LPC. I see. This is one vast and endless wall of rage you have there. Since you know, think before you speak. Don't go asking for trouble, you banana. Come yourself, some banana monkey wouldn't preach about forgiveness or burying the hatchet. That's something even I would find annoying. Instead, it would support you taking vengeance into your own hands, just like this. Alright, good stuff. Eat shutdown! Dream come true! Boot hill, boot hill. It's dual time, baby! I actually should have killed one of the small ones first. Oh well. 
My bad. Dun 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 dun. How do you feel? Well, a lot of hogwash, we can take a name at 40 targets, gonna get your blood pumping. I understand, but venting your anger can help relieve the tension you built up. But what happens, you'll be less averse to accepting unpalatable advice. Now, just like before, imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. For a person who has made revenge their sole purpose in life, what would happen if the hatred were to vanish? Will this make you worse off? Rosin bananas, what wacky theories are you trying to prove? Well, what the heck, I do feel pretty good right now, yeah. Who banana fudging cares about revenge? Excellent, you're very perceptive. Let's move on to the next lesson then. Galaxy Ranger. I know very well hatred isn't something that can be easily erased. This will be your thoughtless lesson, the toughest lesson, sorry. But I'll be with you throughout, now then. If you end all connections and forget everything that ties you to the world, Will you be worse off? Will this make you worse off, Mr. Ranger? This is a decisive moment and the man named Boothill knows it well. Or rather, the man that was once known as Boothill. Hey, Papa Penguin, what's up? I'm pretty good, what about you? I ain't quite sure what you're talking about, but you sure seem mighty fascinating. Nice to meet you, partner. What's your name? This isn't the first time we've met, but... You can call me Prof Nana Primum. Ah, I called you soul then. No. I'm just a research ape. And you, you'll soon be mentioning my research report. Handling the commotion at the university is easy. The main concern has always been here, Dreamflux Reef. If it weren't for the need to eliminate you as a variable, I wouldn't have purposely slowed you down. Slowed down. And with that, the class here has come to an end. Get a move on, dear student. I'll be waiting for you at the end to unveil a new chapter of your life. Enjoying life? Hell yeah. Will you embrace a new life? Time to find out. Erudition is but an affliction that the average person cannot bear. The dead banana society. Darkness enveloped everything in silence. If a donor sound could be heard, it was easy to imagine what words were echoing at that moment. Even if you lose the ability to see everything, you won't be any less happy. No matter how you look at it, the man was always one step behind. The trap he willingly walked in to extinguish the very fire power he intended to use. After finding his nemesis, his fate was clear. Just like those who were once human, he too would transform into a monkey. Bam! Unfortunately, the sense of pain remains. Whenever and wherever, it's appropriate to use it to bring someone back to the senses. Hey, wake up! <sighs> I made it in time. Thank goodness you didn't end up like that. Dead. What? What happened? No time to explain. Hurry, I need your help. I'll go wake Montana. Hurry. Huh? Wait. What's going on? This is my grace. Me nameless. As for your ranger friend though, you just single-handedly destroyed his path to happiness. Stay where you are, don't come any closer. Naturally, resorting to violence is not my intention. I'm only here to prove something, not to subjugate. Prove what? To prove that my viewpoint is in line with the desires of humans. Montana? March 7th, what are you trying to do? Gosh, Montana, don't you see what's going on? The bad guy is the one behind it. Behind you. 
How could you say that? In here I thought you loved Slum Banana Monkey from the bottom of your heart. You... Bana? Oh, Montana! Uh, I think... Uh, let's get out of this place now! Hurry! As you wish. I look forward to you providing the last link of my in my proof. You're a sicko! He's a sicko. This way, why don't you seem so... What do you see some of it? Haven't you woken up yet? It's confused. Confused butcher is confused. Come on, we need the power song. Where's my wife? Well, one of them. So she can sing them to to wake up. Banana banana. What's your problem? Why are you blocking her way? You're free to leave if you wish. But not with my subject. He's still under observation. Your subject? Mm hmm. Unlike typical humans, his modified body is impervious to physical deterioration. With a steely grit and determination that never wavers, he can easily resist all form of corruption. A galaxy ranger like him, it will be worthwhile to see what I can turn him into. Let me guess. You want to call for help right away because you're convinced these monkeys, formerly humans who have lost their minds, are under my command. In this case, why do you believe that you really woke up the ranger? That, that can't be right! Mr. Galaxy Ranger, would you please fire a shot at this young lady? Hey! In her hurried turn, she had prepared for the worst. Even if she saw a slum banana monkey aiming a gun at her and pulling the trigger, she wouldn't be too surprised. However, but Lee's response was far beyond their expectations. But sir, killing folks is against the law, especially when it's a lovely lady like her. Accompanied by an unusual tone of voice, what appeared before March 7th was a fantastical scene that could only exist in the realm of the realm of memories. Oh, look at baby, look at baby Boothill. Look at him, so cute. I'm the star of the show now. All because of this here gun. It's a nice gun, all right, but using it to take life, I have no such intentions. How about the two of you sell your own scores? I'll be on my way. You... Wait a minute, is this what you wanted me to see? That's right. This is really a hollow dream. So even if they turn into monkeys here, the physical bodies in the real world would not be subjected to any biological deterioration. The ranger's extraordinary staunch and unyielding mind made him an even more valuable specimen to be studied. His mind hasn't been completely wiped out. Instead, he is neither a monkey nor is he a galaxy ranger. He is a young Boothill, one from many years back. Back when his homeland had been ravaged, when he lived as a carefree child in the grasslands. A partial regression. How very interesting indeed. If memory serves. Who also write this child to get his ears pierced? Maybe the parent decided to do that. I mean, it's not rare to see, like, young girls have their ears pierced. I wouldn't be surprised if young boys could also have their ears pierced. Uh, Rizal is at least 10 years removed from the older boot hill when he first fired a shot at the bandit. Miraculous, be it the sweet dream trooper myself. You can end it all with just one shot. It just so happened that the decision to pull the trigger has to be made by his soul rather than his body. The child version of him now is completely incapable of firing his own gun. Alright, Mr. Cowboy, come to me. Let's finish your final lesson now. A galaxy ranger that stands on the side of Dr. Primitive, a traitor born from nurture. This warrants several more research papers. Dreams? Hey, don't go over there! Be quiet, young lady, and mind your manners while class is in progress. Accept teaching? Banya, banya, banya. What's your problem? Why are you blocking away? <laughs> He's invincible! Am I dreaming? Huh? Yes, of course. This room is based on few memories. What do you guys remember? Were you hurting or chopping firewood? Neither of those. I was eating some piping hot stew. That's strange. How did I fall asleep? There's a lot of things I should be doing. I guess Nick's gonna kick me awake soon. <laughs> you haven't brought up that name in quite a while, but I suppose that's only right considering where you are on the timeline. For you at this point, everything the IPC does is still in the far off future. <laughs> what a strange dream. Everything sounds like nonsense. It doesn't matter. It's time for you to come back to reality. How does it feel? Does waking up from a dream bring you misery? Misery? Why? No. It's a shame you're stuck in a dream. Can't lay eyes on the land I love. It's so gorgeous. I'd be willing to die right there. It's hard to believe someone so young would use the kind of analogy. Ain't nothing strange about that. People can find ways to soothe their souls. Part of this is coming to terms with life and death. 
the same from arrogance and far show. That's the first form of grace. For the good-hearted, that keeps their purity intact. For the cunning scoundrel, that ends things clean and quick. I see. Does it mean you're not afraid of death? If so, please extend your hand for me. I suppose you're perfectly willing to, to apply the fairest form of grace to every corner of the universe. In the name of Dr. Primitive, that is. This is my final lesson for you. You shall thoroughly understand this philosophy. And without a star, will pitifully fizzle out. No problem, teacher, but it's something else I have to tell you. I was worried about missing my shot, but now that I've got a hold of you, I reckon I won't. Nani? What? How is this possible? The regression should have already occurred. Oh, want to know something? I was worried I had it all wrong just now. But now that ain't the problem, because only an evildoer asks why before he dies. I ain't deaf, right? Why you were yapping so loud that if it crossed your mind I could tell good from evil? It's as Nick said, revenge needs no excuses. It's like, oh, there's one thing in the world that doesn't need to be taught. Taking a shot at bad guys. How do you think such, such a turn? You're just a child. Even for someone born with a bad nature, the first time doing something like this should weigh heavily on their conscience. Is that so? I reckon you got that wrong. Be it a wanted criminal with the blood of many on their hands or a young cowboy who's never fired a gun, both share a common instinct in every sense of the word. That's to put a bullet in anything evil, motherfucker. They all have one thing inside of them. It's the power of America. Oh shit, dude. Alright. I let you on a secret little fudge head for tempering my sin sister bacon. I gotta put it. I'm gonna put a bullet in ya. And if you think this is the faulty beacon talking, no shirt bull, I actually mean it. Alright. This is the fairest form of grace, especially for model fudges like you, will only become worse form of evil with time. Okay. He's not happy, woo. Boop. Wow. Alright, let's see. The Rima coming through! At the worst time of my life, how about you? Um, pretty good. Thank you. I'm sorry to hear about you, though. That's not a good thing about dying, whatever your excuses in the 90s are. I ain't gonna waste time listening to them. Oh, uh, am I late? You're afraid to what's finished or what's only just beginning? The one's about to begin. Oh, right, I should go get help. You need to get your head checked, like, right now. Get my head checked? What in fucking hell? Huh? 
But since this becomes back to normal, that now is fucking amazing. Hot diggy the fudge. Uh, so you're saying everything went back to normal once you smashed this thing to pieces? I see. No wonder does this does only want to teach students one on one. I had a hunch. Sometimes just that simple. Don't gotta be a genius. Follow me, nameless. The need for reinforcements. See how a few bullets will clear this up. Forking hell. You think you can find a better shot than me in Peanut Cunny? Find a monkey big shot and show them who's boss around these parts. Indeed. There he is, Prof Nana. That's right, fellow members. Everything that's about to happen next isn't the end for us. With Dreamflux Brief as a starting point, a beautiful world shall descend upon all. And he will eventually cast his gate upon us in the great cause that we forged together. Grand? Grand what way, motherfudger? Alright, folks, eyes on me, now listen here. This whole thing is a motherfudging scheme. Go scurry off and hide, ain't no harm in being foolish. But know when to steer clear. You too again, I can't forget everything else you've done. By slandering the name of Slumber Nana Monkey before Prof Nana Paimon. Do you n even know what you're doing? Montana, would you please just hear me out? Save it, you really think you can still convince them? Mr. Ranger, perhaps going back to our origins. Who asked you? I'm only gonna say this once. I ain't interested in hearing your philosophies or stop stories. Your dastardly evil door will cease to exist once a bullet put into you. And guess what? I just so happen to be holding a gun right now. Since everything turned out to be so simple, there's no need to use too much of my intellect. You catch my drift? See, I'm not here to teach a class, shared brain. Oh, let's go! Oh! He did the wanted! He did the wanted! He curved the path of the bullet by magic! What a man! Bada! Put it, get off the table. <laughs> of course. What the frick? What is happening over there? Previously on Cosmic Ninja Inscriptions. Umu. Destiny elongates time in the same way ramen noodles stretch. The ninja capital is turned into an abyssal hell under the devastation of evil ninja Usaru. Even the might land, might land would rather close their eyes to the capital's sorry state and let a long sigh. The only remaining ninja, dazzling ninja aka Rappa. I strained an entire decade under the tutelage of Master Kucha to be adept in a wide variety of ninjutsu, gaining also the ability to recite lengthy mantras fluently. But deep down, Master Kucha is aware that it's only when Rappa received the tutelage of other ninja heroes and embarked upon the paramount way of the ninja as the ninja can she save the entire ninja capital. In the darkest hour of the night, a falling meteor streaks across the sky, markets, marking the graduation of ninja initiate Rappa and her new identity as ninja hero Rappa. The Ninja Capital. In the suburb of night fog, the streets are colorless, save for the neon signs scattered about, the splendid hues of Dazzling Ninja seals, and the swift silhouettes of the Dazzling Ninja herself. What's scattered on the ground like garbage bags and not plastic garbage? Instead, they are the lackeys of the Osaru. The one casting the shadow in front of the Dazzling Ninja is not a dead spirit, but rather an unknown visitor who exudes a powerful and suppressive power. Those aren't real horns, indeed. Greetings. Who might you be? My pleasure to make your acquaintance too. We are ninja heroes who have received the true teaching of the hunt. We come forth to punish evil ninja Osaru. Ninja hero? Huh. It seems that my trials finally come to an end. Trial? The final trial of the Mapo Age. Destroying the magic of Saru's house and the catastrophe that has befallen this land. Pray tell. Have I proven myself worthy of the title of ninja hero? Oh, mighty Eon of the Hunt! What indomitable ninja spirit she has! Indeed, one as devoted as you rightfully deserve the title of ninja hero. Greetings, dazzling ninja. 
10 hard years here of training finally culminate in this. A new title would be conferred upon me today. I can proudly say that I've never gone against a tenant to a dazzling ninja too all this time. How I wish you were here to witness this glory of mine today, Master Kucha. With that, I shall continue my journey to take down the evil ninja. Farewell. Make no haste, since I am now a ninja hero fit to contend with an evil ninja. Would you let me join you in your crusade? Now, for your hunt is look complete, this is mine, mine alone. La 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 la. Cut to! I see, this town would do well in special effect films. Ah, we have quite some fascinating actors today. One perpetually films before a green screen, another has been through a change of identities, and... And you, of course, the one with the most potential, festive superstar from the land of the dreams. Traitorous ninja, engage me in combat. True. Please let me apologize once more. Yes, it is true that I had a working relationship with, most prof, with prof Nana, but I was coerced into it. As a mimetic life form, I inadvertently fell into the hands of my enemies and became infected with a lethal mimetic virus. You're a slumber lala monkey? You're a memo keeper? I see. The special ninja suit that you displayed earlier was truly ingenious. I wouldn't be surprised if you were a memo ninja from the Garden of Zen collection. <laughs> <laughs> that rapper is so dumb. So am I right to see you? Am I right to see your act of betrayal of the Dean's office as a ruse to teleport us to safety here? Perhaps I was just trying to bail myself out of the situation. Banner yourself. Banner, banner, banner? Question mark. Uh oh, we're transforming to bananas. The words you speak. Well, this seems to be the answer for everything. Banner gibberish has long infiltrated every cell and organ of our bodies. Since Panagoni's dreams are rooted in the desire of the masses, the mimetic corruption has had an irreversible impact on Viscam itself. Some banana monkey's sweeping craze wasn't the beginning of things, rather, it heralded the end. Okay. From that point onward, the moment the slumber nana was fated to be born. What differentiates this from the other mimetic viruses in the period of extent of its influence? Is it right? Is the period of insane Okay. I'm impressed. It seems that Hank is not only a skilled actor, but also has profound knowledge on communication theory. Trends come and go, but every single one of them eventually dies down. Much like a violent storm quells with time. We'll not be able to dampen the increasing popularity of Slumber Nana Monkey, but we can always work to hasten the trans recession. How do we accomplish this, you ask? We'll have to introduce our lead actor for the night. A new trend. Yes, it's none other than you, ninja actor. The key is in my past, isn't it? Both Nana M Primon once called you the Doctor's failed creation. Oh, yeah. I am extremely interested in this. What lies beyond your insistence on narrating everything from the intriguing worldview of a ninja? When I made the connection between that and the ban academics that we've seen earlier, I came to the realization that this might be the very reason you're immune to Slumber Nana Monkey's corruption. What Prof. Nana said also hinted at the possibility that links everything else up. So. Maybe instead of being turned into like a slumber nana monkey, like what the the monkeys, she's she simply got turned into a ninja, and so the monkeys are not capable of saying anything else that bana, and she's not capable of, of saying anything that is not linked to ninjas. That this is but another one of Doctor Primitive's experiments. As for you, actor Rapa, who are already infected with another mimetic virus. As stated in the Cosmic Ninja's inscription, when used correctly, the venom of a scorpion neutralizes snake venom. Just poisoned wine may sometimes be used to quench thirst. What you said is right. I once fell into the clutches of Osiris' domain. When sorcery and injustice was inflicted upon me, I had to undergo endless tribulation to break the fiendish spells. Only then did I manage to escape. 
that memory has long become a story I leave behind in my past. Though if Pine Canyon's future hinges on it, I am willing to bring back that memory and face it once more. Well, well, well. If memetic entities can override one another, so can memetic viruses. If we can just edit the virus out of our ninja actor's memory, there may be a way to destroy those nasty monkeys in anesthesia dreamscape. As a third act of a film, this can well be considered as a masterful development to the overall plot. The plot is it? And for the sake of propelling the plot forward, it looks like you'll have to take on a lead role again, actor Kitty. Do you mean clockwork? Mimetic viruses, no matter the type, can be fatal to a memo keeper. But that's not the case for you. As a protagonist, you will surely be able to unveil the truths behind the numerous layers of foreshadowing in this film. Go, take my film reel and turn her memories into the MacGuffin, the key clue, that will shatter this plot once and for all. The Banachi version of my mind is getting clearer now. I have to move quickly. Alright, let's go. Baseball Bat Ninja, are you ready to dive into my past? Make all necessary preparations, for you may be jolted out of sort when we encounter the bloody, tearful and ruthless moments in my memory. Man. Clockwork Ninja 2 activates! Boop. Let's enter the emo escape, baby! Pray tell. What does it mean to be a ninja hero? And how does one become a ninja hero? True! Big questions. Through talent, lineage, inheritance, or being possessed by the ninja spirit? Nay, none of these! Across the wide expanse of the cosmic ninja realm, those who practice ninjutsu are as prevalent as flying fish row, and ninja heroes are as rare as precious golden puffer fish. At this juncture, the legendary scroll of the ninja hero is on the cusp of being unfurled. Do your best to maintain your sanity as you watch as ninjas pass and fall before you. Cosmic Ninja's inscription, Pass Reverie. Part 1, Epiphany via Tribulation. Now what the heck is going on? Oh! Oh, that looked cool. Hatch and lock requested insufficient clearance. Please enter password. An enchantment. It won't stop me. This is Rapper's voice. Is this the past version of her? Lin, Pyo, To, Sha, Break. Password input correct. Live specimen gene editing disabled. Opening hatch. That's all there is in. That's all there is to Osari seal. <laughs> Even while my senses are dull by sorcery, I can still see the grotesque scenes that are unfolding here. How detestable and deplorable indeed. And not the self that Rapper remembers in her memories. So this is an ninja capital. It's completely different from what I imagined. That should be the end of my trial. Time to return to Master and resume my training. Let's go! Back to Master, baby! Wait. Banana, banana, atavistic target, old world monkey, gene regression progress, 7% vital signs, table. This is evil ninja, Osiris ninja scout. He's currently monitoring the victims imprisoned in their cages. Oh, mighty Aeon of the hunt, evil doers of cast that covet his eyes upon the world. How can you continue to slumber with your eyes closed? True. Hello. Master Kucha. Salutation, Master Kucha. I deciphered the enchantment. So she knew she was like a scientist. I think they were saying how I remember. Boot Hill talking about Rappa. Or was it someone else? I remember someone talking about Rappa. And I was saying how she was using... She's like... She's a scientist. She makes inventions. So she used the power of her invention mixed with something else to use her, like, uh, ninja abilities. But it's not, like, pure magic. It's, like, kind of a... It's more of a science thing. Science thing. Kind of like Spider-Man. What? It's not even two system hours. Master Kucha, do I count as a ninja initiate now? <clears throat> Why, yes. Old child new to the way of the ninja. I recognize your determination. Henceforth, you shall be the successor to my dazzling ninjutsu. Thank you, Master. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow, a sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Though tears soon to devour all hope for the more. 
Sulla Civil Ninja Osaru, agent of the Vile, cast a mess into scene by foul art and guile. Findings indulgent in evil gone wild, enraged the hearts of all, man, woman, and child. In every the legacy of the ninja hero, wipe clean the scenes of Osaru, and the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital, and bring peace back to its people. I'll continue to train hard till the day I become the destined ninja the master speaks of. An I will resolution to contend with evil ninja, you will also need a new name. A name befitting a ninja. Name is AKA3 a name? I don't know, my disciple. Your name will carry your ideals, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. That's why she says AK. In that case, I choose Rapa. To have a dedicated heart that will never be disturbed, and to pacify all evil and demonstrate justice. That was Master's initial teachings to me. I wish to use them in my name. As you wish. Nice to meet you, Dazzling Ninja. Dazzling Initiate, uh, aka Rapa. You will now embark on an arduous training to become a ninja. Can you keep up? Certainly. Pain is but common to a ninja, and I shall never flinch in the face of it. Alright. The path of a ninja is never smooth. A ninja should have an indestructible form. The first trial, ninja body of Vajra. 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 Hola, senorita. Vajra. 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 It's actually hard to transition from a J to a R. Vajra, 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 It's actually really hard. J, J, R, J, R. The position of the tongue is so different. Vajra, 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 Fuck! I feel no, it is doesn't feeling under the Masakucha, though not directly. This feeling harbors just as much hatred for evil ninja Osaru. Number three, take medicine. Seek concoction of concealed evil, containing excessive amount of ninja strength, swallowing it means entering bone shattering pain. However, to become a ninja hero, I must consume these pills every day. Only then can I create a never ending source of cosmic ninja strength within my body. Yes, this is a trial to temper my mind and body. So, the ninja pill? Swallow it for the sake of the ninja capital. The moment you take the medicine, intense pain overwhelms your senses. Oh god. Your skin, muscles, bones, you feel every part of your body being something. Uh, being destroyed, being eroded, destroyed and reconstructed. Is this, is this extracting pain what Rapa enjoyed back then? Us, having persevered through an ending night of tribulation, I will boast the impenetrable body of a ninja hero. The first trial is on Vajra. Vajra. I'm gonna say Vajra, fuck it. A ninja should have a preternatural perception. Extrasensory perception. Humbra et Mistress. This is Humbra and Mistress, the head of the dojo and a reliable supportive figure for us as students. She used the great Narukumi circle to awaken the latent potential of ninjas. After attaining enlightenment via reverse lightning jutsu, one's body can then possess extraordinary ninja senses. Number third. Number three. I am about to increase the intensity. You better be able to handle it. The future of this laboratory is all in your hands. Yes, that is the plan. The future of the ninja capital shall be shaped by the dazzling ninja hero. I'll definitely fulfill my promise. So I feel like they're actually doing the they're actually doing the Doctor Primitive experimentation on her. It was supposed to transform her into a, a primate, a primate. But maybe it didn't work for some reason because like her will is too strong, so she couldn't like revert back to being a, a monkey. Accept the, the great Narukami circle. Put it on for the sake of becoming a ninja hero. The color emits powerful electrical currents like thousands of needles piercing through your flesh and blood. It can't have bombs exploding within your body. Within your body... Your heart begins to beat at an unusual rate. Your heart... You hear countless noises, including the death of protons. This is too much. Us, having persevered through unending nights of tribulation, I now boast the vast sense of a ninja hero. The ninja should be unstop have unstoppable might. The third trial, Ninja Karate. 
These feelings are rebels, apes of Osaru Khan. They would spar with me every day, improving my ninja skills and refining my ninja martial prowess. Or they're trying to heal. Like it could be, it could be out either way. But I feel like this is. I oh, know it's stressing me out. Number three, stress response training tier four, fighting low-level combat apes. I have never won against these feelings, for I'm still but a mere ninja initiate. Yet, if I am to become the Dazen Ninja, I must vanquish these feelings. Only then can I be worthy of defeating evil ninja Osaru. To battle! Do not stop until the crows start cawing at the crack of dawn. Okay. Let's part with them. Let the hunt begin. For the sake of defeating evil one day. The feelings have approached you. Even though you just practice, you have to take them on with a true hunting attitude. Let's go. Bab, got him. Number third, clear experiment tier four, rating increased. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscription, the way of the ninja is long and windy, and trials and tribulations are mere amusement. Us, impressive through unending nights of tribulations, and I boast the unrivaled stature of a ninja hero. Meet Master Kucha once more. Mm hmm. Sakucha, an Umber headmistress. You use the mimetic virus on number third. How would that help the experiments? I can clearly hear everything they're saying. Is my superhero capable of picking up even whispers among ninjas now? A joyous discovery indeed. Lady Seven Twenty Two, we need to increase number third's mental resilience. Enough with this lame excuse. You just can't bear to see her suffer, can you? She might not be able to withstand the later experiments. If we use the mimetic virus to perform cognitive intervention and ensure that her mind remains stable, the experiments can proceed more smoothly. Fine, but why make sure but make sure not to bring your personal feelings into this. The research apes aren't exactly happy about how you're allowing number three to run around at will. She's able to decipher the password to the modification cabin in just two system hours. There's no well we'll be able to cage her up like an old gorilla any old gorilla. Do not be troubled over me, master. Mere physical suffering can never devastate my ninja spirit. Yep, that's why I saw. Even ninja Osaru's uh, sorcery beguiles the masses, so she was being experimented on. The ninja world lies concealed beneath thick, gloomy shadows, for all they see are but illusory rubbles. And now I shall break this curse seal for you. Hmm. Oops. Following Master Kutcha's instruction, we're venturing into the magical vessel made of ninja tech. Information dilution at 74%, consciousness anchor locked on, mimetic etching is about to begin. Ninja initiate Rabba, are you ready? The illusory sorcery that evil ninja cast upon you is about to be broken. Mimetic etching is about to begin. Let's get out of here, or we'll get affected as well. Maybe not. I'm, I'm confused. I'm not entirely sure. Either way. I see it now. To think there's such a majestic capital in the ninja world. Awesome. Looks like it was a success. Since we're on this, why ninjas? Oh, because of the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions. The what now? In order to protect the helpless weak and save the fallen ninja capital, the righteous ninja hero hunts down the world's evil ninjas. It's a manga series. After we sealed off the research institute to hide from the galaxy rangers, my manga collection has been her only source of entertainment. Yep. There it is. Now I know why number three always looks so loopy. 
You'd better be careful not to go overboard with giving her such useless information. There's only one horizontal axis on the Redition's coordinate system. Everything else is an impediment to progress. That's especially true for the panel concept of good and evil. Haven't the Galaxy Rangers given us enough trouble already? You'll never get the Doctor to notice you if you keep being so narrow-minded. Is that so? Would Doctor really notice ordinary mortals like us? And there it is. So, yeah, they were fucking up. Part 2, Vanquisher in Dazzle. <laughs> You're transferring number 3 to Denisovan 22. Why? Simple. You won't be able to graduate. According to Denisovan 22nd's report, you have been guiding the experiments in the wrong direction. Let me ask you what she means by this. It's an honor for me to represent Laboratory 17 and elaborate on our belief to all who are present today. Wise attendance, as you can clearly see, our universe today is nothing but a crate of abundant bananas. In order to save the worlds marching towards rot and decay, humanity must regress, regress, and regress further. Only then will civilization be imbued with endless possibilities yet again, allowing your addition to shine with kaleidoscopic rays once more. Do not be concerned by the accusation and criticism of others, for a grand cause must always use the dreams of the common masses as kindling. Yet it is blissful for them to become kindling, for rotten wood only contributes to greatest value when it is set ablaze. People should make use of their talents to the fullest. Just as items should be utilized fully, we must ensure that every monkey in the experiment fully comprehends his bliss. Let us burn alongside them in happiness. Damn. Denis Denisovan 22nd. What is all this? I've graduated. Now you need to call me Abe 22nd. As for what this is, the specimen is the new human that the laboratory painstakingly bred with genes filtered from the atavistic experiments. But you made her lunatic. The research apes have decided I will take over her nurturing from here on out. Who is in charge is important, but you can't continue to experiment anymore. She'll break. That's fine. I've already read her tree. I'm already nurturing number four. If something happens to three, we'll replace her with that new one. How could you? We brought her since she was a baby. Do you not have a shred of morality? Morality? Are you really talking to me about morality? On Baka's second, morality is how every family's second son must be sacrificed to Nanook. On the interstellar principality of Pegasus, morality is how bipedal organisms must be enslaved by quadrupedal ones. On the Kavakala planet, morality is how blue-eyed individuals are forbidden from walking on the streets. Morality has bound the wisdom of those people and the future of this world. That was why Dr. Primitive chose them as targets of the atavistic experiments. The sacrifices we made are not for such vocal things. Rather, they are meant to create a future where humans can be happy, where the universe can continue to advance, and one that the Doctor can be proud of. Them? Umbra Headmistress, you're destroying the Cosmic Ninja's new inscriptions. Why? Cognition and isolation is the first step to curing one of the mimetic virus. virus. It was supposed to have the intelligence of a genius, but such garbage ruined it. Rip them. Tear them to shreds yourself. This... This is the dearest treasure of the Dazzling Ninja School. We cannot do that. Odd. I've always thought of you as obedient. You always did everything Denisov and 75 said. Why aren't you obeying me? Bam! <laughs> Your muscle fiber sure are densely packed. It's like slapping a rock. Jesus. The palm. Why? Used on me. Hurry and tear up this trash. As long as you perform well, both Denis of 75 and I will be praised. You don't wish to disappoint him, do you? Master Kucha. I understand. This, but me, this must be Master Kucha's trial for me. He's testing my ninja skills of letting go. Bruh. The ninja's heart is disturbed. Escape from the evil stronghold. How about Ed Mistress and Master Kucha? What are you talking about? Time to listen in. Wait a second. You cannot get rid of her. Number third is also a failed experiment subject. She barged into the storage room without permission, created a huge mess, and was rude to the research apes. Just that alone is not to make her failure. But you know that was just an accident. I'm a research ape, not a bad advisor. You're the one who made her into this damn state she's in. The laboratory should hold you accountable for the way she turned out. Damn it! Damn it! Master Kucha, have I done something wrong? No, Rapa. 
You have done extremely well. A true ninja hero must wholeheartedly devote oneself to the way of the ninja. You follow the evil ninja's schemes and save so many innocent people. You undoubtedly already have the bearing of a true ninja. Am I really a true ninja now? Of course. Now, ninja initiate Rappa. Yes, master. You've trained on me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon to defeat the evil ninja and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kacha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lies the secret of Dazzling Ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes Finlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital, banish the shadows with ink, and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So the decision is yours to make. Yes. Splash the colored ink, shatter the wicked formation. Above ninja talisman, arcana reside. Evil vanquishing formation must be complemented with secret incantations. To grasp the truth within flows of ink. This is where the matrix core is. According to Master, Dazzling Ninjutsu can override the evil ninja's matrix. Channel the mantra into the colorful bright brilliance, then paint it over the existing mantra on the matrix core. What a wondrous ninja tech. Dazzling ninja seal, open! Success! This way the evil ninja matrix can finally be broken. The Nisuvan 75, what is going on? There's digital graffiti all over the laboratory. It even crashed the security system. Yeah, it's just like the graffiti that, uh, what's her name? Civil Wolf does. She had, like, her gravity serves, like, uh... I don't know. She can even use it to hack reality, so who knows. I have no idea, someone must have hacked him. I'll check on it right away. Be quick about it. If you don't fix it soon, the rangers are gonna find us. Ninja Tysman perfected. Meet Master Kucha for a third time. Hell yeah. Hiya, Master. Master Kucha, I've placed Dazzling Ninja seal all over the ninja capital. Good work, Dazzling Ninja. This way, the evil ninja matrix will no longer be able to stop our complication in Make haste, Rangers. Bring this ridiculous farce to an end. Stop! Yeah, what are you doing, Denisovan 75? Denisovan 22. How dare you deceive the experimental subjects, your fellow research partners and the research apes. The biggest mistake Laboratory 17 ever made was to allow research fraud such as you to infiltrate this place. What is Umbrella Head Mistress talking about? Rappa. She's a follower of the evil ninja. What? Umbrella Head Mistress is a traitorous ninja! Enough, combat apes, take care of them. No! Fuck her up! Fuck her up! That's Lane Ninja. There has been a change to your trial today. And I'll ask you to vanquish those traitors. Understood. I shall demonstrate for Master the Dazzling Ninja you I just learned. Get up! Kimochi! The Kimochasi! Fun in position. Get him! Yoshinasa? Yeah, let's do that. Boop! The naughty. More chaotic than Kiri. It's done with an A. You goober. Thank you so much for the video, I really appreciate your hard work, mister. You're the Mr. Video Man. Hello, Video Man. How could this happen? These combat apes were personally trained by the research apes. My long hours of training have finally paid off. This is Dazzling Palm. Look, this is what they call the failed subject. We conducted this experiment together. We're the ones who shaped her into this. Someone with unparalleled intelligence, extraordinary perception, and incredible power. Tell me, in what sense of the word is she considered failure? 
You, how dare you question the doctor's theory? The research aid must have their own considerations. The security system will be repaired soon. Prepare to fill the full force of Dr. Primitive's wrath, you oblivious kindling. You're wrong. Dr. Primitive wouldn't care about ordinary people like us. Rappa, this trial is over. You should go. But Master Kucha... Leave, Rappa. Yes! You're secretly concealing weapons as well. What are you planning? Denny Sovan 22nd. Thanks to you, I finally understood the morality is indeed a hypocritical and superficial concept. That's why I've decided to ditch it for good. Wait, my friend, please! Put the gun down! We've been classmates for so many years now, you can't! Pew! Umbral headmistress, it's time you breathed your last. This is karma. It didn't fire a second shot. Warning, an authorized person was detected in corridor C11. Security aims to activate security measures at once. The evil ninja is about to set the matrix here. Using the ninja tech left by t to me by master, I shall pave the way for those ninja heroes that are soon to arrive. Wavering. Damn. Story is sad, dude. So, this is how the air outside the ninja capital actually smells like. Hey, little miss, are you alright? Who took her in? I, I gotta know who's, who's her. <laughs> <laughs> she has as much as a foul mouth as a. She has as much as a foul mouth of Boot Heel. Maybe the, that, that maybe that's the the friend of Boot Heel that that died, right? Ninja slang is the, the insult. Oh damn, dude. Yeah, she killed them all. That ain't pain, chat. That ain't pain. Damn. Dude. なるほどな。この楽器は ガケ、お前は順守の道を歩みたいのか。一旦足を踏み入れたら後戻りはできないぞ。構わない。拙者は止まることなく、全ての悪を払って見せる。たとえ矢が鶴にかかり、永遠に戻らないとしても、一心不
Although it's super dangerous for them, it can like fully kill them. I don't know, man. Don't worry, everything's fine now. Wow, the metal fudging fantastic news. As if I haven't already told you the last few times. It's not even for my head to be checked, let alone the consultation. Because like, yeah, the woman, the story was like talking like a... I don't know, let's say a truck driver, right? Which is the same way that Boothill talks. And Boothill hates the IPC. And there was a whole story with the, the ninja stuff. Uh, the story on the artifact set. The, the, the cowboy artifact set. Actually, the cowboy stuff, not the ninja stuff. Um, and so I think that the woman that died in the story of the cowboy artifact set is probably the woman that we saw in the story and she was a galaxy hunter and she was probably uh, involved with Boot Hill in a way or another, right? That's why Boot Hill and the other galaxy hunter Rappa are connected. They're connected through that third person that presumably, in my opinion, probably died because of the IPC and so that's why Boot Hill hates the IPC. I mean, we need an excuse for your behavior anyway, surely insanity counts. What are you even saying? All hope is not lost yet. It looks like Dreamfolk's Reef is the enemy's real target. Everything that the both of you saw and heard at the Slumber Nanana Association is evidence enough. Thankfully, you managed to intervene in the time and put a stop to the schemes for now. Even so, the current situation is still rather grim. Apologies, but I only bring bad news. And good news too? I wish, but no, nothing of the sort. Afrique! Well, at least you didn't say worse news. The conversation is still in progress. The conversion, sorry. The number of monkeys in Dreamfox Reef is still increasing. I'm certain they used to be residents of the place. I sense the same. There is still a discordant static on Dreamfox Reef. Call it bewitchment or persuasion. The fact remains that such dissonance has indeed French opened the emptiness in people's hearts. I went to a few trustworthy bloodhounds for help, asking them to eliminate any sister nanas that they come across. Looks like that's not helping the current situation. Mr. Micah, Mika, you know Dreamflux Reef the best among us. Do you have any suggestions? We're in a race against time, so I'll dispense with the formalities. In Dreamflux Reef, there are still assistant nanas working in secret, searching all over the place for residents who haven't been turned into monkeys and pushing them into that abyss. If the both of you are willing to aid us, it will buy us more time. As for Miss Robin, you may just be the key to resolving the crisis. But if we were to ask you for help, we have to be prepared for the worst case scenario where the boundary between Dreamflux Reef and the family will no longer exist. I will need your promise regarding the future of this place. I understand. In that case, please go ahead with your plans first, Mr. Booty and Miss March 7th. Before you wrap up your business, we'll have made our decision too. Alright, let's go. So yeah, because like, if you go in here, um, this set. A cowboy hat decorated with wild wheat, a mark of the legendary musketeer Oakley. Uh, where do I go to read that story, though? Like, if I go here, in databank, I think, and then I go to relics, and we check out this one, and we check the backstory. Oakley inherited this felt hat from a deceased father, so we know that's a woman, right? Just like now that she tucked, uh, now that she tucked ears of wheat into the hat as an ornament, it looks much cuter than before. Bounty hunters, whether intentionally or not, always sought to craft emblems of their own in the hope that these items could one day become the beginning of great legends. The IPC offered bounties to enlist experts of the highest caliber to hunt down interstellar pirates in Oakley. As one who always worked alone, forever sought out the most challenging regions of desolation among the farthest reaches of the world, so she was hunted down by the IPC. Days under the scorching hot sun were coupled with bitterly cold nights. In a lonely odyssey, Oakley could fall asleep with her head pillowed on her felt that was, um, on a felt hat whenever she was near a bonfire. Her dreams were intruded by a mysterious gunslinger, who claimed to be a bounty hunter from afar. His chronic figure was in sharp contrast with his fierce, stern gaze. The gunslinger challenged Oakley's father through a duel to the death at the high noon. So, the gunslinger, that is most likely Boot Hill, right? Shots were fired, a felt hat was dropped, and Oakley's father was falling backward to the ground, followed by the sound of weeping and wailing from Oakley's mother. Little Oakley gawked at the gunslinger and stopper, whose aptitude with a gun was so superb that her father could never stand a chance. Waking up there would be 
traces of damp tears in Oakley's felt hat. As a child, she learned how to shoot a gun only because she had wanted her father's handsome and stylish hat. So is that him? It could just be another person, to be honest. We don't know yet. Young Oakley practiced and practiced. She trained in the range from dawn to dusk. At times, her father felt surreptitiously surprised by and proud. Uh, surreptitiously surprised by and proud of little Oakley's talents, while other times have fretted. He fretted over her future, living the life of a musketeer. Oakley's mother seemed to be the only one who actually cared and felt for young Oakley's tender little hands, often blaming Oakley's father for teaching her how to fire a gun. From the time of that fateful duel to the time when she scored her first ever bounty earned much of her later fame, Oakley had used the same pair of worn gloves for years. The peers didn't understand her insistence on wearing the same pair of broken gloves. Only she knew the conflicting emotion within those gloves, for they were the parting gift her mother gave her. What sort of emotional struggles must Oakley's mother have gone through when she had been so stubbornly opposed to Oakley's learning her way around guns? After that duel, her mother wept unceasingly in Oakley's arms. Oakley didn't say anything, but the mother had already read Oakley's thoughts. A musketeer should never show their opening first when dueling. Oakley could discreetly load bullets into the chamber and lock onto the mark without alarming your targets. For any onlookers, her loose wit cloak never moved an inch until the shot was fired. No one could figure out how she did it. Intricate moves should be done under the cover of the cloak. The duel must be over before the bullet had left the gun. Her father repeatedly emphasized. After accidentally encountering a group of unarmed bandits, Oakley calmly steadied herself and observed the situation. Before pulling out her gun, she had remained upright like a mountain rock that had not been moved in centuries. She finished all her preparation before the bandits could even move a finger. After a round of clear sounding shots, Oakley intentionally let go of one bandit to send out a warning to the whole court. Thoughtless, expressionless, often leaving her opponent with no hope of ever defeating her, that was how her fellow bounty hunter viewed Oakley. While dueling, Oakley was more like that one mysterious intruding gunslinger in her dreams. With her brisk and clean shots and not a single superfluous move, she couldn't help but resent her own self when she realized that she was becoming more and more like her nemesis. The journey was long and arduous, but Oakley was long used to such loneliness. She was always wearing her riding boots to march through the farthest reaches of the world, regardless of how meager a pay she would get. She had a hunch that mysterious gunslinger must also be a man of seclusion. The encounter would inevitably occur at a place frequented by few. After coming by her harmonica, Oakley spent most of her alone time on intermittent practicing of songs. Her audience, no one but tarantulas, sandstorms, and tumbleweeds. Through her, through her journey, Oakley was becoming better at coming up with the techniques to kill time. It was that wind and one stood and listened to Oakley's play on the harmonica, while leaving when the whole song came to an end. The IPC offered bounty hunters plenty of opportunity for interstellar traveling, and the destination was never a concern for this particular lone musketeer. Sometimes Oakley did wonder if she was just chasing a phantom all this time, because that mysterious gunsling was long gone without a trace. Sometimes it seemed that all Oakley ever did was set out for one mission after another. Oakley insisted, however, that as long as her fame as the wild wheat was far-reaching enough, the mysterious gunslinger would eventually show up at her door, just like how he did he once did at the ranch to drool her father. Damn. I thought there was an older part of the story, but maybe I forgot. Her. I th I was pretty sure there was a part where he talked about her death. Hmm. You know what? I don't remember. I have to look it up later. But yeah, interesting. He got a bunch of achievement from the main story. All right, we still have one. Let's go. I think this is the last, bit, the last bit, right? That's what he said. Montana! Montana! Wait up! Watch out! Oh, shit. Let's go. I'm just gonna play an automatic. I'm lazy. Get him. Start! 
Much. Good thing you haven't been converted. See, those things are not. Modern runs off on her own before Mod 7 even finishes picking. Good night, right? Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, right. Tomorrow I'll do a stream in the afternoon and I'll be uh, trying out uh, Romancing Saga 2. I'm super looking forward to it. So don't forget to be here if you want to see the game. Hey, I'm not done yet. We can't leave her alone. I'll meet up with you later. This isn't me running away from a fight, okay? Unless there's the path for BD2. I'll let you know, I'll let you know, but I'll probably try it out. <sighs> it wouldn't have done that until you said it. Alright, let's finish this up. Let's go. Let's help out. There's so many monkeys, dude. Keep dealing with them, Mrs. Annie left. Oh. No! Being able to see an actor wasn't the monkey feels me with such joy. The scene would be overly monotonous otherwise. Though I too find this way of making my entrance rather excessively deliberate. Are you gonna try the open beta Monster Hunter while on the 31st? Man, On the... F <sighs> Maybe? But it's also the massive update for Nikkei. There's a second anniversary for Nikkei. How long is the Monster Hunter Wilds uh, demo? Well, the open beta, sorry. What's a little blatant engineering? The opening sequence, won't you agree? It lasts four days. I can play it another day. Yeah, apparently... Uh, Pacific time... It's October 31st, 8pm until November 3rd. Um, 7 p.m. So we've got a bit of time. I really want to play the Nikkei update when it comes out. The second anniversary is so hype, dude. Who are you? Robin's people. Nah, you're a memo keeper. Keen intuition, but the layer of my identity is important. I'm only here because of my fastidiousness toward the theatrical arts. What in forking hell are you trying to say? I was planning to tell you to stay away from this planet, but you're being so annoyingly pretentious that you're better off turning into a monkey. At least you'd be less noisy then. You may think that I popped up out of nowhere, and yes, you can attribute that to lack of a foreshadowing. I would have approved such as I wouldn't have approved such a sloppy sequence in usual cases. Yet for the sake of this film, I am willing to forego some of my standard to offer some tiny clues to you and the other ranger. Called me anniversary just like IRL. I don't mind about my, I don't care about my birthday, IRL. It's fine, whatever. Ah, oh, represent you. No wonder you talk in the same convoluted manner. At present, there is an obvious way to save Dreamflux Reef. As long as the family steps into the picture, resolving the mutation that's occurred here would be a piece of cake. However, this is not a solution that masses may be willing to accept. You think too little of the people here. They gave up on the sweet dreams out there to say they can be true to themselves. You reckon such people would grovel at the feet of the family of a mere crisis? Yes. Mr. Micah thinks the same. But the perseverance of theirs isn't going to save Dream Flux Reef. I don't wish for this film to develop into a tragedy either. If the resident of Dream Flux Reef hope the, to tide over the crisis without the family's help. They will have to sing their very own song of harmony. This is why I'm here. Okay. I've prepared a big gift for all of you. The outline for the new act. You'll see once you open it. And why should I believe you? 
I am the director of this film as much as I am an actor in it. When it comes to the last scene that I will appear in, there is no reason for me not to seek perfection. All right, first of all, that's not what the I wanted to pull the fucking bird. I knew there's no way the little fudge head will come right out and say what he actually means. Let's just see what you're up to then. Before opening it, he has many speculations. He also believes that no matter what he sees, he can maintain his usual contempt and mock to the other for his trickery. But right after doing that... This is... <laughs> Darn right he is! The mouth Fudge does know what he's talking about. Nothing else can beat this if the people of Dreamflux Reef have to come together to sing the Song of Harmony. Time to go back to that singing queen. Forking help, this place totally ain't shabby enough to ask family for help. Alright, let's go. Uh, I can go from here. So I don't have to go all the way around, it's so annoying. Understand. I'll try my best, Mr. Micah. Alright there, hold your horses. What you'll have to so far. It's you, Mr. Boothill. Our thing's outside. Sam, oh, sorry, Sai. Not that I miss it. Have we really come to this? What do you mean, partner? Am I going to have to start learning how to greet a family now? Some older games. What game do you mean? On the contrary, that's something that will never happen in Dreamflux Reef. At the end of the day, I'm just Dreamflux Reef's Night Watch, not its leader. I'm loath to interfere with people's right to choose. Choose? Well, tell me you believe the choose to become monkey. They chose. That is likely my point. These are people who seek their true selves. I don't believe they would seek happiness by erasing their individuality. But I won't stop them from heading toward destruction, as long as they made the decision with a clear head. DS Ada game? What does that mean? A bunch of people are translating never in Europe release game in English right now. Okay. Um, whatever. This uh, like I don't want to play DS games to be honest right now. Like, I don't want to go out of my way to play old games. It's just like there's so many good games I can just play on PC on console, you know. Like unless it's really really good game, uh, you can drop them in uh, what's it called? Like if it's a masterpiece, you can drop it on Discord. I'll, I'll Discord. I'll have a look. Uh, all right. Ah, that's my boy. There are people who aspire to become monkeys. I won't deny them of that dream. In games, right? Sure. Unless it's not appropriate. But I hope Miss Robin will at least give them the right to choose once again. There is another way to resolve the impending crisis without drawing the family's eyes to Dreamflux Reef. We know the tuning of harmony can erase the static noise. If the people of Dreamflux Reef are willing to follow my lead in singing a charmonic tune together, we may be able to erase the heinous noises reverberating around Dreamflux Reef. But knowing how a number of reasons to view the family, it won't be easy for the plan to work. More importantly, if the family tunes become the only song left on Dreamflux Reef, it would have survived in the crisis, but Pinnacle is only land of freedom would have so ceased to exist. But just have every sound and voice come together in a single song. Listen, I have a fudging brilliant idea. Come with me, singing queen. Whether it works or not depends on how much of a deviant you are. What? The tour right before the open air stage in Dreamflux Reef. You ready for it? Now this is only the only way to get everyone in Dreamflux Reef to sing together. This... Need I say more? Don't tell me that you've been so used to your classy posh instrument that the thing is beneath you. No, that's not it. I know a thing or two regarding everything related to tunes. But this really is absurd. Is she gonna sing the banana song? There's no way. Perhaps an absurd crisis call for an equally absurd solution. That's the way. Leave the rest to me. I'll make sure to get everyone we need. 
Some people saved the world by giving a dance. Some people defeated the enemies by crying. It's finally your turn now. Got a crisis? Throw a party. Yeehaw! Alright. Let's see it. Run the people and throw a fudging party. Uh. Let's go. Those guys here, maybe? Oi! Stop out of me, cowpokes! That's a big party going on up there! It's lit as fudge! We don't, why don't you go check it out? Miko already told us about it, chiming on the family's army in the queues. You best get the hell out of my face. Sheesh, isn't that one of my lines? Be sure. If you prefer it this way, prefer it this way. I know I'm being a little demanding here, but get your high parts over there, over to the party right now and save your home. I'll make sure you dedicate an energy for every one of you. You? Never seen a sack before. How about Micah? Wanna try me and my gun? What's going on? I feel like humans are more dangerous than those monkeys now. Yes, sir. Alright. Fine, I'll go to the party. You got them right to go to the party, bitch. Alright, let's talk to the ones uh, at the top up here. This looks cool over there, though, I will say. This actually, um... Uh, this actually reminds me of, uh... Some of the, uh... On Kind of Pack 3rd stuff. And even... Uh, the, des the dead moon and the, the fragment in the sky. That we saw in... Genshin Impacts, Beyond, Beyond the Firmament. And also the the planet we saw when they showed the picture for the collab with Fate. I'm just saying. Oh, it makes sense, right? Because this is like the the big sea of. I mean, this is a form of sea of dreams, right? Sea of dreams, sea of Quenta, all of that. This might be from where it since connects, of one of the places where it connects. Hi guys! Hi guys! Howdy, partner. What's wrong, pals? No, guess what? The stress look you have there. I haven't been swinging enough, eh? Shut up, cowboy. Enough snide remarks. Come over and help us out. That's exactly what I'm here for. Here. Head over to this place and just wait for it. I called you, didn't I? When is all the brain was swinging around and dance floor souls things just the same? A cowboy? Right, the same guy is at the, at the other time. Could Miss Robin be... Come with me, everyone. I think it might just be making some sense. For once. Monela, why are you... Never mind. What's more loony to the cows? Let's go see what's going on. Let's go! There's more? Oh, March 7th in Montana, let's go. Ma, 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 look who's here. I've been looking for you all day. Should I believe that or not? All right then, I'll just take half the credit for those assistants as we took out earlier. Yeah, it's also just half of the whole lot. So that's why nothing's going back to normal. Come on, we need to hurry. No need for that. We just we got a new plan now. I'd go with her, convinced. I I'll help out wherever possible. Jeeper, I said you get through to her. Much your assistant out to pulp. Much explain everything to me. I wasn't really influenced by the assistanas. It was something else. Anyway, it's not your fault. Those bananas are incorrigible. Preaching about how having nothing is best. More like they wouldn't be able to control a single human if none of us thought that way. Say whatever they like. There's nothing but smashed up fudges once I put my bullets into them. Everything I that between you two now. Follow me then. Let's go! Wow, everyone's here! Hell yeah. Let's do it. What was that you said? Who in the right mind would sing in the choir in this era? And when you tell them there's a party, it's when people come flocking. What? A party? You're back, Mr. Boothale. We wouldn't have this turnout if it wasn't for Mr. Mika. Most of them are willing to trust me, much less the power of Charmony. They trust to put their faith in Mr. Mika. I think it's less about believing me than them... than them not wanting to give up on this place. Everyone's got something they want to prove. It's the first time Dreamflux Reef has ever had a way to overcome difficulties on our own, without relying on the family. So, what exactly are you gonna do? You're likely to find it a little unbelievable. I still can't wrap my head around how I actually agreed to this. That must be crazy. What's well, scary about that? I have to do something crazy every once in a while. That keeps me from really going nuts. Alright, let's get the party going. What's the hype is at its peak? I'm gonna treat everyone to a drink. <laughs> I decided to like you guys now. Thank you in advance, Mr. Boothill. But I'd like to remind you on behalf of Jesse that your seven cups from before haven't been paid yet. 
But then we need to take care of that bill, of course. I've seen several acting years in the past, but this is the most unusual of the lot. Will it really work? Don't ever think it's singing queen, let me tell you something funny. I'm sure you can tell I've been through some modification on my body. When I started as a cyborg, my memory module fizzled out every so often, I didn't even mess with it. The dad told me to not, to not things down if they were important, and should look up some possible causes before coming to fix me up a few days later. Guess what? I made a fortune note things down for several days straight. That's when it hit me. I was remembering too much crap. That's why my memory module kept shutting down on me. Is there a reason you're telling us this? <laughs> yeah, and it's simple. I'm telling you that it's not yourself you have to trust, but them. That one here has a perfectly functional memory module. They didn't develop such robust brains to forget everything and become monkeys. So, you in? Yes, let's get this party started. What was it again? An absurd solution to an absurd crisis. I won't call it that. It's only right for Dream Flux Reef's song to be untamed and free. Go get a party started, singing queen. Nah, I should call you DJ Queen instead. Ayo? Ah, oh, let's go! Alright! Let's see it then. Beautiful, excellent! Music can really bring a film to life! Holy four Coroni, aren't you writing off your, char your character? I am. That's why I'm watching this scene as a director instead of an actor. I can't wait to hear for myself this song of harmony is going to turn out. Sometimes I get hit by a sudden hunch that a great film is in the making. More often than not, these tend to be just scenes from different groups of people that are then edited together. Most of the characters in this film aren't what you would call protagonists. You don't really get to see full character arcs on them. But they still have a light in their hearts that can save humanity's soul. What do these people really need? Guidance of the wise, or aid from the strong? I'd say neither. All they need is a camera to capture them. That's when others would be able to see the most wonderful show in the entire universe. Bah, don't make things sound so complicated, Director Pal. If you were to ask me, fork it. That's exactly what life is. Hmm, it's the prelude. Can you hear it? Those lesser thirds so plaintive, six diminished, sigh on sigh, told them something. Those suspensions, those solutions, must we die? Those commiserating sevens, life might last, we can but try. So, Miss Robin, is there anything else I can do? I'm alright now, you don't have to accompany me any further. The butterflies that I fell from before are all gone now. Is that because you're starting to get into the mood for the party early? No, that's not it. I just realized something I've never noticed before. Oh? Everyone expected my life to change after going through something huge like that. But that's not the case. I still haven't found a better answer regarding birds and flights. Even when something comes to my mind, stop it with the birds. I've seen a lot of time to deliberate on it and try various ways to prove it. I believe my brother is putting the same right now. Are you going to change yourself from today? Not exactly, it's just when I think about what's going to happen next. It dawns upon me that Eames tend to require a devoted heart and demand the choir to sing in unison. But on the dance floor, there's no need to conform or impose a certain standard for everyone to follow. Even if everyone is different, they will still appear the same. Perhaps harmony was never about its audience, but about the light it provides, much like how we see it now. There are more choices for the people than singing in unison. Even if they were to contribute their own differing sounds, these can be strung together, that's why it means to tune. I believe our song of harmony will be able to embrace even discordant sounds. I will bring forth Dreamflux Reef's very own sound. Let's go! Oh hell yeah baby! Ba 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 
Kai is officially the guy that takes a picture for the, the splash art of the character, for the banners, you know? Finally! All preparation leading up to the climax are in place! Like, that guy is already climaxing, I can tell you that. Let us welcome, with bated breath, the beatific final act! <laughs> That's it? Yeah, it's too bad! Rapa, are you not done with your ninja tech yet? Patience! As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, hasty knitting produces poor fabric, as raging fires fail to cook meat through. Ha! Done! The Cosmic Ninjutsu is ever-changing, so I present to you the Super Ninja Scroll. I've added the memory from earlier in today's, if Nadja Gamma does not lie, this will become the blade to slay those findlings. As long as we insert memories containing the ninja mimetic virus into the synesthesia dreamscape, we override the existence of slumber nana monkey in the dream. Ninja Hiryu, Ninja Kiri, I'm getting on you, on the two of you to aid me in ending the Finling Chief's reverse dream. Let's go. An ordinary camera. Had it not been made by a member keeper, it'd be hard to imagine that this thing could send you into another dreamscape. You peer through the viewfinder and spot what seems like the eye of an amphibian staring back at you. A familiar voice echoes in your ears. Actors, are you ready for the final act? Action, let's go, Bana. Charge with me, ninjas. Let the hunt begin. Cosmic Ninja, the final chapter of Turn Dreamful. Banya. An island full of bananas, a lovely nest for slum bananas. The familiar banana gibberish rings out and the monkeys in your mind start making noise. Dazzling ninjutsu, brilliant enlightenment. The bag now gibberish sound from before I've stopped. I shot at the Finley's reception with my ninja ticements as everyone snapped out of their trance. Looks like Mr. Rekka did tell the truth. He merely works in overwriting the slum banana monkey's influences. Her speech seems to have gone back to normal too. Is this the moment of slum banana? This place is crawling with slum banana monkeys. I'm guessing they write bananas from Paperfall University and Dreamflux Reef. Hey, this is the strange dreams I mentioned. That is true. This is undoubtedly the leisure realm Ninja Kitty and I once visited. There were not as many Finlings around back then. Looks like more and more people are being afflicted by the sorcery. Finling chief, you're being all of this, aren't you? Banat! What a waste! If it wasn't for so many variables disrupting the plan, this place would have been even more bustling. You know it's even more of a waste. The experiment's on its way to failure. Let me make a guess. You want to destroy this place with the virus in our head. But look at all these monkeys. Do you really think that dated manga can replace the most fervent trend in Dreamscape? Of course it wouldn't work. Neither do I have any intention of pushing Ninja Initiate to adopt the way of the Dazzling Ninja. All we need to do is bring those disillusioned fans back to their senses to quell the rogue waves of Findlings. There's no need to replace the slumber nana monkey with ninjas. We have to snap them back to the senses, that alone is enough to undermine the influence of the mimetic virus. And when people no longer blindly follow Slum Banana Monkey, we're able to easily destroy this dreamscape. Hmm, looks like that Memo Keeper gave you guys some banana tips that good students should know about. In that case, I can only issue the final exam to you. Bring it on, I'm ready for your challenge! Oh shit, let's go. Laying down your challenge only to abscond? Despicable. Coward! I can tell what's up his sleeve, but we should take care of this slum banana monkey as soon as possible. Stopping the mimetic virus is still a priority for now. Alright! Ninja Hiryu is right. So I've already recluse the super ninja scroll. I rely on my fist to awaken this ninja initiate that succumbed to the way of the Finlings. Uh, in the moment, Slumber Nana using Rapa's technique will cause her to go into the gravity state. Like, that could choose to spring the wakes of Slumber Nana Monkey with whom she collides. So, like, like with more Slumber Nana Monkeys, the more Slumber Nana Monkeys she wakes up, the greater the buff in the final battle with Prof Nana Pr Primon. Okay. Let's go. Boom, baby! Alright, next area. Fash 
unimaginable trends are what drives people. If the sweet dreams of harmony, this is equivalent to strength. The Finling chief let atop this ninja tech bullet as quickly as chase. Let's go. Oh, thank god I'm not have to do a puzzle. Stop trying to escape. If you believe that you can defeat us, why not sell these ones and for all right now? Bada bada bada, it's no time for class yet. There's no need to be in such a hurry. Alright. We caught up! How many of the experiments such as wishes have been collected inside the core so far? A thousand. Ten thousand. We should fully utilize what we have. This will only pave the way and eliminate any suckers in the future experiments. What was that? What was that about? Let's go! Booby 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 Another one? Damn! Stop wasting your time on useless questions. It's always time to hand in your papers. Hold on, it seems to be intentionally getting us towards there. There's no need for hesitation, Ninja Hiryu. It is an ambush. We foiled the ambush. The scheme. We swore the scheme. Indeed. Let's go! Pew 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 Mm -hmm. Alright, get him. Bad. Uh, the experimental result have been so badly damaged. You're such a bunch of unruly students. Finley, Chief, there's nowhere to left to run. It's time to face your punishment delivered by my dazzling ninjutsu. AKA-3, carrying high-quality primate gene cells from 32 civilizations from the atavistic experiments. Went straight to your training research apes their runners' cultivation. Moreover, the training research apes showed no remorse and even colluded with the galaxy rangers, resulting in a devastating loss for the laboratory. In the end, we're only left with an abysmal piece of failure. You're Finling where only knows how to take orders from the evil ninja and go around causing trouble. But why do you have to judge me? Of course, it's because of my dreams. Let us continue from where the previous lecture left off. Bananas are plants that propagate excessively. Each rhizome can bear several buds that will grow into a sea of banana trees, thus eliminating hunger problem plaguing plants and perhaps even the entire universe. As for the selfish plant that plays emphasis on personality and individuality, they will fully spread their seed and grow uncultivated. They only care about whether their genes are passed on but do not know to contribute to the cause of their kind. Tell me, on a cosmic scale, which should be eliminated, and which should be left to thrive? Enough, just shut up! When school started, you encouraged everyone to pursue their desires freely, but now you ridicule what it means to be free. Personally, you judge bananas to be a failed plant, but now you sing in praise of their selflessness. This, the context is different, you can't generalize in this manner. When evil people do evil things, they always have a myriad of excuses to try and justify their own actions. You are self-contradictory and reasonable, only striving to further your own agenda, there's no need to listen to such lessons, oh my god. That's like... This is like... This is just Twitter. This, this is social media in a nutshell. Feeling chief, rather than continuing to weave lies, what did you think about your last words? Time for creation, sure. They all cringe anyway. Failures. A bunch of failures that cannot be cultivated. How can failures possibly comprehend the erudition of a genius? However, I can always rely on primitive methods to banadequate you on this theory. See this beautiful dream bubble. The family relied on the harmonious wishes of thousands of family members and the power of the Stellaron to construct Pinagony. But I simply gathered and converged the abundant wishes of thousands of monkeys into this dream bubble to create the momentous banana. 
Uh, take care, Kate. Have a good time. Cheers. Now we'll hand over its power to all Ban Advisor and Assistant and us. Hi. Alright. Jesus Christ. Jesus! We're going faster, chat. It's excruciating to be too slow. Bada bada bada! Prepare to be disciplined! Bada 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 ba! Bong! We don't have a healer with this because for some reason, instead of. Since earlier, it kept replacing the first character. And I would have my healer, and here for some reason it decided to replace my last character, so I don't have my uh, my Linksha. I don't know why they did that. It's just weird, but they did that for some reason. Let freaking go, baby! Darima, come through. Man, she's cool. Bop. Bad enlightenment master. A fell lessonana, indeed. Banana pain. Oh my god. <laughs> Boots Hill dancing was crazy. <laughs> she get hit by her paint can again. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. I Oh man. That was insane. Like you know what? At the end of the day. It's Halloween, and this is about people disguised as monkeys, right? Makes sense. Where is this place? Wasn't I just in class? Where have the bananas and forest gone? Kitty, that hang, and Miss Rapa? Yo, Ninja Ruri. Yo, Silver Ganshura. Fucking hell, they're making more of a scene than we are. How oh, can it be? How could such mighty aspirations be brought down by a bunch of fell kindling? Filming chief, stop insulting others with your filthy language. The way of the ninja does not discriminate between classes. One who seeks the way of the ninja is a ninja initiates. One who opposes the way of the ninja is a ninja. And one who leaves by the way of the ninja is a ninja hero. I don't understand, Bana. Me neither. Wait, no more nonsense? There's no point in continuing the conversation with the monkey brought up by Dr. Primitive. Oh, it was, that was not it. That was no more nonsense. I've decided on what to do with this guy. Torture is definitely on the menu. <laughs> Whip him with a bell soaked in salt water and serve him everything that the IPC once used on me. The feeling chief is guilty of multiple sins and deserves punishment. However, repentance is not what we seek instead. Make him tell us where evil ninja Osaru is. Make him tell us where Dr. Primitive is. Oh, it's the same thing. Yo, you enjoy playing dead? Let's see if you can still play dead in the face of a banana covered with thorns. Alright, cowboy actor. You don't have to continue acting with that puppet. A puppet? You're a little fudge head. Even your toe looks more like a puppet than he does. You've heard the feelings of the assistant director. 
You really should work on changing your crude way of delivering lines. I'm glad if you really want to talk to a prop, but a certain gorilla was just awakened at the border of Asdana is probably about to depart. Silver and sh Silver Gun Shura, even with my super hearing, I'm no longer able to detect the sound of the Finling. Perhaps Ninja Gamma is right. A truly despicable Finling! Fork in hell, the motherfucker still got away even after all our efforts. Forget it. Girl, why are you so calm? You were talking about how much you hate this scum. Why are you so unconcerned right now? That night is long. The hatred of the ninja hero should be born solely by themselves. Since Pine Kani has finally assured in a period of peace and prosperity, let the mortal beings of this land of dream embrace the sun once more. The hatred is one heart might dissipate one day, but the way of the ninja within the heart will never be forgotten. Ever. Slay, queen! Slay! Rapa, have you found your own way of the ninja? I'm Kana! I'll give my thought afterward. Of course, becoming the dazzling ninja is my way of the ninja. No, that cannot be considered the way of the ninja. The way of the ninja is something a ninja lives by for the rest of their life. Then, defeating the evil ninja? You'll eventually defeat evil ninja Osaru one day. Then what happens next? Is the reason for becoming dazzling ninja solely for defeating new enemies? You have no enemies! But he's not the only evil ninja in this realm, right? Of course, in the cosmic ninja realm, evil doers are as abundant as the glittering stars. The gods have no spare intentions, attention to protect the mortals and the powerful ninja masters with extraordinary ninjutsu powers constantly fighting against one another. That is the Mapo Age of the Dharma. Then my way of the ninja shall be... Every decading evil to my last breath. My bow drawn, no turning back. My heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and dressed and enacted. Is that a Soul Eater reference? Uh, the Smiling Moon, it might be. It doesn't look the same, but it's... I don't know. It's a... Yeah, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Till the end of the Mapu Age. Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions, the end. Director, Mr. Rekka. Mrekka. Assistant Director is the Assistant Director. Lead Actors. AKA Three Rapper as a Dazzling Ninja Hero. Kitty as Ninja Kitty, Boost Heagle, Silver Gun Shot. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> That's the. Look at that. Staff and Student of Paperful University, the Prefuse uses Monkeys. Beautiful. Cut! Perfect! Stinger. After the storm dies down, Paperfall University starts to reorganize the school anniversary festival. You guys actually experienced something so exciting. Seriously, bring me along on such adventures next time. It was clear you went off on your own. Forget it. Anyway, I was also able to showcase my capabilities while you guys weren't present. I definitely played a big part in you being able to resolve the situation so successfully. As expected of Ninja Ruri. You're too kind, Ninja Kitty. The academy conference has concluded, and the actual acting dean and teachers are back. The university did not escalate matters. Perhaps it's because Mr. Rekka extracted a portion of the people's memories. How scary! Could you have taken on memories as well? I don't want to lose any more memories. However, it's all thanks to him that Dreamlight Anniversary is going ahead once again. I hope that we can finally have some fun this time. Yes, and I heard that Miss Robin is going to host a new opening ceremony in the plaza. Let's head over and take a look. Ore? Is that Montana and the other classmates? They're back! They are back! Hi, girl! Hi, Montana! Are you feeling alright? Yo, Ninja March. Huh? What? Uh, don't you know? This is the most popular meme right now. It's originating from Mr. Rekka's latest work, the Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions. That guy, I don't think he has paid a salary yet. By the way, Montana, do you still like Slumber Nana Monkey? Slumber Nana Monkey? <laughs> That's so last year. Last year? Just yesterday at Dreamflux Reef. You were... Dreamflux Reef? Where is that? Alright, March 7th. The latest trend now is the Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscription. I have to keep up with the trends as much as my head. 
I'm going to the Ninja Appreciation Society's event now. Do you want to come along? N no thanks. I'm heading to the opening ceremony of the Dream Light anniversary. Understood. Then farewell, Ninja March. That's Ninja Riri to you. Farewell. So, is this what they mean by the rise and fall trends of Pinakuni? Yeah, so basically Pinakuni is... Uh... <laughs> I love how all of this is just an analogy or a metaphor for Twitter. That's for me. Richie! Son, I've thought it through. If you're too tired, let's just return to your hometown. No, Dad, I'm not going back. I've earned a fortune during the anniversary celebration. Even though I don't do well in my theory courses, I can still become a salesperson in the future and make a great living. Just watch, Dad. I'll be sure to make a name for myself in Pinakuni. So, as your dad, perhaps I should also try a little harder. It seems like Richie and his father have figured it out. Hell yeah! Oh, Chalitka! My girl! Chalitka! The dessert that you made is so delicious! Give me one more! Give me one more! Fellow student, there's enough for everyone. So please queue up. Chalitka, you're simply a genius of dessert making! Thank you. Maybe becoming a patissier after graduation doesn't sound too bad either. It's like Chalika has also found her way, her own way of the ninja. Indeed. Nana Bloom! Nana Bloom chan, I heard you're going to be featured in Mr. Rekka's new film. <laughs> I'm just going to be a minor character. I'm sure you'll become a superstar one day. Can I get your autograph in advance? Of course. Here, take it. Thank you, but who is this Gabbana? That's my name. I'm not going to use a stage name anymore. So if you're going to be my fan, please remember that my name is Gabbana. Nana Bloomchan, or should I say Gabbana, has gained some recognition. Hell yeah! Look, it's Himiko and Mr. Yang! It is them. Sup, nerds? Himiko, Mr. Yang, you're here as well! That's right, we heard the anniversary celebration had been delayed. So we wrapped up the conference early and came straight here to see if we could catch the fun. How was it? Did you enjoy your time on campus? We ran into some trouble, as always. Is that so? Sounds like student life wasn't boring after all. Look on the bright side, sometimes the most memorable things are the accents of, your, of our youth. Look, Miss Robin is here. Hello students, I'm very happy to be hosting the Dreamlight anniversary this year. Gosh, it really is Miss Robin. The opening ceremony this year is much better than last time. Hold on, who was the speaker last time? Huh? I don't remember. A long time ago, I also spent some time studying at Paperfold University, so I can be considered an alumnus of the school. I wonder if it was um, Sunday, but they removed that part of their memory as well. Maybe Mr. Rekka had to deal with Sunday to just delete him from the history of Pinakoni or something. Like at least this place. Paper for university back then was just like how it is right now. There was a lack of freedom, exams were a source of headaches, we had plenty of homework and our thesis defense had stringent requirements. Well, it can't be held since this place bears the burden of training the future of Pinakoni. The annual Dreamlight University is the opportunity for students to temporarily toss their trouble aside. However, the anniversary celebration will come to an end just like how we'll eventually awaken from our dreams. But there is a type of dream that, we'll never awake, that we will never awaken from and should never awaken from. And that is a dream woven by our highest ambitions. Some students wish to create beautiful objects, while others desire to lead amazing lives. There are some who even wish to become a better person. These are all amazing dreams. In our lives, dreams are act as beacons that guide us forward. Once we have lit up the beacon, we may choose to rest at any time. This does not signify that we have given up, for as long as the light of the beacon can be seen, we will have the courage to restart our journey. I hope that all of you will be able to find your dreams at Paperfold University and will dedicate your lives to realizing them. It is because of your sweet dreams that you can create color. It's because of our ideals that you can embrace freedom. Welcome to Dreamlight Anniversary. Color your dream. Free your ideals. Yay! Despite the similarities to the evil realm, there are no clues here. Yo, Ninja Gamma. 
How is that in the next film you can call me something better? My wonderful actor. Are you alone? Each ninja hero is their own prey. Silver Gun sure only came to repay a favor, after which he returned to his own hunt. Is anything the matter? <laughs> after helping me shoot such an exciting film, I'm here to hand you your remuneration. A role won't be necessary. I'm only acting according to my way of the ninja. Riches are not what I desire. Don't say that. I'm sure you'll be very interested in my remuneration. After, after all, this remuneration is about where Dr. Primitive went. <gasps> oh, she dude! Hell to the yeah, baby! That was fun. That was really fun. I'll do the event next time. I need a break. Uh, I need a rest. But that was fun. Okay, so my thought on the whole thing. I think there was a lot of good. I think the new character introduced, like Mr. Rekka. Uh, Mr. Rekka is very mysterious, very interesting, very crazy. Uh, I like him. I'm curious to see where he goes from here. Now, I think Rappa is awesome. I think our story was great. I think it was nice. It was also nice that we got some some aspect of Boot Hill as well. A bit more of Boot Hill development because he was pretty... Uh, pretty... We didn't have much information about him, right? So it was kind of nice to have a little bit more. Like, he's been popping up, popping out a lot, left and right. Um, but we never really had, like, much of him, if that makes any sense. So it was nice to see, like, him and see him as a, as a child and stuff like that. So it's very, very cool. So now, that said, I think while it was fun and a lot of it was pretty cool... I think it was also... I don't know how much the goofiness of it um, was interesting to me. It's like, it's fine. But I think it was a bit much. At least it was short. You know what I mean? Like, this was not like the Aranara quest from Genshin Impact. And to be fair... I didn't dislike the Arena request as much as some people did because I took it very slowly. Like I just like every now and then I would do one quest of the of the whole thing, and it kind of went uh, okay. But I think that I don't know. Eventually, it felt a bit old. If that makes any sense, it's just like I don't really care about the monkeys. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I I just don't. I'm sorry. I don't care about the monkeys. I love the character development of Rappa. I love seeing Mr. Rekka. I love seeing uh, Boot Hill. Uh, I love the lore that we get about, you know, Dr. Primitive. It's fantastic that we finally get some information about him uh, in the game. But the monkey aspect specifically and the whole goofiness of it, I thought it dragged maybe a little bit long. Like having to go around and talk to people, being slowly transformed and having to try to convince them. I thought it was a bit eh. I thought it was a little bit eh. I really like the serious part of the story. Me too. And that doesn't mean that like, oh, if it's not drama, it can't be good, right? I'm not saying that at all. I think a bit of levity and a bit of silliness is fine. But I thought some of it was a bit long. Like, for example, like having to go to each quote-unquote teachers, right? The, the, the golden... The... The, the the Joel Troop, the Dream Joel Troop being transformed into the Bad Advisors. You're going to see each of them. Like, you know, like the, the whole part with, this, with, the, with the script. It was a bit long. It was fun. Because I really liked like going along with Rappa and making jokes and her rapping during the time time was fun. But then the whole thing, I think it was good, but it was a bit long. And at some point I was like, oh man, I just want to get on with this. I don't care about the slice of life. I'm at school part. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm not here to play some... Some weird person. <laughs> you know? But the rest was really, really good. So that's why I'm like... It was nice, but I feel like I didn't have... It was not enough to satiate me. You know what I mean? This set, This felt like a... A bit of a filler with some good lore drop. But it was the filler nonetheless, if that makes any sense, you know? 
Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's literally a filler, right? Because like this is a we just had a big patch with Fei Shao. We got some some great uh, a lot of new information, etc. Right? And we we know like it was a great continuation of the Shenzhou Luofu, um, the Shenzhou Alliance aspect of the world, and this. In the grand scheme of things, didn't really amount to much except getting a little bit of information being dripped on, dripped, right? Which is good, but um, it, it feels kind of a setup, right? So what I'm assuming here is that in the 3.0, right, when we actually move on to the next major massive patch, um, I think this kind of potentially lays the groundwork. I think in the future we are going to be confronting more of Dr. Primitive's shenanigans, right? Um, so that's interesting to, to have our first interaction with that aspect of the game. Now, for what's coming up next, um, I think we are probably going to be diving... 2.7 is going to be next patch, right? And I think it's going to be one of the longest patch because I actually think... I think 2.7 is going to be the last one. I think we're going to go from 2.7 to 3.0, most likely. So I think next patch, we are getting Sunday. We are getting Fugue. This is going to be... The next patch is going to be the end of all of that, you know? It's going to finish Pinacony. It's going to finish the the remaster of the Shandro Alliance. We are going to get satisfying endings, as in, okay, this is going to tie the loose ends. The loose ends were, essentially, um, that Sunday, what's happened to Sunday, right? He disappeared, we haven't found him yet. So we're going to find Sunday, we're going to learn where he's going from now on, because obviously he's out of the shadow of uh, Oak, uh, Mr. Oak, or whatever his name was. And now he has to give up um, the path that he had taken under the Order, right? Doesn't mean that he can't follow the path of Order, if he wants to follow the path of order in terms of, you know, um, the religious aspect of it, it's fine, but he's not going to try to um, essentially, you know, have the order take control back over the harmony, right? So we need to know what's happening with him. Uh, is he going to be a traveler? Is he going to be, is he going to join us? Is he going to be, you know, like a trailblazer or is he going to join the... There were a lot of speculation whether or not it was going to join, you know, like, maybe the uh, the Stellaron Hunter, right? Um, he could be a, a new member in Kafka's team. Or is he going to become a Galaxy Ranger? Like, what's going to happen with him? Is, um, because there was a lot of talk about what is going to happen, especially even here, there was some dreams, hints about that. Or like, some few sentences were like um about like what she intends to do now when it comes to her, his sister so you know robin what is she gonna do now there was a lot of speculation that maybe robin because she likes to travel a lot and help as much as she can she could become also a trailblazer is this gonna be a case where robin joins us and um her brother sunday ends up being like in the opposite faction or like not necessarily an enemy but you know I just want Sunday to reconcile with Robin. There's definitely going to be something like that. Because we know that it was a long parting, right? A long separation, a long goodbye. But they're definitely going to see each other again. And that's going to happen. That's the big loose end from Piccanacony. Now, the other loose end that we've had when it comes to the Shenzhou Alliance has been Ting Yun for the longest time. Where is the real Ting Yun? Well, now we know that Rone found her. And um, she was literally in a state of fugue. That's why it's her name. She was gone, lost, and she had lost her identity, essentially, right? So we are going to finally get to see Fugue. We finally get to see Ting Yun, the real Ting Yun. And I think that's going to end up both those aspects. So we get the two missing characters in Sunday and in Fugue. And I think that's a perfect place to actually end the 2.x um, storyline so far and to prepare us to go into uh, 3.0, right? I think that would make perfect sense, especially because here we got a new area. And then next patch, we're probably not going to get a new area. And I don't expect them to make another 
area patch in 2.8 and then transition into 3.0. And I think it would be weird if they make just 2.7 without a new area and the 2.8 without a new area and then 3.0. So I'm going to speculate that actually going to make 2.7 a longer patch. So instead of getting like a four or five week patch, I don't remember exactly. It's going to be like a... Oh, I think it's six weeks or seven weeks. I think we're probably going to get like a seven or eight weeks patch. And then we're going to transition into 3.0. Um, that would be my guess. I'm looking forward to it. I'm super excited for Sunday. I'm probably going to skip him, but I, I really want to know what's happened to him. Because even if I don't care much about him, um, I like his story. I do like his story. I don't care about having him, but I still like him as a character and as a, a plot uh, character. And I like uh, his relationship with his sister, so I really want to find that. Um, and I'm really, really invested in Ting Yun. And what happened to her and what's going to happen to her in the future. Where she's going to go from here. So I'm looking forward to that like crazy. And uh, yeah, this was cool. This was fun. But uh, I, I'm looking forward to a bit more next patch. So let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. This is going to be turned into a YouTube video most likely. So, you know, hi YouTube. <laughs> so let me know down here what you think. What are you our uh, crazy speculation and, uh, and wild theories? And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, potentially, if you if you did that on YouTube. And if not, um, I'm on Twitch, so... Well, I mean, if not, you can't hear me say that, so uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's my thought. So as of now, that was fun. Uh, we have the big event now that's available here, which is the Soundhound Ninjutsu inscription that I'm gonna have to do, right? Um, this is still going to be live for 33 days. This is probably going to be a permanent event, right? It's going to be added here. Uh, there's even a symbol here that shows it, right? So I'm going to be doing that, uh, but not tonight because I'm tired. We've, we went through the entire story in basically six hours. And I need myself some rest. I need some rest. I need some food. I need to chill and all the good good. But thank you so, so much for watching this stream, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll be starting the stream earlier. I should be starting at 2 p.m. CST, which is Central European Summertime, I believe. Um, and uh, I'll be doing, I'll be trying out uh, Romancing Saga 2, mm, 7, something, something. It's an, a new JRPG that just came out that I've had my eyes on. Um, someone gifted it to me, absolutely mad lad. And I'm going to be playing it tomorrow. And then my stream is going to be shorter. It's gonna, I'm not going to go past four hours. Because at night, during the evening, I have some socializing to do. I'm going to a restaurant. I'm going to eat a pizza. Hell yeah. So yeah, cheers. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Mwah.